sorry about that, babe. A fierce battle with Dark Dragon ensued when the Runefaust army invaded. With the heroics of Max and the Shining Force, Dark Dragon was defeated. The victors returned to their normal lives, vowing for renewed peace. Some disappeared, some left for further adventure, and some returned to their homes and families. And Anne Re returned to her kingdom as the Queen of Guardiana. With help from Ken, Luke, and Lo, they rebuilt the kingdom from the ashes of the Runefaust invasion. The story begins 20 years after. If that doesn't get you pumped, what will, I ask? So, as you can see, <clears throat> we are playing Shining Force CD. Let's move the mic back just a smidge. Welcome to the Guardiana Library. Let me just put these books in order. One, so you're interested in the Legends of the Shining Force. So, actually, I had to do a test uh, to make sure that my cartridge battery backup was working because I was having issues with it prior. I needed to actually replace the battery. It was not saving. So, we will be starting <clears throat> a new game, and we're going to be doing it on the cartridge, and we're doing bit, uh, book one, which is Towards the Root of Evil. And I am running this on real hardware. I'm playing on the Analog Mega SG, but it's attached to a real Sega CD uh, that's in pretty good shape, and this is a real copy of the game. I bought it complete years ago for 70 bucks. What a deal that is now. <laughs> this game's like $300. Um, <clears throat> so I am at the mercy of hardware failure, so keep your fingers crossed that everything goes, goes well. Everything's in good shape, but you never know. When it comes to old CD-based stuff, the fucking lens can go at any time. What's the hero's name in this tale? So the hero's name is Nick, which is honestly fucking boring. Um... I know Max is kind of boring-ish, but I don't know. I feel like Max is a little bit better than Nick in terms of like a video game character. And then I really like the name of uh, Bowie in Shining Force 2. But since this is recorded again around the time that my boy Razor passed away, my cat, I'm probably going to fucking name all my characters Razor. So. Cool name, exactly. So here is the interesting part, people. What difficulty should I play this on? I haven't even thought about this fully. So, this game... I played through book one about eight years ago. Maybe nine years ago, now I'm thinking about it. Probably eight. I've never played book two, I've never played any of the special stuff for this game either. So this is essentially a first playthrough. I think I played through it on normal, and this game was fucking easy as shit. It was like way easier than the first two games. I remember like... I don't even know when it was, a couple, maybe two chapters in, I think it's a chapter system if I remember correctly, yeah. Um, enemies were doing like one or two damage to me, like it was nuts. So I'm probably gonna play on hard or super hard. I've heard that super hard can be pretty difficult though, and I'm not really familiar with this game. Like I said, I've literally only played it once, and I've never played anything beyond the first book. But, you know what guys, I think I'm in for a challenge, so let's go with super hard. <laughs> I might be regretting this. 
I think Super Hard is very similar to um, that difficulty setting on Shining Force 2 where it bumps the attacks up of the enemies, which makes it harder uh, in conjunction with the AI. Yeah, really? Wow, good, well, good luck, exactly. <laughs> and I heard that book two isn't too bad, but I think there's like secret stuff. I don't know if it would be referred to as book three or what, but I heard that stuff gets pretty difficult on this setting. So yeah, I'm probably going to be in for a hell of a time, but uh, we'll manage as best we can, right? Now let's enjoy the story together. So let us begin. Queen Henri. Messengers from Cyprus have arrived at our gates. What? What do they want with us? Your Majesty, they are barbarians. They bring only trouble. Shouts and the clash of armor echoed in the palace gates. Wait here until you're summoned. I've waited long enough. Come on, let's go see Queen Henri. I invoke the bolt spell, level three. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt. I hope somebody knows that reference, otherwise. Kind of stupid. Anyway, idiots. Now that they're out of the way, where's the queen? Maybe right in front of you, you fucking moron. Halt, in the name of the queen. Ke oh shit, it's Ken, dude. Ken bravely stepped in, uh, forward to guard his queen. How rude. In Cyprus, we have a much different idea of courtesy. Allow me to demonstrate. Dantum, Frable. You think you're a match for me, old man? Let's find out. You- Oh, they spelled Guardiana differently, by the way. It was spelled like Guard Guard with a U, but now it's a hard A. You Guardiana wimps will grovel before the forces of Cyprus. Oh shit, Henri. Wasn't her hair, like, fucking white in the first game? She dying it now? Ken, low, enough! So... That's Ken from the first game, the centaur in the front, and the person behind was Lo, the, the one of the main healers in the game, and then obviously Henri was the, uh, the mage from... Uh, what the fuck was the town? Well, I guess technically she's from Guardiana, but we've met her in Monarina? Good sir, please pardon my knight's rudeness. I am Henri, Queen of Guardiana. What is your message? Your apology is accepted. I am Woldol. The Lord of Cyprus. Our king, Edmund the Reluctant, sends this. A token of friendship. As Henri opened the small jeweled box, a black fog engulfed her. Oh shit! Queen Henri, someone get a healer now! Wait, aren't you- Wait, hold up. Isn't that low? Aren't you a fucking healer? Did you forget how to- <laughs> That's low, isn't it? At this point, he's like fucking 50 years old. He should know what he's doing. A mere healer will not help your queen. Queen Henri rests in an eternal sleep. Only King Edmund can awaken her. As long as you obey us, we will let her live. Damn, dude. It's kind of fucked up. With those words, Waldo disappeared in a cloud of smoke. Guardiana sent its best warriors to Cyprus to kill Edmund and save their beloved queen. The army sailed away, and was not seen again. It's been over a month since our forces left for Cyprus. We haven't heard a word. They were our best and bravest warriors. If they've lost, maybe Guardiana has lost too. Then we'll have to obey the barbarians. There's no one else to send. Wait, wait! Lo, we've decided to go after the Lost Warriors. Is that you, Ru Roos? I gotta get used to these new names. The son of Lug? So, uh, for those of you not in the know, Lug is actually the name of Luke from the first Shining Force, the one dwarf that was uh, dressed in blue primarily. For some reason, when they translated it to English, they changed his name to Luke, but he's known as Lug in Japan. So then they were like, fuck that, his name is Luke. <laughs> so anyways... This is Roos, the son of Lug, a.k.a. Luke from the first game. And what do you mean, we? Watch this. Roos whistled. Oh shit, there it is, the starting party, baby. Hey, look! Shade, how's your father Hans? See, 
Lots of connections. He's fine. He wanted me to come. Because you'll need an archer. Who's that big monk? He looks like old Gong. Gong is my uncle. He told me of your bravery. He taught me everything I know. My name is Sig. And here's Wendy. Are you going too? Of course. You don't think I'd miss out on all the adventure, do you? Apis, my son. You are not going. It is much too dangerous. Please, father. You know I can handle a sword. And Queen Henri needs us. Is he gonna use a sword as a centaur? Or is he just fucking bullshitting? And you know, uh, excuse me, and you want to save Lug, your father, right? All right, I won't stop you. Roos, who is this stranger you brought with you? Ken, I am honored to introduce our leader. He's not from Guardiana, but he helped help us plan our adventure. I can't fucking read tonight. Jesus. <clears throat> Something about your eyes. You remind me of my old friend Max. No, those days are behind you now. We are the new Shining Force, and Razor will guide our way. We're ready to follow him to Cyprus. With your consent, of course. They're old enough, and they're our last hope. I've decided to go with them, and help save Queen Henri. So Razor and the Shining Force sailed for Cyprus. They didn't know danger lay in wait for them just beyond the horizon. Uh oh. Okay. Every time there's a massive load, I'm like, oh god, did it fucking freeze? <clears throat> One week later. I could always play this on an emulator, but I like playing on real hardware with real games, people. One week later on the high seas between Guardiana and Cyprus. Ugh, not much of an adventure so far, eh, Apis? It's pretty quiet, all right. Hey, where'd that glowing ball come from? So this is the great shining force that will save Guardiana? Won't Wolda be scared when I tell him? Why, you're just a bunch of kids. Don't underestimate them, wizard. It might be the last mistake you ever make. So as you can see, we're thrust right into the first battle. A couple of things I want to get out of the way. Number one. Uh, this is a good fight to grind, as most of the first fights typically are in these games. Number two, we are playing on the highest difficulty setting, which I've never played before, and I have very, very limited exposure and uh, knowledge of this game. As such, I will be grinding this fight. I do want to go through our party real quick. Uh, and the other thing that I wanted to mention was, I probably touched on it briefly a little earlier, but... There is no world exploration in this game. This is technically Shining Force Gaiden 1, remade for the Sega CD. Shining Force Gaiden 1 we never received in America until now. Shining Force Gaiden 2 is Book 2, also known as the Sword of Hagia, uh, which we did receive here. And then Shining Force Gaiden 3 is not part of this set, unfortunately. Uh, that is probably the best of the Gaiden games. But anyways, there is no world exploration. It is literally just battle and story. That's all it is. Uh, you can go to a town, very similar to Shining in the Darkness, where you could uh, presumably heal your people if they've fallen in battle, <clears throat> uh, promote, uh, buy items, and things like that. But there's no exploration whatsoever. So let's go through the force real quick. We have Apis, the son of Ken. Uh, looks like everybody, if I remember correctly, they're all stocked. They're uh, loaded up with herbs and protect rings, which is funny. This dude's wearing a protect ring and his defense is 11. That is frightening. Uh, you have Wendy, who is a mage, uh, similar to that of Tao. Tao. Oops. We have Sig, the nephew of Gong from the first game. He is also a monk. How's he doing? 18 attack. Everybody's got 11 defense. Oh my god. It's a little sluggish, the controller. Oh, Roos is a beast. 28 attack and 13 defense. 
Razor, the main character. Uh, not great. Good movement, though. Six movement. It's gotta be, uh... Ooh, shit. Apis has seven? What? And Shade uh, isn't that great either, attack-wise. But you have the ability of ranged attack. And Apis also has ranged attack. And so does Wendy, obviously. Uh, I do find it interesting that they have Power Glove equipped to Sig. Because in the first game, uh, Gong does not have a weapon. Um, and... In the second game, the Master Monk type of classes, they don't get weapons until they're promoted. So anyways, guys, we are going to be grinding this fight. I wanted to give you a good story introduction and a little bit of a background on this game. Um, it's not imperative that you know what happened in the first game. The opening cutscene and everything so far has pretty much explained it. This is, in itself, a different game with different enemies and all that kind of stuff. So, But guess what? We still got Aggress, just like all the other ones, right? So you'll see uh, the snapshot here. This is exactly like Shining in the Darkness, essentially, where you have like a little side-scrolling town to explore, but that's about it. We have Member, Item, Help, and Save. Um, help brings up the typical stuff. Raise, Cure, Promotion, and Speed. Oh, we will definitely jack that shit up. And since we're not speedrunning, we will be having the uh, notifications pop up on the screen. We're gonna back out. We are gonna save. Like I said, I did rigorous testing with my new battery backup, and it seemed to have worked. So hopefully, I swear to god, I'm gonna hang from the bathroom if I'm fucking playing this game, and then the shit dies. Anyway, we will continue. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention is that... Um... Luke, or not Luke, uh, Lo is basically gonna be our advisor for the whole game, if I remember correctly. I don't know about book two, but book one. Uh, so yeah. That's it, guys. We're going to be going back to the ship battle now. And we are going to be grinding. And when I'm done grinding, I will fill you guys in on exactly what happened. If uh, I ended up dying, um, if my party got wiped, you know, who leveled up, what happened, blah, 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 blah. I'll fill you guys all in on that. Since we are playing on the super high difficulty, whatever the fuck it's called, um, I will be grinding quite a bit. I assume I'm going to try to get everybody to at least like level 3, um, and then we'll pick up from there on the successful battle attempt. Alright guys, I grinded this battle three times, uh, where I kept the, the Dark Mage, I believe, right? Yeah, I kept the Dark Mage alive because I'm pretty sure that this is the boss of the fight. Also, the Mage knows Blaze too, which is a bit intimidating. Uh, a couple of notes here. Uh, I forgot about how e apparently this game, at least to start, is very easy, even on the highest difficulty setting. Um, other than the Incubus and the very first round of fighting, and the fact that it knows Blaze, where it obviously it hits through your stats, these dudes do jack shit, and I'm pretty much one-shotting them with almost everybody. Um, and this was like... We're talking in the middle of battle one, battle two, I was already like juiced up. So here are the stats across the board. Apis level three. I, peel, I pulled off on Apis a little bit because he was starting to get a little too crazy. Wendy's level four. Oops. Roos is three. Razor's four. Shade is four. And Sig is three. So uh, right now it seems like the best two party members are Apis and Roos, which is why I let them lag behind a little bit. Uh, so yeah, anyway, we're gonna actually finish out the fight now. <laughs> uh, I'm not really concerned with uh, level spreading at this point. We're just gonna kind of kill as they come. Um, if I could sneak a few kills in with with Sig, uh, I certainly will try. Also, I want to point out that the aspect ratio on this game is really fucking weird. And I don't have a lot of familiarity with Sega CD. I only own about like 10 games and I've legitimately only played through like one of them. Um, if you notice at the very beginning, the Sonic software planning screen was a little bit crooked, like in, in my frame that we're recording in. Um, and as of like right now in the battle, it fits perfectly in my overlay. But when you go to the cutscene, which you'll see in a bit, as soon as we get approached by something here. The top people approach first, and the bottom approach second. Dark Mage seems to fall back in this fight. 
Wendy should be fine here. So anyway, uh, a little bit of the left side of the screen is cut off in this. I would say maybe like 4% of the screen gets cut off on the left, but the right seems fine. So it seems like the aspect ratio gets really fucking wonky uh, on the Sega CD games, but you can still see basically everything. You're missing part of the barrel, like in that scene, so you're not really missing much. At least it's not like cutting off the, uh, you know, the menu things on the bottom. But yeah, I find it to be a little bit weird that uh, when you're on the main screen, you see everything, but when you go to the battles, it's different. Whatever. Oh. I also be remiss if I did not mention, as soon as we get control of our party here. Um, Wendy's learned when Wendy's, excuse me, Wendy uh, learned freeze. I thought she learned blaze too. That's why I was saying Wendy's, but she did not. And then Sig knows heal too now. So just something to note. Oh my god. So yeah, the one annoying thing about this fight, other than Blaze, is the fact that the bats can put you to sleep. Oh! <laughs> I like as soon as I start recording, uh, everybody's getting put to sleep and everybody's fucking missing. Good stuff. Probably end up somehow dying, right? Let's use Freeze! Uh, Blaze 1 was only doing about 6 damage to the huge, huge bats. So yeah, Freeze is definitely stronger. Typically is. I also don't know when this was made. Was this made after Shining Force 2? Because it uses some of similar sounds to Shining Force 2. Like, for example, when you save in this game, it's the same save sound from Shining Force 2 minus the extra jingle at the end. And if I'm looking at this objectively, the graphics actually don't look as good as Shining Force 2. So I'm wondering if this was before Shining Force 2. These graphics, to me, seem like a midway point between 1 and 2. But who knows, I could just be uh, completely wrong. I didn't do any research into it yet. Oh my god, yo, I'm dead fucking serious. I grinded this fight three times. <laughs> this one bat has evaded two attacks and put Razor to sleep. Unreal. Anyway. Wow, Shade. Shade was uh, really shitty too at the beginning. Shade was, like, by far the weakest person. Did I just see attack go up by four? Did I read that correctly? I think so. Yeah, Shade... It's, like, you can see how strong Roos is. I haven't even been, like, leveling him. And the dude is just fucking killing it. Uh, I'm not gonna waste that. I probably will, really won't need all my heals. But, um... We're gonna save it, because I still haven't actually tried to, uh, attack the mage in any of my grinds, so. <clears throat> you can see the Incubus still packs a bit of a punch. But, um, very glass cannony. I I'm this is all coming back to me now. I remember, like... Granted, I was playing on normal mode, but I remember, like, enemies barely doing damage to me early in the game. I remember just kind of like ripping through, like in comparison to the first two Shining Force games, uh, this is by far the easiest first battle. I would say it would go this, Shining Force 1 and Shining Force 2. The Shining Force 2 fight could actually like kill you if you're not careful, especially if you're playing on the super difficulty. Finally. And the Shining Force 1 battle is not too bad, but you definitely have the ability to get, like, effed up if you um, approach the Rune Knight incorrectly. <laughs> Which is was funny in my uh, Shining Force 1 playthrough that I did on YouTube. Um, I left a complete fucking path to uh, my main character, to Max, aka Razor, uh, with the Rune Knight at the very end. And the Rune Knight, of course, double attacked me, and I died, and I thought it was really fucking funny. Because, you know, I don't know how many times I've done that first fight in my life, guys. Probably 
fucking 70 or 80, you know, between the X amount of times that I've beaten that game and then all the grinds that I've done on it, usually averaging, you know, like, uh, two to four grinds per playthrough. But, uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty funny. I got fucking schooled. <laughs> I had a couple of huge blunders in that playthrough, actually. Uh, I'd say it'd be worthwhile if you guys haven't watched it. Go watch it. It's, uh, it's a good one. My blunders occurred in the first battle and the last battle. I had two massive blunders in the last battle. I don't want to spoil them. One was a tactical blunder uh, because of my knowledge of the game. I did not realize that the boss had a certain spell. And then the blunder that occurred immediately after that was me being an absolute idiot, not realizing that the uh, the one ring casted aggress, so I literally ran from the battle. That was uh, good times. For those of you that don't know, um, in the final battles of Shining Force, there's two of them. If you lose or aggress at any time before the game is over, basically, you have to fight both of them over again, so I was, uh, I was hanging from the bathroom, to say the least. <clears throat> We'll leave here try to space out should i do yeah i think it's worthy of a heal too at this point it's still cast heal one once more so all right i really got to get a uh, a level for apis and uh bruce so i will try to make that a focus here if i can huh that's funny I didn't realize the bat was gonna go protect him. Oh my god, dude. I love how I'm missing all the time now. <laughs> this is fucking nuts. Yeah, why not? Probably a waste because uh, Apis could one-shot these things, but it is what it is. Get Wendy some experience. Alright, there's the bat. So he does know Blaze too, which is a bit scary, if we're being completely honest. So I'm gonna try to uh, checkerboard my force here. If I can. Good. And it would be nice if uh, Roos can kill this bat in front of him and not miss. Be wonderful. So, Roos is in danger of getting killed, though. If the mage comes forward and casts Blaze 2, he will die, I think. I think anybody will pretty much die from Blaze 2, so... Uh... I kind of want to, like, go in for the attack. Alright. Alright, he moved. Interesting. I'm gonna kind of just play around with it. Should I go in? What should I do? I'm going to play around with him, which might be a mistake, but I want to get another heal off. I don't know what the mage is going to do. I don't know if he's still going to fall back or if he's going to come forward, but as soon as his next turn is over, we're going in with whomever. Okay, so as long as we don't get bamboozled here with like a double turn for the mage, he should go down really easily. <clears throat> Oh, we got a double attack from Shade, good god. And the second one was a crit, holy shit. Uh, so I don't know anything about these characters, guys. Like I said, I played through book one once and it was like eight years ago. Uh, it was a really janky playthrough. It took me a while to get through because at that point in time I just didn't have as much time to play games. Um, and truthfully, yeah, I don't really remember anything about anybody. I'm pretty sure that the main character is good, typically they always are. I don't know who's good, who's not, you know what I mean? Like, hopefully I'm not wasting my time on people, but uh, we'll figure that out as we go. And there we go, first battle in the books. Roos would have almost one-shotted this dude. You may be fine warriors, but you will never see the shores of Cyprus. Join me now in death. <laughs> Oh shit! So what do the Shining Force games have in common? Fucking broken ships all the time? He's gone and took half of our hole with him. Everybody, overboard! Swim for that island over there! 
Damn, dude. Everybody's fucking banning and ship. Oh yeah, one of the things that I wanted to mention, I will after this dialogue. Razor, come on, Razor, snap out of it. And we were on the shore. Oh, I just can't help but think like how awesome these games would have been if they just took the same formula. I realize it would have kind of felt like more of the same, I guess. But just to be able to explore the overworlds, man, would have been so great. Look, everyone, he's okay. We've lost all of our supplies and what? Oh, that's right. That's right. Now I remember. I think you perma lose the defense rings after the first fight. That would make sense. We've lost all of our supplies and weapons, but we survived. Hope we don't run into any Cypress soldiers. <laughs> Stop, let me go. You're too pretty to stay in the Miniom Wilderness? I think I'll take you back to Cyprus with me. No, I'll die first. Stop right there, you Cypress pigs. Oh shit, those are enemies from the first game, right? The Goblin and the Dark Dwarf? Please, get me out of here. This is none of your business, stranger. Leave before you get hurt. Arm yourselves, everyone. Search the ground. Use rocks, sticks, anything. Okay. So yeah, we are <clears throat> empty-handed. Um, I think, like I said, we perma-lose our fucking defense rings, which actually sucks. And now that I'm really looking at things, it's probably going to make it a little bit harder. Uh, the goblins are still pretty weak. The scavengers are very similar to the goblins. The Dark Dwarf is probably the boss of this fight. But anyways, yeah, we have to search the grounds for stuff, and I don't remember if it's directly below us or if it's all around. The wooden stick. So I think everybody's stuff is, like, right next to them. Yeah. So unfortunately, searching uh, ends your turn. Oh shit, does he not get anything? Yeah, he might not, man. Oh! The club, huh? Alright, well now I gotta equip stuff. Uh, Apis doesn't have a weapon still. So that's a little sketchy. Oops. Does this end my turn? It does not. But we are... Gonna stay. So yeah, the search dialog box will come up. Um, if there's something to find. I feel like there's probably stuff in those barrels, don't you think? Huh. She didn't find anything? Hold up. Wooden stick. Wooden stick. Uh, wooden arrow would go... Club would go to roost. The wooden sword or whatever would probably go to... This might go to Apis, actually. Let's see. Item, equip. Wooden sword. Alright. Yeah, there's probably medical herbs and all these. So Apis has this. So I guess the question is... Wait, what? There was something there? Hold up. Ah, uh, the- wait. What the fuck? Was that a glitch? Was I not in the right spot? I- I don't even really know. To be honest with you. Huh. Interesting. But yeah, I don't think Sig has anything anymore, unfortunately. Uh, I might send Sig over to get the, uh, the medical herb. And now I gotta pass the, uh... Thingamajig to... It's gonna be a while until I get used to these names, guys. The names for Shining Force 1 and 2 are like the back of my hand. This not so much. Shade, did I equip his, uh... I did. Alright. 
right, so she, Wendy, needs to get one item. In there, yep. All right, cool. To my knowledge, that should be everything. Those are the two barrels. Uh, I just have to equip the wooden staff to Wendy, and we are good to go. Interesting mechanic, I will say. One of the things we got going for us in this battle is there's no magic users. And as you can see, uh, we got the, the dinky damage crew checking in. As long as we're not getting attacked hard, uh, it'll be relatively easy, so that's good. Ooh, we're getting some shitty movement out here, people. Do we have the Shining Force 1 movement system back? I'm a Shining Force 1 guy, through and through, uh, but I will say that I enjoy not only the battle speed and pace of Shining Force 2, but I also like that a lot more battles and characters are less affected by terrain in those games. Because probably my primary gripe with Shining Force 1 are a lot of the outdoor battles are just very, very slow. Whew, Roos's defense fucking blows, dude. I gotta level him up. That's for sure. Looks like we're about to get bottlenecked as well. Good thing there are no magic users, right? Can get away with a blaze here. Oops, I forgot to equip her staff. <laughs> She's just moving her hand around. Funny shit. Did I equip him? I didn't. See? Goddamn, guys. We're getting shit left and right here. Yeah, I'm trying to make it a point to, uh, level up Razor because I I tend like in my my older age I tend to be a little bit more passive with the main character when I really shouldn't be you should really beef up your main character because I mean shit technically that's the most most important uh, force member in any of your games you know what I mean uh, I don't want to waste cure 2 so early uh, let's leave you here. I wonder if the go I was gonna say the goblins are probably gonna come in waves, which is fine. As long as I don't get double attacked, I'll survive. Because that other goblin could no, nope, can't reach me. Good, 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 good. And let's go ahead and do freeze. This might kill him. Yep. Hey, we got a crit though, let's go. I wanna get a heal on Roos, and I do uh, wanna get a kill or two. Oh my god, Shade, you're stealing all my fucking experience, dude. I wasn't expecting that. You're not gonna get shit. 28, ugh. Oopsies. Can Sig get up there, though? Not even close. That's okay, we're gonna spread out at this point. Oh, thank goodness. There we are. Now we're ready to rock, people. Yeah, I feel like I need to uh, work this into the rotation more. Um, I mean, obviously I've never played Book 2 or anything beyond it, but once I do, I think it should become part of my uh, my shining rotation when I kind of, you know, dip back into it every so often. I also need to really start trying out, like, um, there's a bunch of really cool hacks for the Shining Force games. 
I really want to do like a rant. Like if I was still streaming, dude, which I'm not, because <laughs> I really don't have any desire to, but that's besides the point. Um, I'd really want to do like a randomizer run. I'd also consider doing a permadeath run. On Shining Force 1 we're talking about, by the way. I think it'd be uh, pretty cool. Oh my god, he can't attack from range. That was a blunder. All good, though. Uh, attack you. Yeah, permadeath run would be interesting. Um, I don't know how strict I would be with it. Like, I feel like I would probably just take the uh, Fire Emblem... Like, when I play Fire Emblem, um, I play with permadeath, obviously, for the newer ones. But, with a caveat, uh, I don't... Just because you die doesn't mean that I consider you dead for the whole game. You know what I mean? Like, if I feel like you're too important to lose, I will just reset the thing. So basically my punishment is, you know, I have to replay whatever it is if somebody dies early. I think I'd probably stick with that for Shining Force as well. Um, but the randomizer run would be interesting because even if, like the beginning of the game, you know, you get, uh, what? Luke, Lo, Hans, Ken, uh, you can get Gong, Tao. Even though they're there, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be on your team. They didn't replace, you know, the sprites for those in the story, but on the battlefield, they are different. Um, so I, I ran it once to do a test, basically. Actually, I want to kill you with, uh, Bruce. And man, I got a fucking sick team. I was actually kind of bummed that, uh, that it was, uh, you know, just a test to make sure that the hack worked properly. My team was, um, so this is battle one. It was Max. And then when I got Gong too, I don't I don't remember exactly who Gong turned into, but I had Max, Tarasu. Uh, they were scaled, so they were level one characters. Max, Tarasu, uh, Balboroy. I think I had Tao still. Um. I know I had one centaur, it might have been like May. Pretty much my team was just beastly. I had a, probably, you know, the best healer in the game to get Tarasu, especially because it was early. Um, the fact that I had Balboroy at battle one would be like really fucking broken because you could actually adequately level him up then. But it makes for cool things too, like, um, you know, if you end up with characters like Adam or, um, Jesus, when's it gonna be his turn? Adam or Blue, you know, characters that typically are pretty weak and you don't get them until later in the game. Uh, you could properly level them up and, you know, because they're supposed to be pretty important to the story. Like, Adam is, like, all over, like, the artwork and shit. But you get him so late in the game and he fucking sucks. He does. I don't care. I'm sorry, guys. As of recording this review, I still haven't released my uh, tier list video yet. I haven't even recorded it, but by the time you see this, it'll probably be out. Adam's garbage. He's a cool character design. I like the fact that he's important for the story, but you get him so late, and if you don't absolutely baby him, he's fucking terrible. He has like no movement, he's weak as hell, underleveled, understats, like, in order to make him good, <clears throat> you need to give him the mobility ring, you need to give him a turbo pepper, you should probably give him like a power potion or two, uh, you should probably, well, you, if you give him the mobility ring, you can't give him the, uh, power ring. But that's my point. He sucks. You have to do, like, a shit ton of grinding. It's just sad times all around. And yes, I did do it once, people. Back in high school, so probably, like, my third or fourth playthrough of the game, I, uh... <laughs> I adequately sat down and I leveled up, uh... Both Adam and Blue, actually. Interesting times. Uh, put you here. Start, start going in. Okay, I knew that was gonna happen. That's actually okay. We'll be all right. Ooh, the dwarf is uh, avoiding me, huh? 
Uh, we have an MP of 8, so I could do this. Alright. I don't even remember how many battles are in this game. I might have to check that up after I'm done playing here. Who knows? Alright. Go in a shade and we'll try to get the kill maybe with, uh... Maybe Razor or... Should I do Apis? Eh, Roos is about to level up. I wouldn't mind Sig. Eh, let's just do it with Apis, fuck it. If you get, I don't even know if you can, yeah, I was gonna say. He is the boss, technically. <clears throat> can we get away with it, with, uh, with Siggy boy here? I'm gonna leave Roos behind, because he actually does have weak defense. Shade will survive, right? Oh yeah, not even close. Shining Force CD though, I tell you. Shining Force CD though. Beat his ass, Sig. Bam. I like how he has a staff, right? But in the first battle he has a fucking glove. Stuff like that makes me laugh. You must be the Shining Force from Guardiana. We never expected to see you in mini home <gasps> I love how dudes like spontaneously combust I gotta get used to not controlling in between battles man are you all right what an awful experience I'll be fine but that was close they say they're from Guardiana Guardiana you must be the shining force you may be Minium's last chance Cypress knows of you, but uh, didn't think you'd come this way. So Woldle and his army invaded our island. That's such a weird name to, to pronounce. Woldle. Woldle. Sounds like I got stuff in my mouth. Anyway. I'll do anything to stop him. May I join you? Cray the Monk has joined the Shining Force. <sighs> My brother is brave and strong. He will serve you. Oh, so that's a uh, sister, huh? Before you leave, stop in the village and rest. We have a fine shop where you can buy new equipment. So, you're about to see the uh, extent of your exploring. Coming right up. <laughs> so we still have the camp and the exit, right? But then you have the shop. Um, and I think I mentioned this, but one of the main things in this game is you find stuff in the battles. Uh, there's hidden items, some of which I think actually can stop you from uh, experiencing beyond book two if you don't find them. So I will make sure that I don't miss anything. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to do much grinding. Hopefully uh, Cray isn't too weak. I feel like I remember him being decent, but either way. Oh, dude, this guy's uh, intense. All right, what do we got here? We got 2,600 gold, so I can get pretty much everything. All right, short sword. Sure, yes. Spear. Yes. Short axe. Leather glove could probably go to uh, Sig and. Cray, yeah. Oh, Cray already has one, okay. Oof, Cray's defense though, woof. Bronze rod. Oh, so the salesman has the healing items as well. That's interesting. Iron arrow for shade. Let's go ahead and it's still pretty early, so I probably don't need healing seeds. Let's make sure everybody has a heal. Actually, I gotta be careful. Uh, I'm gonna sell stuff, so. 
But what I was saying earlier is there's lots of items to find in battles, so I want to make sure that I have fucking item spots, right? But we could sell all of our old stuff, so it's no big deal. Now let's sell. It looks like <clears throat> that it adopted the uh, the Shining Force 2 style of the way things are handled. Regarding items and equipping and stuff, so hopefully, maybe, I don't want to jinx it or try it because that would be like a death sentence, but special items you could find in battle, maybe if somebody finds it with a full inventory they could pass it, but I don't know. So I guess ra I'd rather be safe than sorry. <laughs> I could always like test it offline or something, but off camera. All right, let's go uh, save up at <clears throat> Luke and continue on now with battle three. Prey is gonna be uh, tough to come alive or to stay alive, excuse me, with that five fucking defense, dude. That's some rough shit. We need a ship to get to the Cyprus mainland. The dock is off on the far side of Minium Bastion. Cyprus occupies it. We'll have to fight our way through. I have you now. Who do you got? Us? Our goblins fell to this band of mere children? Even so, you are no match for me. Alright, we got a battle here, people. So it looks like it's the same characters from the first fight, a little bit more of the rats. And is that a rune knight? Oh, it's a Cy Duh, it's a Cypress knight. Excuse me. Um, I f wonder if he drops the lance. I feel like he does. Do these guys have... Aha, protect milk. Alright. I think that's everybody. Oh, missed this guy. Oh, two of them, actually. Ooh, a quick chicken, huh? Oh. Alright, this fight shouldn't be too bad either. Most of the, you know, the people are the same from the, the battle before. Actually, are these the guys from the ship? Huge bat. Yes, I feel like they are. So at this point, they're literally like gnats. I wanted to check the stats of Kray. 13 and 5. Yeah, so Kray's fucking horrible. Level 2. <sighs> okay. One thing that we're going to have to be a little bit more mindful of going forward is using up all of our MP for our heal spells in every battle, because it's easy experience. We have to keep Prey at bay, not to get off on a mini wrap here. <clears throat> but we do not want him to get killed. And do we have to go over this fucking bridge? We do. Kind of sucks. So I was sp <laughs> spreading my fucking party out in the wrong direction, guys. Oops. Actually gonna not fight this turn with him. <clears throat> I want to get the kill with Cray, but I'm a little afraid that he might get whooped up on by the fucking. I can't even get it anyway. Oh well, I tried. Woo! I'm glad he's not attacking Cray. Ooh, and we fucking blocked it, baby. Let's go! Attacking... So this is a weird-ass AI. How come the computer targeted Apis and not fucking the main character? Isn't that a little odd? Just a little bit? 
Uh, level 17 for attack and 19, huh? So he'd actually probably one shot, which I don't want to. I'm fine killing the goblin. Oh, one. Well, that'll just open the door potentially for Sig and Cray. We hope. Trying to be more mindful here of uh, having my healers, you know, do well. Uh, I might let them come to me now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, I'm gonna. Come on, Cray, get your turn, please, so I can kill the fucking dude and uh, have you get fucking kabonged. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. Oh, come on. Throw me a bone. Alright, I actually have to heal Razor. Um, taking a gamble here, people. Taking a gamble. It should be Kray's turn before that enemy, right? Right? Just don't miss, please. Yo, they're literally like the same person. <laughs> what the fuck? And now, hopefully Sig gets a turn pretty quickly. I don't think I'm going to be doing much grinding in this game, guys, but... Um, as always, if I do, I will do my best to alert you. Should probably get a kill with Razy, right? Who has less... Five, three, two here. Of course. That's what I get. Win for the kill there, just because I don't feel like getting attacked by two bats. <laughs> TBH. Um... Worthwhile heal, I'd say. <clears throat> we are gonna go ahead and move up. Attack and Razor again. I fucking knew it. I saw the little blip. Son of a bitch. Uh, that's what I get for... Ooh, boy. I'm trying to, like, experience Hound over here, and... Yeah, it's sort of fucking me a little bit, I guess. Yikes! Didn't realize that he was that weak, but it's okay. We will clean up the mess. Quick chicken acquired. <clears throat> Damn! I was trying to save that guy for sake, you fuck. Oh, so much for that. My party's unstoppable. I for like. I just forgot how fucking ridiculous this game is, especially at the beginning. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, mind you, and I only grinded, uh, like, basically, what? It was three times, I think, the first battle. It wasn't crazy. It only took me, like, a half hour. Even if I didn't grind, it probably wouldn't matter too much. <clears throat> Alright, we need to get some heals in. Not yet, though, with Sig. We're gonna keep Sig. In case we need a real heal. But we are going to... Experience heal. To try to get Cray up because he's just very far behind. And your boy is not going to be doing any grinding for a while, so. Probably have Cray. Oh, I got Razor still asleep. Give me a break, dude. Can 
gonna have Cray uh, heal Apis whenever we can catch up here. Hey, thank you for joining the party, Razor. How was your nap, asshole? Alright, cool. Uh, so, <clears throat> I'm going to be uh, playing through a lot of the Shining games. I'll take breaks here and there, like uh, in between this, I played Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, mostly because my save battery was dead and I needed to wait a few days for it to come in the mail, but anyway. Um, I do plan on finishing this out completely. Uh, I, I would also like to play Shining Force Gaiden Final Conflict. Um, Shining in the Darkness again at some point, but that might not be till later. And then I think I want to finally play Shining Force 3, guys. I, I've, I bought it years ago, and I just never fucking played it. Um, I'm very excited to do that. That would be a complete first playthrough, like, legit. And, um... I actually have <clears throat> a region modded, CD backup modded, uh, Japanese Sega Saturn coming. Super excited because that means that I could play on real hardware with RGB SCART through my RetroTINK. Shining Force 3 Scenario 1, 2, 3 and Premium Disc translated. Now I own the retail version of Shining Force 3. I bought it for about 120 bucks in 2015, which again, another great deal because it's probably three, four hundred dollars now. Fucking nuts. But anyway, apparently the translation wasn't great and they cut some stuff out of the game. Uh, so there is a retranslated Japanese version that's uh, pretty popular. And then Japan also got Scenario 2, Scenario 3, and Premium Disc. Which I guess adds up to over 120 hours for Shining Force 3 when you combine all the games. I'm so fucking stoked, dude. So long story short, the console that I'm getting will be able to play burned games, so I'll be able to play it on real hardware. Um, I do own the real copies, but obviously they're in Japanese and I can't. I took like a Japanese lesson uh, video game for like two days and then I dropped it because I'm lazy. I really, really, really want to learn how to read Japanese. It is pretty difficult, though. I will say props to uh, all foreigners who learn English, because English is a fucking stupid language, to be honest with you. When you compare it, like, I took four years of Spanish. I don't know too much of it, though, to be honest with you. When you compare <clears throat> the English language to just about, like, every other language, everything's just backwards, dude. It really is. Like, in most languages, you would say, um, hey, Cray leveled up. Try to think of a good example here as we look at the screen. Uh, you would say, fucking, oh, I can't even remember, what, Verde? Yeah, Verde, right? So, for, like, <clears throat> Shade's hat, you would say, uh, green hat in English, right? But in Spanish and a lot of other languages, it would basically be like hat green. So I can't, I can't remember the name for hat in fucking Spanish. Anyway, I fucked that up. But do you see what I'm saying? Everything's just backwards. So long story short, uh, between us learning from a backwards capacity for our language and then kind of reversing it, and then Japan has, I think, what is it? Three or four sets of characters to learn. Ooh, it is, it is rough. But, it would be so fucking cool to do it, dude. Because yes, there's obviously like, you know, translation patches for a lot of games, but... Just to be able to pop the real fucking thing in, and just play it as is, and be able to read it, would be fucking awesome. Specifically because it is a lot cheaper to get Japanese RPGs. Mostly because people can't fucking read it. Wouldn't you... Wouldn't you guess? But that would make sense. Alright, we're just getting another heal in here to get some experience. Hey, at least we leveled Cray up once, I guess. I'm gonna try to get him another kill if I can. 
What's up with this? He's at a full 15. <clears throat> but anyways, I couldn't be more fucking excited to play Shining Force 3. And I also own the retail copies, both Japanese and English, of uh, Shining the Holy Ark and Shining Wisdom, which are the other two Shining games that came out on the Saturn. We'll also play those. And at some point, I will also play the Resurrection of the Dark Dragon, uh, Shining Force 1 Remake on the Game Boy Advance. Just so much stuff to play, guys. And then, you know, later on down the line, I'm definitely not in a hurry to do so. Uh, I would love to play Shining Soul, uh, Shining Force Neo, Shining Tears, other games on the Game Boy Advance and uh, PlayStation 2, so... Trying to give the series a little bit more love, you know? While <clears throat> the games may be disappointing, um, the research that I did into them, they still look pretty decent, so... I'm not gonna hate. I'll give it a try. Alright, we'll pull you back. We will probably... Keep you here. Get an attack with Apis. Alright, so that's kind of what we're dealing with there. Let's take a look at the old stats after Shade gets attacked. Do not counter, please. Oh, that is a cool background. That is a cool-ass background. Alright, so Apis attack is 19. 17. 16. Okay, so technically... Razor shouldn't kill him. Not even close. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna heal here with Sig. I wanna get... Cray the kill, but I don't think he can, unless it's two turns. And I think just about everybody else... Yeah, just about everybody else will kill him. Unfortunately. Well, it's worth a shot. Hopefully the AI attacks uh, Shade or Razor. Uh, should we get the kill with Wendy? Yeah, you know what? Uh, I don't know, dude. It's like right there. Although he could level up really easily with a... Uh, with a cure next... Uh... Let's just go in with Wendy. Fuck it. Oh, that's right, the Bronze Lance, nice. And we leveled up with Wendy. Who would have ever guessed that a magic user would continue to level up quickly? You are stronger than you look, I can't believe it. No time to lose. On to the Bastion. Alright, so we don't have uh, a shop here, huh? You fox. All right, let's take a look at our items here. We have the quick chicken, um, which I'll probably use it on the main character, Razor. Obviously to try to avoid some attacks. We have the protect milk. Now I'm thinking about using this on Wendy like, by all intents and purposes, again, guys, this is, like, my first playthrough. So I'm not trying to, like, metagame here. I'm just trying to think logically. Hopefully Wendy's on our party towards the end, but I feel like it's probably always a good idea to use your Protect Milk on a mage. I mean, an archer would make sense, too, but I don't... Like, if I'm just judging off of Shining Force 1 and 2, the archers are really weak, and I typically, like, only use one per game, if that... So let's use it on Wendy. Ooh, we went up by three. I think you have a randomized chance between two to four, so that's pretty good. Uh, we have to give the Bronze Lance to Apis. Let's give that Apis. I'm not gonna equip it. I think I'm gonna like do the equipped weapon swapping in between fights. 
We definitely want to get a save, though. All right. We will continue our adventure. And moving on. I believe this is Battle 4 coming up. There's the Minium Bastion. We'll have to lower the drawbridge to get in. I used to work at the Bastion. Watch this. I'm here to brief the General on Guardiana's Shining Force. Cray! He'll be glad to see you. Wait here. Wait, so Cray was like a bad guy? Why am I just, like, putting that together? I have a better idea. You wait here. Cray attacked the dwarf with a ferocious blow. Yo, this dude... Fucking nuts. You traitor! You'll never get away with this! The dwarf blew a whistle. Alright, everybody go into the Bastion. Let's go! Alright, let's take a look here at the old Bastion. Ooh, we have a treasure chest. And another one. And another. Okay, guys. We got a whole lot going on in this battle. This one might take a while. We have another Dark Mage. Ooh, we got a Death Archer. Those are going to be tough. This is definitely going to be a tougher battle. Because I also have to loot everything. <laughs> you know, you can't let things go unlooted. I refuse. Yeah, I could definitely see this is the first uh, difficulty spike. I'm going to not go over there. Oh, wait, I have to, don't I? I don't think I can get through the front gates. Oh, that kind of sucks. Um. Ugh. I have to send somebody all the way out there, dude. That is fucking annoying. Because, yes, you cannot loot after the battle, guys. There is no town exploration. You have to get everything in battle. Which is a fucking shame. That one won't be bad. And this one won't be too bad. But that one out there... <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna do something dirty and I'm gonna look it up. Let's see. What is it? Okay. Allegedly it's a healing herb, so fuck that, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing that shit. The items on the inside are way more important. I say it like I don't fucking do it all the time. I am a massive strategy guide whore. Number one, I like collecting them because a lot of the old strategy guides for games are just fucking cool. Number two, uh, I'm an idiot and I like having the top strategy. Unfortunately, I don't have the strategy guide for this game. I don't think one came out in English. I think it only came out in uh, Japanese, unfortunately. Would have loved to have some English Shining Force guides. There was a Shining Force guide for the first game. It was like a pack-in with another video game magazine. I really want to get it, but the only one that I found in the last month or two was uh, lotted together with the game, and I don't need the game anymore, clearly. So, your boy is not willing to spend like a hundred plus dollars just to get the guide. My, uh, my limit's probably about 50. I'd spend 50 bucks on it, just because it seems pretty rare, and I really want it. But anyways, Japan made guides for everything. There's like multiple guides for the first game, second game, uh, Shining Force 3. But um, yeah, we got shafted here in the States, people. And I'm assuming Shining Force probably didn't sell overly well in the United States, which is why essentially the series is dead. There is that mobile game coming out in Japan. I have no idea if it's getting localized. It looks very promising. And please, if it fucking gets localized, can you please put it on the PC or Switch? I do not want to play it on my fucking phone. I fucking... Anybody that's listening? Jimmy? I know you are. Fucking hate phones. I'm not playing shit on my fucking phone, man. I want to play a mobile game, it better be on my goddamn Switch, or my PSP, or some bullshit. Oh hey, we got a hand axe. And we leveled up. Nice. 
There's my rant. I've done this before on on stream and on my Discord. Fucking hate mobile gaming. And if you got a problem with that, let me know in the comments. And you know what I'll tell you? Mobile gaming sucks, okay? People need to stop... Fucking serious developers and shit should not be wasting time on mobile games. I'm sorry. The fact that they made a sick looking Shining Force for the fucking phone is a travesty. Just make it for the Switch, goddammit. <clears throat> Don't counter. Alright. Oh, we got a good uh, heal candidate there, so that's cool. Um. Yeah, I could... <clears throat> attack with Sig, but I don't want to. Ah, oh, shit. I just realized that Kray will not be able to kill the Dark Dwarf, right? There's no way. There's no way. Oh, we learned Detox. That's good. Oh, here goes nothing, people. Can he do it? Oh, he did do it. Oh, you know what? I underestimated him. Vastly. Woo, his attack went up by three, and now he knows heal two. Nice. Cray, you are starting to become a real boy. Welcome to the party. Who got the hand axe? Alright, Razor got it, so I want to give the hand axe to, uh... Item... Give... There. Also gotta heal Shade. Uh, we'll keep you right here. Uh, maybe Cray can get up there this turn, I don't know. I'll put you here. I'd say it's worthy of a heal too, right? 8 HP at this point? Why not? And that's why I parked you over to the side, Apis. This bozo can come down. We can just wail on him. Bam! Oh, one-shotted, though. Okay. I uh, didn't necessarily want that, but I'll have to uh, take it in stride. What? Fucking dwarfs appearing and shit? I guess I gotta go up. Hopefully it's not an endless spawn. I don't really know. Alright, Apis needs to get healed, though. I do have to be a little bit careful. Hopefully the dwarf... ...has some mercy. Ah, uh, can't even attack me. What a scrub. What a fucking scrub. I'm not gonna fuck around until I get my party inside, you know what I mean? I wanna continue to uh, get Kray some levels, but... Alright, let's take a look at the landscape here. We do have to get this chest. And we also have to get this chest. That one's a little sketchier than this one. Boy, it would be really nice if we had a flying fucking horse member, would it not? Hopefully soon. I don't remember shit about this game. <laughs> don't remember a goddamn thing. The only things that I, like, vaguely remember about this are I think the last battle is in a blue room. And I think we get, like, a pretty cool beast character. I mean, you typically always do, right? Xylo, Gerholt. 
But I think the dude is actually like a beast from the beginning and not like a man beast. Alright, I think maybe we'll take care of the bat and the dark dwarves. Then we'll head up the stairs. I don't like, do I want to send the whole fucking troops up there? I don't think I do. I think I just want to send one person up. Hopefully the rune knights don't F me in the A. Damn, Shade cannot be stopped. I will say this about Shade. Uh, I don't know if we're going to use him the whole fight, right? Or the old, whole uh, game. But, uh... He is definitely a lot more useful... ...than Hans, because at least his attack keeps going up. You know what I mean? We will park it right here. Oh, God. I'm scared. I'm doing it. I am doing it. People, leave me alone. How hard are you gonna hit? Alright, as long as we don't get critted and double attacked and shit, we'll be alright. I should probably send some reinforcements up though. <clears throat> I don't feel good about Apis being up there all alone. Stay- oh my god. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, boost? Oh no. Oh no, we might have our first death, people. Boost too, though. I just want to loot that treasure chest. Please, leave me alone. Can't go up yet. Then I will attack you. Bam. Apis might be on a death mission, folks. Alright, good. At least they're not coming at me. Dude, do they just keep spawning? I feel like they might. Oh my god, they're just getting boosted into oblivion here. Oh, at least... okay. Well, maybe they'll keep casting boosts like idiots. Uh, putting Razor up there is a little sketchy too, but I'm gonna, I guess. I think the Dark Dwarves can keep respawning, which fucking kind of blows. Oh boy. That is a uh, Major League sketch. We're gonna have to get, um... We're gonna have to get some magic up there until those boost spells end. Holy fuck. Okay, that's actually good RNG. Thank you. I guess you could park right at uh, one experience point. Come on now. Alright, come on, Raze. Their attack didn't get boosted, right? No. We gotta get a healer up there. Oh, here comes the boost. <laughs> Yo, that boost was no joke, man. The fact that Razor only did one damage? Oof, that is... Boop E. I have to get fucking Wendy up there. Asa. Oh my god, no. <laughs> oh no, 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 please. Alright, we got the powerful line, people. Oh, uh, is this gonna be a death mission? I hope not. I'm gonna leave Cray here, I guess. Tell that mage to chill. Honestly. Oh my goodness. I gotta get everybody down because I wanna go loot that other... Oh, we fucking fell asleep. Things are getting a little sketchy, people. I feel uh, things slipping from my grasp. <laughs> Try my best here. Their boost has to end, right? Uh, oof, god, now it's also sketchy because I don't want Wendy to get killed. You know what I mean? But I think it's in my best to abandon ship. Oh, okay, they're attacking poor Apis. 
They might quarter ape us in. I might not even be able to move, dude. I might not even be able to move. Your boost should end. Oh my god, the boost didn't end? Oh no. Whew. 13 defense. Oh, her defense is actually like higher than fucking shades. Alright, whatever. I just gotta get her down, and if Apis could somehow survive, that would be awesome, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think it's happening, people. I don't think it's happening. Just don't. <clears throat> That's good. Uh, that's actually also good. Yes. This is good. This is actually perfect. Oh, and he fell back. Nice. Um... Okay, we're fine. We are totally fine. We're just gonna take our time. Be methodical here. There we go. Things are looking up. Perfect. Stay. Yeah, we're good, people. We're good. We're good. We are going to... 369. Well, yeah, we'll just do freeze. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, you fuck. Well, again, as long as Apis doesn't get critted and doubled, we will survive. There we go. The boost spell wore off. Okay. We are moving. Sort of. That's fine. Wendy's a fucking boost. Your boost is gone, puny Cypress Knights. I'm gonna keep calling you Rune Knights. It's actually a much needed uh, level up there for Apis. I've been kind of neglecting him. Just get the fuck out of here. Nobody said he could move yet. Stay there, all of you. Um, do you think she can kill with a physical attack? 18. 21. You know what? I'm gonna take my chances. Let's see. Mm-hmm. 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 That's what we like to see. Right there, uh. Alright. You can head down here, buddy. You need to get fucking healed. Oh. We have a, uh, a kitten jumping on my lap. If he starts getting crazy, he's gonna have to be put on the ground, so please, good sir, I ask of you to lay down and not be a crazy kitten. You just had his booster shots today. It was a little woozy for most of the day, but, uh, Now he's definitely not. <clears throat> Alright, I think it's time to have Cray leave the roost. Maybe I could send them up from the side here. Actually, no, I still need to loot that chest, right? Yeah, it's kind of poopy. That chest is so far out of the way, but it's so good. I needs it. We're going to continue to have dark dwarves. All right. All right, 
Mr. Mont. <clears throat> Maybe I'll have Shade go pick up that chest. He's pretty uh, far ahead at this point. I gotta make sure that I heal Apis. Really, it's um almost artificial uh, padding here on the length of these fights for the looting, right? Yeah, I could definitely have a uh, Cray power level in front of this thing. Are they on the move or are they just shuffling? I can't quite tell. I think I'll have Wendy stay here. So Shade will get to it in a turn or two. Um, yeah, between Apis and Cray, they'll just keep hitting the dwarf. <laughs> I also gotta heal Apis before I go in for my- Oh, come on, dude. Give me a break. Now we're gonna get freaking attacked for no reason. Ooh, suffering two damage actually wasn't uh, what I was hoping for. How bad is Craig gonna get hit? Yeah, that's actually not good. That is not good. They are kind of coming at me here. I do have to be careful. The the constant respawning of the dark... Or excuse me, are they just called dwarves in this game? Yeah, apparently they are. It's a little sketchy. Um, I want to get that kill with fucking Kray, dude. I'm going to still stand pat here. All right. And we got the cheerful bread. So it is time to... Attack, attack. Um, I am actually going to attack with Apis because Apis needs to get healed and we need to get going here on this fight. Uh, and I will actually do this for now until I, I don't know if I want Kray to die. He's kind of useless at this point. Kind of, uh, expended himself in this battle. Okay. Well, Sig's coming down. That's right. Oh, come Dude, give me a break. Game's being whack. Ooh, Siggy is getting fucking teamed up on here. Nice. Blocking that shit. Again, not ideal that Razor's getting uh, fucking damaged too. I might end up keeping Razor in the uh, in the doorway, to be honest with you. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. All right, reinforcements are on their way here, people. Just hold hat for a little while longer. Um, hmm. Yeah, why not? He's tanking shit. He's tanking it, baby. You stay there, Cray. I'm gonna park Razor in the doorway. Hopefully he can get a turn before the spawn of another Dark Dwarf, but we'll see. Bruce, put you here, I guess. And then hopefully Wendy can... Oh, did he just suffer five damage? Oh no. Ah. Quadruple, ah. Couldn't add enough. That was a shitty fucking turn. 
Ugh, speaking of shitty fucking turns, I actually gotta be really careful. I might have to use a, uh, a medical herb. We're getting kind of, uh, doo-doo. Doo-doo RNG. RNGesus is not blessing us right now. So it'd be real nice to hit that dude with fucking freeze, right? Yeah, I'm actually gonna pull back. Alright, shit's getting real, people. We gotta get in there. We have got to get in there. I'm okay with that, as long as I don't get a fat blaze too. Ooh, Roos's fucking shitty defense, though. Not very good. Not very good. I like how the regular hit and the heavy hit did the same amount of damage to me. Come on, dude. I was trying to leave you. You fucking asshole. You know what I mean? I was trying here. Alright, well. He'll be dead. Ah. I guess I'll attack him with Sig. Oh my god, dude. Ah. Uh, the misses. They're fucking killing me. They're absolutely fucking killing me right now. I would say that we're not in great shape still. I'm being risky here. I'm hoping that I don't miss. Thank you. Actually very helpful. Still didn't get attacked. Ah, oh, Roos is gonna die. Damn it. I gotta get his defense up. As soon as I get some kind of defense potion or something, it's going right to him. And Razor needs to watch out as well. Alright. Well, I think the one Cypress Knight is like... Close to dying? Or am I completely wrong? Uh, let's just use the herb. That's fine. I'm uh, upset that we lost a force member, guys. I don't know what to tell you. We did get the, uh, the double attack, though, so that's sick. Oh, and then of course we get fucking countered. Give me a break. We leveled up, though. Could be worse. <clears throat> yeah, this guy's about to die. He's not getting much experience lately. I hope this yields something. Otherwise, it was kind of a waste, but... Alright, 29. Better than nothing, I guess. Better than nothing, I guess. Alright, it is time, people. It is time... How about you, Counter? Counter is us. Fuck him. We just gotta take care of uh, the archer, and then we can go in on the mage. <clears throat> um... Yeah, I'm actually gonna do this. I was gonna kill the archer, but Apis should get his turn before. I wanna start chipping into the mage here. You don't think... Oh, Shade might get the kill, dude. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think I want Shade to get the kill. I realize that Blaze 2 might kill any of my people, but I want somebody else to get it. I feel like getting Shade too much experience isn't a good idea. Eh, Sig's almost dead. That's probably a mistake. Will Wendy survive? 
I put her in harm's way. Ah, uh, she survives. Okay. Just don't give him two turns, please. Don't give him two turns. Give Wendy or Apis a turn before him. Please. I don't want... There we go. Fuck you, dude. Oh, oh, that's not enough to kill him. Oh, no. Well, she leveled up. So. Oh, we got Blaze too now. Alright. Don't miss, please. Please don't miss. Thank you. Alright, mission accomplished. Only one death. <sighs> Cray's a little bit far behind in the levels, but be alert and keep your guard up. I think you have one more fight in Chapter 1, which would be a good place to stop. What a creepy place. Is that so? Who this? Who's there? Identify yourself. This is the Bastion of Cyprus. You are an intruder. Retreat now or die. Well, funny you say that, because I actually am going to retreat. Because I got to save and I got to heal, uh, heal our boy, who's now a spirit. There we go. Ooh, there's a, uh, a merchant, just realized. Anything new? Or the same old, probably. Same old, that's fine. Okay. Probably give... Maybe... Another to Sig. Razor. We're gonna sell Bruce's short axe. I just realized I forgot to equip the hand axe in that battle. Well, that's kind of disappointing. So we're gonna equip. Dude is a glass cannon. <laughs> All right, we're gonna use. We have the cheerful bread and the powerful wine. Hmm. I think I'm gonna use... I think I'm gonna use the cheerful bread on Wendy. And the powerful wine. I might save that for a little bit. Before I really figure out who I want to give it to. You know, because like wasting on somebody like Cray right now, right now might not be a good idea. Um, what I do want to do though is I want to give. Oh, no, 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 chill. I want to give the fucking item. So he has an empty slot. Because pretty much every battle there's something to be looted, so... Sure. No. And then let's save. And let's get the, uh... Final battle of chapter one done. Cypress Knight. Is that an Incubus again? It is. Is there only one chest here? Oh, perfect. That makes things a lot better. Uh, we got the Archer. Ooh, we got a red dude. Ratman. Another Incubus. What are your stats, buddy? 25. You're, you're legit. Um, I'm trying to think about which way do I want to go, you know? I feel like I could just go right. 
That's what we're gonna do. And we'll just uh, react accordingly, you know, as people come up or don't come up. I feel like these guys will come up. Oops, go here. Hmm. Kind of surprised. They're not moving a little bit more. I wonder if they're on a timer. Possible. I don't want to trigger the boss though, because I want to get the fucking experience. So I really hope that I don't trigger the Bastion by going to get that fucking chest. Wait, it's a brass loader? Is that what it said? <clears throat> yeah, brass loader. Mm. I'm a little hesitant, actually, to put Roost there. He might get, like, two-shotted by those other enemies. But he's got to get some experience. There we go. Defense went up by two, so that's good. Ooh, we had some dumb AI there from the archer. Wow, super dumb AI. Watch this shit. What a moron. He put him and his homie in harm's way. You love to see it. You love to see it. Got the Incubus there. I feel like okay doing what I'm doing. I don't think that uh, unless the boss comes up that uh, Razor will be in any actual danger. Oh! Steel Arrow. Wait, don't I already have that? Let me check. No, it's actually an upgrade. Oh, okay. Um, what do you got there, Ratfink? Nine. Hmm. 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 I don't trust him, so I'm gonna try to kill him. Which I failed. <clears throat> That's fine. Where are you guys going? Can't decide. Incubus still isn't moving. Wow. Uh, 13 defense. 19. Oops. What is your attack? Oh man, Cray is actually legit. Yeah, Cray's pretty legit right now. Hmm. I think I take you out though. Because Roos needs to uh, continue to build his defense. So that's fine. But I didn't realize that Cray's attack was uh, in the 20s. Actually, better than Shades. Well, huh? I'll be damned. Dude's a glass cannon. <clears throat> Alright, I feel confident in my ability to send uh, Razor over yonder to get that treasure chest. With only an Incubus there, who we should be able to one-shot at this point, considering that was in the first fight of the game. Right? Let's see. Am I missing something? Why is he so fucking weak? Wait a minute. He is weak. Ew. He needs to get leveled the fuck up, man. That's some bad shit right there. <laughs> what the fuck? Did not realize that. Huh. Alright. I was really hoping I'd get the attack off before him, but it's not the end of the world. Holy hell, guys, I was not really realizing that Razor's attack was so fucking bad. Like, that's, that's bad. <laughs> Damn, dude. Someone needs to level. Oh, poor Shade. Getting ganged up on. 
All right, Cray. There we go. I'm getting the feeling that Cray's good. I could be wrong. But I'm getting the feeling that he's good. All right, the Death Archer has engaged in battle. We are just flexing on them right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and freeze again. Then I would like to save my magic for the uh, the trio down on the bottom right. We still have a Cypress Knight that's down fucking around playing with his dinghy. Yeah, I'm gonna just stay. Um, hmm. I'm going to search. Oh, thank goodness. Riddle Sword. That's actually like crazy needed right now because Razor has such a low attack, so I'm hoping it bumps it up at least three. The fact that he was three-shotting the Incubus at this point is quite pathetic, actually. Does the Incubus' stats go up or something? I didn't really look. Maybe it does. I think those might be higher than the beginning of the, uh, of the game. I don't remember, though, to be honest with you. Alright, I gotta be fucking... Wait, what is this? Oh, no. You need to get healed, my friend. But first, I try to fucking kill you. <laughs> Alright. That was a gamble? Question mark? I'm gonna try... Alright, cool. Well, as long as I don't miss, obviously he's gonna kill him. Needed some experience there, so that's good. Attack was modest, but... Okay. Anyone else need heals? Not really. But... I'm gonna have... Cray heal him. We're just trying to get experience here. Even if we're only healing 1 HP, it's still better than none. And we'll try to make sure that we have at least a heal for later when we attack these three down here. I think I'm going to try to come from below. <clears throat> Probably the best strat. Huh. The AI loves attacking Apis for some reason. I, I don't know why. Is it because his dad is Ken? Like, what the fuck? I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a heal too here. I'd say that's worthy. And we leveled up. Yeah, I think Kray's good, guys. I'm not sure, but he is coming off to me as if he is good. We are not trying to use Wendy. Does Apis have a full inventory? He does. So, nope, because I, th wait, doesn't, was it him or the other one? Yeah, he has the running pimento. So that's something to consider here. Let's get another heal with Cray. We have to kill that guy uh, with somebody with an item slot or else we lose out on a very, very important item. That is one thing that makes this game very unique, I will say. A lot of extra strategy going into looting the battles without being able to, uh, you know, scour. Although, like I said, I don't know if this game works like Shining Force 2 or he will just pass it to somebody else. I have no clue. Alright. Try not to get bunched up here. I don't actually want to do that. Okay. Well, the Dark Mage basically just killed himself. That's good. 
that's good at least. And we're not getting attacked there yet, which is also good. Um, I will... Heal, and then we have to go balls to the wall here on this Dark Mage, so... I will attack with Shade, Razor, and Wendy if need be. So we don't get Blaze Tood. And who is getting attacked? Razor is getting attacked. Interesting. So they will be getting Blaze Tood, if possible. And it is possible. Good, good, good. Probably have Razor attack the Cypress Knight, I guess. Or Apis. Um, let me see. Apis could level up. Oh shit, Roos could level up. Okay, so you know what? We will do this. I don't know if that's even going to kill him. Nope. Okay. In fact, I will do this then. This should kill him. Yeah. As he was by far the most dangerous foe remaining. Um, I would like to get this kill with uh, the spawn of Lug. Alright, does anybody need healed? And get some more cheap experience. There we go. Yeah, I think... Uh, I don't know what the magic trees are for Kray and Sig, but Kray is seeming like what you'd want Gong to be. <laughs> His defense is still pretty fucking low, but... His attack, though, man. Maybe I can give him, like, a defense potion or something. I don't know. Alright. Time to... take on the... final... Well, that's disappointing. I can't use a Blaze 2 there. <clears throat> also, his attack is pretty strong, so I do have to be a little careful. Do have to be a little careful. Um, we're gonna go in, and then hopefully we can sneak somebody in front. I don't know if we can, though. I mean, yeah, because Shade can't attack. Oh, well. Hey, how about it? How about it, people? Look at that. Perfect. Attack by two, you love to see it. All right. <gasps> Flying. Oh boy, it's Claude from the Cypress Resistance. I've noticed that they recycle a lot of names. Claude is the name of a fucking guy in the second game. Luke was recycled a couple times as well. Anyway. I came to this island to join you. We've heard about your expedition. How can we help? I have a feeling we're going to be using the power wine on Claude. Because typically the birdmen are weaker. But we're going to want to jack him the F up. I'm excited. I've always kind of neglected flying people other than Peter from Shining Force 2. But they are a huge uh, help in these games. You touched a hidden button. My ship is anchored over there. I'll take you to a street... Oh, excuse me. A street island near the Cypress Battlefront. My friends will be glad to meet you. A street... Got it. Thus, Razor and the Shining Force freed Miniam and left for Asrit. But victory was still far away in the dark heart of Cyprus. Chapter 1, End. Cool. Let's get a save, shall we? Hopefully it lets me save. We would, indeed. Okay. I'll let this roll, because I don't know how it's going to handle it when I return the game on. <laughs> Chapter 2. A street island was overrun. Cypress soldiers ruthlessly hunted the resistance. But with Claude's help, the Shining Force landed safely. 
Cyprus forces surround the village. They're searching for our resistance base. Keep your eyes open and your sword ready. If we don't find and kill him today, Bazoo will have our heads. Bazoo? <laughs> what the fuck? I like the uh, colors out here. It's nice. Who are they looking for? Must be someone important. Come on, let's make sure we find him first. Alright, and we're just going to obviously aggress. The game probably behaves properly, um, but we don't know for sure, so let's save it. <clears throat> Alright guys, it's been a few days since I last recorded. Um, I grinded Battle 6, which is the one we're about to go into, the beginning of Chapter 2, once. Uh, my goal was to level up Claude. I think Claude... Let's see. Is there a way for me to... Yeah. So here are the current levels. Um, I don't even remember who leveled up, to be honest with you. I remember Claude leveled up once. I think maybe Apis, and then maybe Roos. Possibly Razor. Um, obviously, we didn't finish the fight. I just did it for a little bit of experience, because I knew... Uh, that I wasn't going to be able to play for a few days, and I figured, shit... I want to level up Claude. He's a flyer, man. So what I wanted to do here before the fight was I wanted to... Oh yeah, we gotta sell some stuff. Let's do that first. Let's sell... The short sword. And... We'll sell... Hmm, I think I might still keep the spear and the lance. Uh, we gotta give the steel arrow to Shade. Let's sell the iron arrow. So let's go over here. Item give. Where is the steel arrow? There it is. Give that the shade. <laughs> and let's equip that. There we go. Now we're gonna use. I think I'm gonna use the uh, the running pimento. Um, on Claude. I'm gonna give him like the ultimate range, and we got we got to work on him. Oh boy, movement increased by two. Might seem a little bit overkill to some people, but um, I, I think it's a good idea. Um, we're a little bit behind schedule as far as leveling goes because we we haven't really grinded too much. Uh, ideally, we would want every single person to be at level eight probably already, most likely at level nine or even ten, but um. I'm not too concerned. The only other thing that I have right now is a powerful wine, but I don't know if I'm going to use that yet. I'm tempted to use it on Claude, but I think I want to wait until after promotion uh, to use them. And I actually, like I said, I've only played this game once and it was many, many years ago. I don't remember if the promotion levels are 10 or 20. I'll have to uh, look in my instruction manual for that after this uh, recording session here. But let's save, since we just did a bunch of random stuff. And let's uh, head in and take on this battle. Um, from my one grind, I could tell you that... Um, this is a battle that takes a little bit. It's a weird terrain battle with two bottlenecks. As you can see, there's the one up here. Uh, and then the one down here. It's not too bad. Um, but if you're not careful, you could certainly get killed. Especially when you get over here into this territory. And I'm trying to remember the, the story, because it's been so many days since I played. I know we're trying to get to a town for some reason. Uh, we're on a street island. Okay. Yeah, I think we're looking for somebody inside that town, but anyway. Let's go ahead and I guess just start moving down here. Gonna move with a little bit more reckless abandon. 
Oh man, look at that movement. It's just too bad that Claude, like, isn't strong yet. He needs to level up a few more times. But, uh... Yeah, this is definitely a almost a throwback to the first Shining Force. It's a little bit difficult to move in this battle, which is unfortunate, but... We'll get through it. Let's take our time. It's really too bad Claude isn't a, uh, a true tank yet. <clears throat> I don't want to throw him in there until I have a little bit of backup. I don't even know what his stat progression is. Does he end up being like a Balboroy? You know, does he end up being more like a Luke from Shining Force 2? Is he a, a, uh, a Moan? I have no idea. I don't remember. Which is uh, part of the brilliance of having a bad video game memory. You know, not playing something for a long time because it's this is basically a fresh game. I don't remember who's good, who's worth my time, who's not. I'm starting to get the impression that Sig is a little bit overkill in my party. I think Cray is probably the way to go since he actually can attack. But I don't know, I could be wrong. Maybe Sig, uh... oh my god. Well, that's kind of bad, actually. Yeah. <clears throat> well, looks like I know we're gonna attack soon, huh? So we'll attack here. Bam. Hey, we got a crit, so that's good. Razor's actually not getting much experience, huh? Oh, fuck, that was a mistake. Yeah, because now I can't heal him. Son of a bitch, dude. I think Claude could withst- Okay, so the issue here is if the, the red rat dude comes down- Ooh, that was a good level up for him. Good stuff. If the red rat dude comes down and attacks Claude, I am in trouble. Um, because I can get shot by the archer. But I'm gonna hope that the AI attacks the hero. Alright, good. We're good. We are good in the hood, baby. Perfect. It's actually gonna set up very well for leveling up Claude. Uh, yeah, I'll do this. It's fine. Should I just... Yeah, I should probably heal. I'd like to level up Claude, uh, Cray. Those are, those are probably my two... Eh. Uh, bit of a bummer. Um, can they get to me if I move here? I don't know if they can. <clears throat> Let's see the new, uh, the new bow in action here. Nice. You know, again, I don't know for certain, but I'm already getting the impression that Shade is better than, like, Hans and Diane and all them. From the first game. Eh, we're a little bottlenecked there, unfortunately. That's okay. Can't move a lot of my people. Sucks. <clears throat> well, hopefully Razor doesn't kill him. I don't think he will. Nah, he did. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. This is Claude's experience, goddammit. Um... I still feel like that the AI will probably target, uh, Razor. Hopefully. I just want to get my guys out of this area here. Another turn, unfortunately. 
Well, actually, if the uh, <clears throat> if the enemies come down, then it's gonna take a, a probably two more turns or three more turns. Yeah. All good though. Um, I would like for Claw to get that kill, but that would mean that Razor has to pass his next turn, most likely. Gonna stay. This is a... This is level up Claude time, baby. Fuck you, Claude, you son of a bitch. Uh, I got greedy there. I had a feeling, I'm not gonna front. I just had this feeling he was gonna attack eight. I did. And look what happened. And now we're getting attacked. All right, well, I guess Razor should be able to level up here, right? 30. 30 experience from this attack, at least. Oh, he only got 28? I thought he'd get like 31, 32, something like that. Oh, well. Kind of sucks. Um, so we got the archer there. Um, let's press the issue, fuck it. Try to move some fucking people out of here. Hopefully. Hopefully Claw doesn't get fucking double attacked. That is a concern. And then we gotta start getting Cray into the mix. Beyond just heals. Mm-hmm. Alright, good. Luckily, we leveled up with Claude, otherwise we might have legitimately been in trouble, I think, there. Oh, the AI chose not to target him anyway, so. Good stuff. Well, let's go ahead and... I swear on my life. Eh, yeah, we'll attack in here, because he'll level up easy. What's Wendy at? Wendy's at a uh, maybe. What about Cray? <sighs> I feel like Blaze 1 will probably kill most of these guys, right? Might not kill him. We'll see. Nope. What is Kray's attack? 26. So it's actually better than Claude's, so... Uh, can he get up there, though? I don't know if he can. Movement of 5. No, he won't be able to get up there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wait a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But am I impeded? Know what I mean? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, whatever. I don't know if the terrain, you know, plays a big part into that or not. Yeah, Claude's already turning into a G. I think that running pimento on him was a uh, good idea. Believe it or not. We do have to be careful though as we approach this next area. Eh. So yeah, indeed I was very much affected by the terrain, which is kind of what I figured. What after Claude, man? Fuck off. I'm gonna put you here, buddy. Poor Apis is getting terrain fucked in this battle, dude. Alright, Cray. 
Get the kill, bud. Thank you. Nice. Alright. Still gonna wait until we have some more... Reinforcement action going on, you know? <clears throat> well, it might be seen as wasting my MP here. Um, I'm simply doing it for experience. I'm going to try to make sure that I save a heal or two for the final confrontation, because it is very possible to get killed over there. But, I mean, if we just go straight up for the kill, we're not going to get killed. It's if I get stupid and I keep trying for experience. It's when I try to, like, shift out the experience points among some people is when you get killed in this game for the most part. At least early on. Um, should I bother attacking? I don't know. Probably. Bam. Yeah, not, not terrible. All right, let's uh, let's see, let's see. Free should be able to do it, right? Only seven HP. Yeah. I'd say that was worthwhile. Wendy's very important. Mages are always important, man. They always are. Alright, so we have an Incubus. Uh, not too concerned about that, because the Archer will probably get killed in two hits here. Ooh, almost got him in one hit. Oh! Claude! The fucking man! Let's go, baby! Only 24 experience, though. Uh, kinda sucks. Actually, this is probably a, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I think it's a good idea for me to heal Razor. That'll put him in some kind of danger territory, you know what I mean? Like, if he gets ganged up by some enemies, or... Gets critted, or gets hit with a spell, and then gets outturned, you know what I mean? Probably... Not the best idea to, uh... To wait it out there. I'd probably like to get Roos an attack. Although, since the Incubus is an old enemy, do they even give me fucking... Do I get anything for killing them anymore? I don't even know. Let's see, if I kill them in one hit, then the answer is going to be no. Yeah, not much. It would actually be a perfect kill for Cray, but Cray won't be able to get there in time. Maybe, maybe Shade. He's still level 8. Yeah, that was good. Good experience gain. Alright. Poor Apis. Just gonna park Claude over there for now. I might just have Sig stay all the way in the back, to be honest with you. He can't heal right now, and I'm not trying to kill anybody with him, so... I got that whole... thing going on for me. Ooh. Got a Cold War going on here, people. Alright, first blood. That hurt. Alright, let's try to fuck this dude up as quick as we can. Uh, I don't want to move you here. Because of the whole... Getting maged. So let's... Maybe do that. Combo of shade... Uh...
shade clawed and either razor. Yeah, one more attack. We'll do it. The only issue is that I then put myself in. Oh, he retreated. Okay. And now he definitely got a heal shade. So that'll probably be my, my next Cray move, unless Cray can get the attack, which I don't think so. Yeah. Should I get for Roos? What should I do? I'm gonna get fucking tricky here, people. We're gonna go. We're just power leveling Claude, baby. There we go. I'm curious to see what his stats are. Alright, let's get that off. Now you still have enough for uh, heal one, actually, surprisingly. So that's good. Pull Razor back. Maybe I'll put Apis up here. Who to attack? Shit, I just realized that the uh, the mage only has eight magic points. That's not a lot. That is not a lot at all. Uh, keep Cray off for now. Wow, he's retreating. We're getting physically attacked by the Dark Mage. Go figure. Go figure, guys. <clears throat> Bam. I don't think he was the boss. I hope not. Oh. We have to clear the board. Um, oh, Apis could level up with one attack. What should we do? Can Apis move up into that spot, though, is the big question. Otherwise, we're about to get plastered with a spell, which isn't the end of the world, because the fight's almost over anyway. But, alright. Just to ensure... All right, good fight, good fight. The only person that we didn't level up that I wanted to um, more was Cray. So, hey, sounds like they're fighting. Let's go in. Oh, shit. Let me stop at camp, I see. Uh, everybody is healed, right? Nobody's dead. Nobody's poisoned. Um, so let's just save it, I guess. Let's try to take on Battle 7 here before uh, work starts. Let's continue. Why did you kill them? We did nothing to harm you. You know too much about our secret plans. We can't allow you to live. Oh shit. Where is Mayfair? She must be here. Find her and kill her. Look, sir. Over here. This rock moves. Oh, shoot. And there are stairs underneath. Stop right there. Go ahead, peasant. Try to stop us. You're vastly outnumbered, you know. Your eminence, strangers approach. Threat, it's the shining force, seize them all. You won't take us without a fight. Razor, are you ready? Well, I have no other choice but to be, right? Why are we spaced out so weird? <laughs> what the fuck is this? It's so strange. All right, let's take a look. You gotta look, guys. Guys got a medical herb. Powerful wine, okay. We gotta make sure that whoever attacks the brass loader has, uh... Item space. 
We have another medical herb. Oops. Antidote. Ooh, one of them has a protect milk, huh? Interesting. Alright, well, probably our, uh... First, well, not our first, but our final goal is going to be going here. Obviously, we're going to kill everybody, though. Um, Alright, so we have to make sure that we get the power wine and the protect milk. And I think that... Who is down here? Sorry, guys. Oh, we do have a mage. Okay. I'm going to put Wendy here. Oh, Claude can't fly over the bill. Oh, no, he can. This must just be the end of his uh, movement. Put you here. Put you here. I'm gonna try to take out those two guys at the bottom first. I think the only weapon or uh, item that they were holding was one of them had an herb, which I'm not really. How are we with item space? Everybody has at least one, so that's good. Do you hear? Um, I guess I'll have Sig go there and Craig can go right here. Are those guys below gonna move up or? Okay, they are. Good. Should be able to take them out pretty quickly then. Um, hmm. I'm gonna let them come towards me, still. I'm gonna go after the mage. I might be able to bait out like a, uh... Oh. Perfect. And Apis was one of the ones that had... Yeah, I was gonna say, he has full inventory now, but that's not a big deal. I just have to always double check to make sure that I'm not attacking the enemies with the uh, upgrade items, which I think are the bat and the gunner. Oh, ah, uh, fuck, dude. That could have been a cray kill. Son of a bitch. Um, do I bother with Sig? I don't even know, dude. Nah, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna get attacked instead of killing with Sig. Sig can always heal whoever gets attacked. It's not the end of the world. <clears throat> oh! Fuck, that was a mistake on my part. That was a mistake on my part. Nice. You should be able to kill him. Good. He should level up now with his next heal. We're a little banged up right now, so we do have to be careful before we uh, start really proceeding. Especially since I passed up the, the auto kill here on the rat man. <clears throat> Take a look at the battlefield once more. So that guy has that. One of these bats has that. Alright. We're probably gonna go... I don't even know. What, what's the better path? Probably down and around. Uh, I actually don't want Razor to get that kill. I want somebody else to get it. And whoever goes first, basically, whether it's Apis, Shade, or Claude, I guess can get the kill down below. Looks like it's gonna be Claude. This way. Hey, look, it's Cray's lucky day. Look at that. 
Yeah, he's pretty good, man. Cray is legit. He's Cray, some say. Oh, are they retreating down into the fucking... That makes sense. This is probably the stronghold down here. That's kind of funny. Because these guys will probably attack us before they do. I get it, though. Um, I should probably heal myself, right? Yeah, they are definitely retreating. Hmm. Um. Yeah, why not? He does pose a pretty big threat, so we gotta start hitting in him. Oh, we got a double attack! Nice. Look at that. That's actually good, because I wanted to get Apis some experience in this fight, so... That is good. Then we'll have Sig probably heal Shade. Everything is going according to plan. I didn't check to see, the Priest probably has only a healing spell, right? He might randomly have high attack. Occasionally that's the case. Let's see. Eh, yeah, not really. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my god, no! Oh, guys. Oh, I fucking got the double kill with Apis, so I didn't get the fucking power potion. Oh, that blows. That blows. Oh well. I am... If this was an offline playthrough, I would 100% restart this battle, but I'm not gonna bother. That is a bummer though, guys. I didn't think about that. Because he got the double kill, or the double hit, and he got the kill, I was not able to get the, uh... Little powerful wine, or whatever the fuck it's called. I gotta make sure... That I get that protect milk, otherwise this fucking fight will be fruitless. I might even pass fucking give. Yeah, that's fine. That's a bummer because I am always a attack first kind of guy. And those types of, uh, upgrades would be good for people like Claude, you know what I mean? But, it is what it is. Hmm. That sucks. Also, how the hell are we gonna get to these fucking bats, dude? I guess I have to press the issue up top or something. They don't seem to be moving and I'm getting really close to the... These guys. Alright, they're finally moving. Where are they going though? They are going south, okay. Wanna make sure that's the one with the protect milk, so. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna put Roost there. I wanna make sure I have more like reinforcements that are in attacking range so we don't get bamboozled. Wow, what a dickhead. Ooh! That's not good. Okay, thank goodness. Yo, these guys are tough, dude. Holy shit. We gotta take care of them quick, these rat flies. Oh, 
Oh my god, that's not the one, is it? Hold up. Oh, guys, oh my god. Thank goodness. Oh my god, that was almost a huge blunder again. I'm so fucking stupid. Thank god I traded the fucking herb, dude, or we would have lost both of the fucking upgrades. That would have been terrible, man. That would have been so bad. Um... Hmm... Well, Claude should survive one hit, right? And if he can get over here... I'm gonna put Claude here. Eh. Sucks. But... We'll be able to heal. Although, isn't Roos, like, on death's door, now that I'm thinking about it? Yeah, these bats are nothing to fuck with. Hmm. Oh, you schmuck. He's dead. Oh, we survived. Operation beat the piss out of this guy. It's a little tricky. A little tricky. Uh, I think I'm gonna stand pad, actually. So Sig yet again is basically worthless. <clears throat> Cray is not, but Roos needs to get healed. Fuck. Might just use an herb. There's a lot of uh, chances for us to get killed here, so... Probably better safe than sorry. I wasn't sure how that guy was gonna move, you know what I mean? I'm still bummed that I missed the uh, powerful wine. Big blunder on my part. I gotta do some item swapping after this battle as well. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I'll move you here. You can go here. You can go here. You can go right here. We're going in with Sig, baby. Take that. Yeah, Sig's starting to lag behind a little bit. He's definitely not Cray, we'll say that. Let's see how hard he gets hit here. Might be like 13. Only eight? Oh, I underestimated his defense then. Um, let me think. We have a lot of people that could attack from range, so I'm not too worried about putting Razor here. Guy's a lot beefier than I thought though. But like, look how many ranged attackers we have. We also have Apis, we also have, oh, we could have really used that kill though. Well, if Wendy gets a turn, though, which she does, that's good. Oops, let's equip that. Back the loader. Might get healed though. Mm, or not. Nice. Good job, team. Good job. The only blunder in this fight was losing the powerful wine, so. Only 21 attacks, so yeah, nothing.
Ain't nothing to worry about. Alright. Roos. Frey. I want to make sure that most people are at 10. Shade. Apis. Claude. So, Shade and Roos should probably... Yeah, I'll try to attack with Shade, Roos, or Cray. Here. The others could fall back. All this guy could do is heal himself, which will, in the long run will be like better for us, right? Because his attack does like nothing. Yeah, he's just gonna heal himself. We get free experience until he runs out of MP. <laughs> I'll take it. I don't know if Roos can kill him. Nah, I didn't think so. Shades? Yeah, about to level up. Let's get Shade the kill. And if we miss, oh well. Alright, all in all, a successful fight, I'd say. <laughs> Couple people are lagging behind a little bit. I gotta work on them. Look, there goes a villager. Let's talk to him. Thanks, Claude. You arrived just in time. Wooldol's goons were about to wreck the whole town. By the way, I'm stock. Hey, Mayfair, over here. I'm Mayfair, a healer. My father was Archbishop of Cyprus before Woldol took over. I can't see, but I can heal and use magic. Please take me with you. Oh shit, they're going with the Odd Eye, uh, or excuse me, Oddler. Spoilers. Route with her. Woldol killed her father. I, it's so hard to pronounce Woldol. It's like really odd. Woldol killed her father and blinded her. She barely escaped. He killed my family too. There's nothing left for me here. I'd like to come with you, if you let me. All right, we got Stock the Ranger and Mayfair the Priest. So Stock is intriguing. Mayfair, not so much, to be honest with you, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe. I mean, her, she probably learns better heals than uh, Sig and Cray, so. We can rest at the church tonight and leave at sunrise. Let's start passing around some items. There. See what we got going on here in the shop. Oops, did not mean to buy that. Ooh, steel lance and a power glove. I think these are all upgrades, right? Nice. So we could sell all of his items now. Middle axe, I th think, is an upgrade. Or Roos, yep. Power glove. Nice. <laughs> Cray. Pretty good upgrade for Cray, holy moly. Robin's arrow. Upgrade for stock. Yeah, we're rocking right now, people. For sure. Power stick. Um, Wendy. 
I'm sure what's her face could use it. Mayfair, right? Yep. Um, I think that's good for now. Claude and Razor already have the middle sword, so let's sell. Oop, sell the hand axe. Sell the steel arrow. Sell the leather glove. Bronze rod. The spear. And the bronze lance. Leather glove. Steel arrow. And whatever Mayfair had, a bronze rod. <laughs> Alright, uh, that's a little concerning. Stock is level 4 and Mayfair is level 5. Woof. That's really bad, actually. Uh, I'm gonna have to look into seeing if they're worthwhile uh, leveling up or not, because they're pretty fucking far behind, man. They are pretty far behind. So just in case I decide to... First, I want to save it. And then I want to hop into the next battle and aggress. In case I decide to... Uh, grind it. Let's see. What the hell? We ended up outside? I guess it was just an underground passage, huh? That tower belongs to Bazoo, the wizard. Bazoo is Woldol's right-hand man. He does a lot of Woldol's dirty work. Razor, I'll bet Bazoo can answer some questions for us. Bazoo? <laughs> Fucking name. Alright, so I'm just gonna aggress right away here. Wanted to make sure I didn't advance any more story off camera. I'm probably gonna end up grinding this fight at some point. Because those people are so fucking far behind with the levels, it's absolutely terrible. So I will fill you guys in on the happenings with my grind. And uh, we'll go from there. Alright guys, I uh, just want to fill you in a little bit. Did a little bit of grinding. Let's go through everybody's levels here. Eee. All right, 11, 10, 11, 10, 11, 11, 11, 11, 8, 6. Uh, so obviously Stock and Mayfair were the newbies. So it sucks that they were such low levels because fucking Stock is really good, dude. Like arguably better than Shade. And Shade started out pretty good too. And from what I understand, Mayfair is actually like the best healer in the whole game. Or at least in book one. I don't, I, I don't know what happens. Like, is book two a completely different scenario? I don't know. I never did it before. It's supposed to be Shining Force Gaiden 2, so I'm assuming the characters don't transfer over. But anyway. Uh, Mayfair is supposedly the best healer in this game, at least. In this book. But the issue is, is we have Kray and we have Sig, right? Who aren't as good at healers, but they're good attackers. So, I tend to, like air on the side of like I'd rather you be useful in that aspect right now Mayfair's attack isn't too bad because she does have a, a power stick but I don't know I see her probably lagging behind uh, I tried my best to level them up with the two I did two grinds um, I left probably three to four enemies on the board each time because a few of them uh, have items that they're holding and I didn't want to uh, kill them and pick those up you know what I mean want to do that on camera so anyways that's that. Uh, we're actually gonna do some promoting. I read that it's for like a normal playthrough, which is what I'm doing. I'm not doing a full grind playthrough. That it's pretty much just good to level uh, promote people at level 10. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, no. And now we are going to promote. And we're gonna start up at the top. Becoming a hero, baby. Them Shining Force 2 sounds, though, you know what I'm saying? Promote Roos. So I don't know if their stats go down in this game or not. I probably should have checked that. In Shining Force 1, when you promote, your stats go down for a little bit. In Shining Force 2, they don't. Um, let's actually check. So let's go to Shade, 
Hopefully they don't go down. If they do, eh, it's not the end of the world because we'll be getting lots of experience, obviously, but... Alright, let's go check. Nope, they don't go down. Perfect. Well, that makes things a lot easier. Um, a lot of times, like in the first Shining Force, I usually try to promote around level 15 because of the fact that your stats going down, but when your stats don't go down, it makes it a little bit easier to digest. But um, yeah, I read some weird shit online where um, if you promote at level 10, I think it was if you promote at level 10, you have less growth for stats later on. Like apparently like your stats barely go up and you barely get experience uh, the closer you get to the next 20 cap, so to speak. I don't know. Who knows? We'll see, right? I'm just happy that everybody's about to get experience because we were starting to get to the point where, you know, you're killing enemies with Claude or whatever and you're getting like 11 experience points, which is not good. And my suspicions were correct. So Cray is a great attacker, but his heals and shit, I guess, lag behind that of Sig's. I might just roll with the double uh, Master Monks, dude. I might. We'll see how far uh, Mayfair falls behind. I do kind of, like, since apparently she is the best healer in the game, I don't want to waste her. But we'll see. Alright. Let's finally get to this battle, shall we? So a couple things to note, I guess the skeleton, let's go all the way up here. I didn't kill any of these guys, none of the bats, none of these dudes when I was doing my grind. Apparently he drops a steel sword, and this guy drops the cheerful bread, which raises your HP. Oh look at those sprites, that's pretty sick. I like it. I'm actually not a huge fan of the, uh, the master monk sprite work, but the other stuff I like. Wait a minute. Did Claude's movement get worse? I think it did. Oh no. Did I... Did I waste the running pimento? Or whatever the fuck it's called? Oh, that, that'd that be fucking dreadful. Because his movement was way better before promotion, guys. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, indeed. Because uh, that shit does not level up, I'll tell you. I'm kind of regretting that now. Oh boy. Anyway. That sucks. Because uh, when I was doing my grind, like, Claude was able to, like, fucking really get going. But here he was definitely limited. Hmm. Trying to space them out a little bit. We're gonna take out the guys to the right first. They're gonna have trouble moving because of the mountains. And we're gonna try to get experience points for Mayfair and Shade, but it's kind of gonna be a uh, every man or woman for themselves at this point, since we did promote. Huh. We're still only getting five experience? I'm curious. Well, <laughs> guess we'll find out with the, the next person. Is he even gonna be able to kill him? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, wow. So even though we're promoted, we're still not gaining good experience off these enemies. That's actually kind of interesting. Hmm.
sucks. I'm just out of range. Well, I guess we are going to try to uh, do as much as we can with Mayfair and sh uh, Stock. If that's the case. Maybe it was just the, the dwarf? Maybe if I have them attack like zombies and shit, they'll get more experience probably? I don't know. soften these guys up hopefully man I noticed Claude's been missing a lot which is really fucking weird but uh, whatever I guess uh, I don't think blaze 2 will kill any of these guys so oh I didn't realize the brass loader was at 8 we just killed it that kind of sucks Oh well. What can you do? Yeah, stock's gonna be easy to get promoted. He'll pop. Honestly, he'll probably be uh, level 10 by the end of this battle. <clears throat> Mayfair, though? I don't know. That's gonna be a uh, babying affair. A babying Mayfair affair. Don't poison me. Thank you. Okay, so I take that back. The overworld sprites? Of the monks look kind of dumb to me, but the uh, the battle sprite looks pretty cool. Also, the sprite of uh, the main character, Razor. Reminds me of Adai a little bit from Shining Force 2. Slightly. Let's get some attacks in here, shall we? Stock's gonna be able to get over. I don't think he's gonna be able to get over. What shall we do? Probably kill the zombie then, right? Yeah, we got good experience with the zombie at least, but. Eh. Probably gonna have to eat a shot from the, uh, the gunner here, because I wanna get that kill to uh, the stock. can heal with Mayfair. Let's do heal one. Yeah, I haven't been able to uh, play as much. Probably mentioned before, I've been like watching my parents' dogs a lot and they were supposed to be home basically yesterday or today. But it seems to be dragging on and yeah, it's just eating up into my free time. I only have pretty much enough time to do work and chores. I've been playing games for maybe like a half hour a day. If that. I know, first world problems, but still. I'm really wrapped up into this, I want to continue it, you know what I mean? The other night I pounded out the first chapter in one session, and I was like, oh shit, let's go. And then uh, everything came to a screeching halt. But yeah, this fight shouldn't be too bad. I'm hoping to get 
at least two more fights in before I start work. Well, not two more, but this one and the next one. We'll see, of course. You never know. Um... Who has lower? That has lower, right? 14. But... Hmm. Trying to think of the trade-off here. Is it possible at all that Mayfair can kill the, uh... Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, dude, stock's awesome, man. Loving him. As long as we don't counter, thank you. Gotta watch out for those rat flies. They are a bit devastating. Alright, we're gonna have to go kind of all out attack here and not really worry so much about stock in Mayfair. Especially if we're about to get uh, trounced by the enemy. Based off of my numbers here, she should do seven. Eight, there we go. Bam. Oof, I was gonna give that sword to Razor, or, um,. To Claude, but I might have to give that shit to Razor, man. He is weak. Damn. He critting. Oh man, I haven't attacked anything with Apis in a while. Oh, for some reason I thought he had a spear, but now that I'm remembering, he does have a fucking lance. Which sucks. Do we just take the kill? I don't know what to do here. Well, I guess I could bang into this dude. Because there's no way we're going to kill him unless we got a crit. Oh, we're so far back with stock. That sucks. Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to heal that zombie. We're about to get attacked like three times, which isn't ideal. But I'm trying to experience spread, people. It's putting me in harm's way. Do I just take the kill with Roos? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't want to. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not bad. As long as we don't get poisoned. Alright, it's actually turning out to be okay. Is she gonna level up now? I can't remember what she was at. I feel like she's close. No? Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, chill. Please. Alright, well we survived the onslaught, and now pretty much everybody's gonna die, so I really want a uh, shade, or not shade, um, watch my call. Oh wait, which zombie got healed? It was one over there. I really want our boy. the fuck is his name? I can't remember his name right now. I'm drawing a blank. The, uh, centaur fucking sniper. Archer. I want to get him another kill out of here. Alright. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Eight. Nine. What are we rocking with Sig? Only 28. Can you even kill the zombie? 
right on the button. Oh, I hope this guy isn't the boss. I didn't even think about that. No, I guess it doesn't matter. We're actually gonna have to get uh, another round of attacks here. Yeah, shit. Um. Oh my goodness. I'm getting fucked, guys. Leaving ones on the board everywhere. Alright, who needs healed? Razor first. If uh, Shade dies, he dies. Stock is the name of the other, other archer. He's gotta get up, man. Uh, is he gonna be able to kill anything? Maybe the zombie? Maybe? I don't remember what his attack is. Oh, not even a question. 50 experience, let's go. Dude's gonna heal himself. Kinda wanna take him out before the uh, the rat flies come into the picture. Oh, oh, we narrowly avoided getting bamboozled there by a big spell. Narrowly avoided the bamboozlement. All right, Mayfair. So here's the weird thing. I could heal or I could take the kill and hope that we kill the skeleton first. And that's what I'm doing. Wait, what? Did I learn a spell called Hell? Oh shit! Oh, so it looks like Blast. From Shining Force 2. Okay. Um, Claude has an empty space, right? He does, he does. Dude's fucking fully healed though, which is bullshit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and kill you and grab the sword. My instinct is telling me to give the sword to uh, Razy here since he's only got 27 attack. But then I also want to beef Claude up, so I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Um, hmm. We might suffer a casualty or two here. Oh, I was not expecting that. Okay, well. That actually makes things a little easier. And now we have to deal with a bunch of rat flies in this dude. I want to take out the mage as quick as possible. That's whack. Honestly. Hmm. I wanted to attack the rat fly with the uh, shady boy here, but I want to move him away from them if I can, you know, because they attack pretty hard from what I remember. All right, can we withstand an onslaught from the rat flies? That's the question at the moment. Um, I get the kill here with stock, which is good. He might have been the boss, honestly. Cool, we could promote him already. Awesome. Which was not the boss. Alright, here we go. Rat fly time, people. Going after Cray, huh? He might get attacked twice. Oh, okay, going after Roos. What do we got here for hell? Two? Heal Mayfair. And then uh, maybe we'll use a hell spell on one of the rat flies. If we have the ability to, of course. We'll see if that comes our way. Alright. Now let's go in, baby. Blaze two. Risking it here. 
that stuff. I'm always wary of missing, but obviously I think we're good. Guess we'll take the kill here. Just kidding. Yo, Claude misses a lot, dude. There we go. That's like the fourth or fifth miss uh, between this fight and my two grinds that I did before this. A little crazy. Alright, I want to get... I'm gonna hold off. Um, actually gonna do this. I actually don't know why I did that. That's stupid of me. Oh, uh, I'm a moron. Well, you know what? I might not promote him until the next, next, next battle then. Because I just <laughs> wasted all those experience points on him. I didn't even think about that. I should have given it to somebody who was promoted. Damn it. That was a blunder on my end. Big blunder. Um, let's just go ahead and pull back. That's fine. I want to get the attack with Mayfair. I think I can kill this thing. And if I can't, it's all good. Yay. Yeah, so I wasted some experience there on stock. Which uh, I'm regretting. So now I have to promote him at level 11. <laughs> well done. Let's go have a little chat with Bazoo. Alright, we just got our camp here. So let's see. Ooh. That is tempting, Claude. I'm gonna give it to you, buddy. All right, let's try to get this battle with Bazoo. Well, potentially Bazoo, it might not be actually Bazoo. In before I have to start work. Well, 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 Guardian is little shining force. You might get past my guards, but you won't get past me. Bazoo cast an evil spell. Oh shoot. Artificially uh, lengthening the battle, I see. I'll be waiting for you at the top of the tower if you get that far. Okay, so we're not fighting Bazoo yet. I could feel Bazoo's evil power. We must destroy him. Everyone up the stairs. Alright, what do we got? Treasure chest, treasure chest, treasure chest. Okay. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Hmm. Interesting. Well, this fight actually might take a little bit. I am not going to worry uh, in this fight in regards to who gets what. Blah, 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 blah. We are just gonna kill, kill, kill. I think I could probably send... I think I'm gonna go this way. How many mages do we have? We got a priest. Priest. A mage up here. Ooh, these guys look a little rough. Same with you. Hell sniper. Man, I gotta get to all these fucking chests, which sorta sucks. Gonna have to keep healing. More likely than not. Okay. Well, the good news is, is it looks like we're about to be approached rather quickly. Uh, and to my knowledge, 
nobody could fly over other than the uh, Pegasus Knight people all the way in the back, so. Um, do we go in? Do we go in? Do we go in? I think we do. We're just going to take the kills as we can get them. Don't matter who's getting the experience at this point, people. We are in a rough terrain battle. Probably going to end up looting with Claude and then kind of ringing up the rear. Let's see if we can get this kill with Sig, maybe. Good. <clears throat> Good start, good start. Ooh, quick ring. Okay. Well, the good news and the bad news, uh, the good news is, is I got the quick ring, the bad news is I think his inventory's full, so... Probably gonna have to drop something, because he's more likely than, than not gonna end up looting for me. This priest shouldn't be a big deal at all, I'm assuming, right? Like one or two damage? Yeah. Kabon, this dude. Man, the snipers are really fucking good in this game, I will say that. They are infinitely times more useful than they are in the first two Shining Forces, wow. It's actually nuts, to be honest with you. Oh yeah, shit, who has the, uh... I forgot, somebody has the Bread of Life, or whatever the fuck it's called. Cheerful Bread. Is it Apis? It is. What do we have going on up here? We do have a mage. Ooh, these guys might be coming down pretty quick. Um, yeah, I'm gonna head back. So I have to be careful to not be um, right next to everybody so we don't get massively spell hit on the way up. I'm gonna do my best to not not be in a plus sign scenario. Shade's like, oh, you want to uh, take the reins off and let us free? Let me just fucking shoot and kill everything. <laughs> Uh, the dude's fucking unstoppable right now. Alright, gotta move her. What if I cut across? No, that's not a good idea. Let's work back this way. Yeah, we don't want to go there yet. We want to go loot that chest in the upper right after we take care of this dude. Perfect. We baited out a physical attack, which is exactly what we wanted. Now we will gang up on this dude. And we're going to have to deal with those Pegasus Knight things, but we'll be all right. Gotta start getting some experience for Razor. Fucking shade, dude. Alright, I'm gonna go against my thing here. I gotta get somebody else some fucking experience. It's getting a little uh, excessive, right? Um. Hmm. I don't know if this is going to kill him or not. 
Yeah. I might have been better off trying to get a physical attack in. Oh well. I think Apis will be alright. Should I do... Yeah, I'm gonna kill a Sig. We'll do Siggy Boy. Damn, that's a good, uh... A good bump. 3 HP, 3 D. You like to see it. When are they gonna move though? That's the question. I think I'm gonna go up and around, right? Do I have to? Yeah, I have to anyway. Okay, I can't cut down that way. That's fine. Makes things easier because now we're pretty much gonna have to loot these chests. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. Uh, I can't get to that one yet. That's some bullshit. And Apis has a full inventory. God damn it. Alright, what do we got here? Battle Axe. Okay. Should be able to give that to, uh... To Roos. Right? Does he have one? Middle Axe. We're good. Alright. Well, we got the one ring. Was it the quick ring? Yo, these guys not moving? What the fuck? Hmm. So I'm debating on who to give the quick ring to. I'm waiting. Part of me wants to give it to Razor, but I don't know. I didn't know you could reopen the chest after it was already open. That's funny. <clears throat> All right. It has begun. I could have started the festivities myself, but I decided not to. I don't really have any regrets there. Yo, look at that armor he's got. That's fucking cool. Oh, come on now. I was mildly worried about that. Thank you, Claude. Okay. Nice, dude. Perfect. Let's fucking kill these dudes. They ain't got shit. Taking kills as they come, people. Alright. Probably move... Stock out of the way whenever I can. Move Razor over here. Can we get the kill here? I feel like it's gonna be like seven or eight or something. Eh, nine. We were close, we were close. Poor Wendy. Her spells are honestly a lagging up behind just a little bit right now. All right, we're trying to draw the other Pegasus Knight around. I didn't want Claude swinging in because we're probably, well actually fuck dude, I forgot Claude has that new weapon, right? Okay, now I have to stop killing people with stock. <laughs> yeah, I forgot Claude has the new sword, so his uh, attack went up by like 8 or something ridiculous. That's fine. Yeah, definitely tougher. So is that it? 
Is it just uh, those two guys with that, that, and then the final? Yeah, okay. That's cool. Yeah, we're in good shape. We are in good shape, people. Let's get a crit. No. Oh, let's go. Let's go. We needed that. There we go. Attack. Oh, that was a good level up, too. Good stuff. Trying to tread water here until we can get the fucking uh, next sword upgrade. Okay. Have to go loot that chest. This onslaught of enemies here is going to be a little rough. Going to definitely have to come in through the side with uh, Claude. Make sure that we're all healed up before we go in. Keep advancing until we get out of here. That's fucked up. I just realized that. Let me see. Hold on. Huh. It seems like the enemies can go over a lot of those things, but I can't. Unless I'm uh, not seeing that correctly, which is possible. Oh no, we're all right, we're all right. There we go. Granted, that is a bit of an older enemy. Take care of the skelly. Gotta make sure that we don't miss the treasure chest in the upper left. All right, the gunner will be dead pretty quickly. Whoever attacks next, essentially. Or excuse me, brass loader. I always get my fucking names. Ooh, attack went up by three, though. I always get my names confused because there's very similar enemies in lots of the games, and whether they're reskinned or whatever, it doesn't really matter. It's just, you know, things change, the names change, and it's hard to remember each one. Uh, Cray has a spot, right? Uh, Power Spear. Okay, so we have one more chest left. Which I'll probably have Claude loot. And now it's time to go down. And kill the uh, final enemies here. Somebody needed heal here, right? I thought. Not really. Oh, Apis kind of needs healed. I just realized that I put Apis uh, in the firing range from the sniper. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Hmm. Well, let's heal him at least, right? Attack me. I'll take it. A little wary to go in in just yet. Uh, does Claude have inventory? He does not. Can I drop that? And then let's loot. It was empty! I dropped it for nothing, people. How about that? You like that? Alright, well, we looted all the chests. It's time to go in. Take no prisoners.
As long as we stay uh, checkerboarded, we won't get hit with a massive spell, and we should be totally fine considering these enemies. We just have to make sure that we maintain. Ah, uh, perfect. We baited out the attack, which is exactly what we wanted. Once we kill this dude, pretty much every threat of anything is out the window for the most part. Well, obviously, the sniper is not going to be easy or anything, but... Hmm. The only positive here is that the mage is kind of boxed in at the moment. Would be really nice if Wendy could hit a nice uh, blaze on these fools, but we'll see. Try to take this dude out. Probably have Apis attack him. As long as he doesn't miss, he should be killed. Perfect. Sig coming in hot here. That uppercut, though. Just out of range, unfortunately. I feel like Wendy's starting to lag behind a little bit as I'm trying to level up other people and just buy, I don't know, the general whatever of it all. Which is unfortunate. I think she needs to learn, like, Freeze 2 or Blaze 3 soon. <laughs> Wendy, if, if you want your turn, we'll take it, okay? Whenever you want. Eh, I guess Razor. Might not kill, though. Yeah. Wendy will kill this thing with a blaze too, though. If it's her turn one of these days. There we go. Nice. All right, last two opponents. Oops. Get everybody up in this bitch. Probably take care of the priest so he doesn't heal the archer, right? But we don't want to kill the stock, right? Uh, we could actually kill the stock. Maybe we'll get 50? Do we get 50? Give us 50? Please give me 50, please. Please. Oh, 49. Uh, we need to whack into this archer then with stock, unfortunately. Let's get some free heal uh, experience here before we bounce. Uh, basically, right after this fight, I have to stop recording because it's uh, time to go to work in a minute. <clears throat> Just gotta take care of this hell sniper. Oh, wow. What a hellish sniper you are, sir. Get 
get a cheap heal in here. Yeah, I was a little uh, lazy with the heals in this fight. I definitely left like 30 to 40 experience on the board, which is kind of unfortunate, but... Let's get a heal with Mayfair. Still gotta focus on leveling her up as well. It sucks because stock is one experience point away from fucking promotion. I might have to like pop into battle and bang into somebody and then fucking leave. <clears throat> All right, one more hit on this guy. Uh, I don't really want to get the kill with Apis, to be honest with you. I knew we were going to get attacked again, but I don't want to get the kill with Apis. Sorry. He's gotten enough experience, and clearly he's tanking shit right now. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to get it with stock either. That's a waste. There we go. This is not a waste. Perfect. And bam. We out of this bitch. <clears throat> He's up there. Don't let your guard down. Let's go. Ooh, a tower battle, though. And so we meet again. Tell us, who are you looking for? I'll tell you, but you'll have to defeat me first. <laughs> eee, nanny nanny boo boo. <laughs> ah, this fucker. Alright, let's aggress. <clears throat> I'm actually not going to do anything right now. I'm just going to save because I have to get going, so. There we go. And when we pick up, we will uh, reevaluate our promotions, our items, our weapons, and so forth. Alright, a couple quick things to discuss. Um, I went into the next battle and I uh, hit an enemy once with... Um... Oh my god, why do I keep forgetting the guy's name? <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. With stock. I keep thinking of Shade because that's the other archer. Uh, so I'm going to promote stock, uh, swap around some items that I got, check out the weapons, uh, and then head into battle. But I also want to point out something scary, guys. I had two saves saved on my battery backup, and the first one got corrupted. So that's a little frightening. I think I'm gonna start... Oh wait, I don't think I can save in multiple slots. Oh boy. Just keep your fingers crossed that uh, this save doesn't get deleted. The save that got deleted was the one that I was using um, originally just to make sure that my cartridge was working again. So yeah, that, that is very concerning that it just outright got deleted. Uh, and if it uh, continues on that path, I'm going to have to probably replay everything on emulator, <laughs> which would be really fucking annoying. Anyway, um, let's promote stock. And then we're going to have to swap around some of the weapons that we got in the last battle. And in this battle against Bazoo, there's actually two other weapons to grab as well. So we're done promoting. We're going to have to give actually we could use the cheerful bread probably uh who should use this i'm thinking claude and then we're going to no 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 give the power spear apis and what else do we get the battle axe that to Roos. Did I get one more item in that battle? Um, no, that might have been it. Alright. Let's equip the power spear. Uh, should we equip, who should we get the quick ring to? I feel like maybe we will give it to Claude for now. We're gonna speed that shit up. And then we'll also equip the battle axe. Alright, let's do this. Go sell some stuff. Middle axe. Um, steel lance. I think that's it. What do we got for sale though? 
Metal sword, metal axe, blah blah blah, Robin's there. Nothing, doesn't look like anything crazy. Let's also use our potions that we've been hoarding, right? Checked milk. Uh, who needs higher defense? You know what, we're just gonna load up on Claude. I think Claude's our main. I am gonna use the powerful... No, no, I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna use the powerful wine on uh, Razor. And then we're gonna save it and head into battle. So again, guys, I am starting to get a little scared that uh, my data is gonna get corrupted. Keep your fucking fingers crossed. If it does, I'm gonna have to do all my Sega CD playthroughs on emulator, unfortunately. I just replaced the battery in this thing too, like, come on, man. But here we go, the epic showdown against Bazoo. Um, I think some uh, enemies up here. He may or may not drop that protect staff. The assault shell, I think, gets dropped. So we'll see. Yeah, here I thought Shade was gonna be my man, but I'm telling you, uh... Fucking Stock is a, a true G. I'm sure his defense, you know, is terrible. Against the stronger enemies, obviously, but... I don't know, his movement and his range is just pretty good. Oh! Underestimated that. Good thing I gave him that potion. Or the uh, power milk, whatever. Uh, I will have... Mayfair heal... Cloud. Yeah, you guys gotta bear with me. It's, uh, it's really tough to remember all the names. Of everything. I have so much Shining Force 1 and 2 knowledge and not so much this game. Oh, he is just out of range. That sucks. Uh, what should we do here? You know what? We'll just stay here. Fuck it. Take that shit. Hopefully we can get somebody in front of Shade. I don't want my archers getting hit so early. Do I really want Sig doing that though? I guess it doesn't matter. Because I could follow up with uh, Stalker or Wendy. Damn, only two experience? Come on now. Yeah, we need to level up Wendy, man. She needs to learn some uh, better spells. There we go. You learn sleep, that's not necessarily <laughs> a better spell, but it's something, I guess. <clears throat> Fortunately, Claude's gonna get hit again, I think. Yeah. As long as we don't get uh, critted, we're fine. Oh, yeah, medical herb? Son of a bitch. What a jerk. Yo, this dude's just getting <laughs> fucking healed everywhere. Let me break. Oh. In that case, we're gonna target the priest. That's for sure. With our new axe here. Uh, I was thinking we were gonna get a double attack. Oh well. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I forgot the priest only had 3 HP left. Oh well. Oh well. And here we go. It's deja vu all over again, like Yogi Berra says, right? I feel like we just attacked this dude. And we did! But now, nobody can heal you, alright? So eat shit. Let's go. Let's go, Razor.
Wendy's just going ham in this fight. Again, I thought we were going to get the double attack. Feels bad. Alright, let's heal up and then uh, continue on our path to the top. I think I'm going to go... to the left. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely gonna go to the left. I think those guys from below will just come up and meet me. And the Pegasus Knights will probably fly down. Which is fine. Eh, waste of MP, but you know what? I want some experience. We gotta get Mayfair to level 10. Soonish. There we go. Certainly helps. I'm still shook up, guys. I still don't know why that uh, save data got corrupted. That just has me fucking scared shitless. I loaded it up and it was like, oh, we can't find book one. But we found book two and I'm like, oh my god. I mean, it shouldn't disappear without me doing something to it. I don't remember ever deleting it physically myself. Uh, I know it's been inactive, you know, for well over a week. But that shouldn't mean shit. People sometimes don't play games for a week, you know what I mean? Like, that should not be, uh... Shouldn't be happening. I'm just gonna hope that... You know, the fact that I did put a fucking brand new battery in here... Doesn't corrupt this one since it is so active. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything, I'm just gonna... Keep my fingers crossed. Alright, so Razor's getting targeted, but it's all good. Actually, I was just kidding, that's not that not that good. Yikes. Oh boy. Alright, we gotta take out that mage. We also gotta heal Razor. ASAP. That's good, one more hit. <sighs> oh. Hmm. Nah, we're good. Should kill the mage. Then a healer can come up and heal Razor, and we're totally fine. Ah, oh, cool, we did get the protect staff. Nice. I feel like, um... Mayfair can probably use that, but she probably has to be promoted. That makes sense. Kind of risky here. I want to get Mayfair the kill. That was the uh, the plan right there. Stay. 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 Ah, uh, I think Mayfair got outturned by the uh, by the skeleton. I think she definitely did. She got outturned by a lot of people. God damn, dude. Ooh, that's a little sketchy. Yeah. Hmm. I 
We're gonna have to get up in there and heal. Hopefully the other dude doesn't come down and attack him, but he probably will. Uh, as long as he doesn't get critted or double attacked, he'll survive. Alright, good. Alright, let's go right here. I should level him up too, right? Yeah. Woo, attacked by three. Okay, let's attack from afar. He should be safe now, relatively. Oh, come on. Come on, dude. Oh, here we go. Double attack. Yeah, eat shit. She should probably physically be able to kill him. Oh, I flubbed that. What, what was I doing, guys? Oh, that was a big mistake. Oh, well. Oh, my God. Are we really getting this shit right now? This RNG? Is this really happening? We're about to fucking not kill this dude because I missed two physical attacks in a row. Come on now. I was trying to conserve my MP. That's whack. Whack, 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 whack. Yep, and I'm out of range there. Fuck me, dude. That's stupid. That's fucking lame. She's gonna get killed, isn't she? <laughs> the critical counterattack of one. Goodness gracious. Ooh, good thing I healed him. God damn, they were on a warpath to get him. Wow. That's crazy. I will heal Wendy. So I think we only have, uh, after we kill these two guys, we have one more Pegasus Knight and then the, uh, the final... Oh, no, 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 we still have those people down below. I just forgot about them. Because <laughs> they really haven't been doing anything. Woo! That would have one shot at him, man. Alright, cool. We also can't forget that that one dude uh, drops what appears to be a buster shot type thing. So we're gonna have to get that as well. Gotta heal Shade again, and then we're gonna uh, push on here. Did I just waste all of his MP? Does he have five left? Well, it's five. Okay, um, let's, well, I want to get Mayfair promoted as quickly as possible, so I'm going to have her heal Shade, probably. We're about to get attacked. She should be okay. Hey, more than okay. Okay. And then probably, like, a kill and another heal should level her up, I think. Maybe. I could be a little off with my numbers. No, yeah. That would. <clears throat> she had more MP. Two heals could possibly do it, depending on how uh, injured everybody is, of course. Oh, perfect. You attacked one of my tanks. Good job, moron. So much for that highest difficulty AI, right? Ooh, I think that's the first time I saw stock since his promotion. <laughs> Looking pretty sick. All right. 
right, everybody's coming in. Uh, does anybody need another heal? Not here. I think that it doesn't hell the attack that uh, Mayfair now isn't that only two MP? If so, I can get a low level heal and maybe a hell off for a kill. I don't remember. Oopsies, forgot about that guy. Alright, we're tanking it up here with Apis. Nice. Ooh, defensive three. Right on time. <clears throat> That's okay. Okay, it's not great, but we'd rather him get hit. Right? Okay, attacking Wendy, which is also okay. You do have to worry about... Getting... Does he have enough MP left to multi-blaze me? I don't even know. Some of the uh, lower level characters in the games don't have enough MP to do more than, you know, like one or two attacks with magic, so... Ooh, interesting. Those guys didn't even attack. Odd. Well, now you're dead, so... Your mistake! One of those dudes should have came up and forced the issue. That's what they get for laying back. Ah, come on, bro. Come on now. <clears throat> Ooh, Mayfair might be able to get the kill here. We play our cards right. I think this is the guy that might drop the weapon. So we have to make sure that it's somebody with a full inventory. Who doesn't have a full inventory? I think everybody does for the most part. Yeah, we're good. So I want to try to get that kill from Mayfair. I'm a little scared. I'm going to pull back. Ooh, getting a kill with Sig, though, would be a little interesting. Hmm. Eh, I'm just gonna stay. Yeah, we're getting a little roughed up here because I'm uh, experience hunting. I'm a little concerned about Bazoo because I'm sure he knows magic. I didn't even check. Yeah, he knows Bolt. And has a lot of MP too, so. A little sketchy, I guess, but. Um. Um. Uh. Uh, okay, cool, we got the Assault Shell, and he leveled up, which is also good. Ooh, defense went up by three, very good. Um, alright, I guess we're just gonna start attacking. Bazoo. Looking really menacing over there, Jesus. Oh, you schmuck! Now I can't even get the kill of Mayfair, she's too far away. That's fucked, man. That's some bullshit, honestly. Yep, too far away now. <sighs> what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? Let's just heal and then maybe try to get a physical attack in, I guess. She's at 88, so, I mean, like, she's close, you know what I mean? Um... Hmm... I guess they start attacking in on Bazoo again. Alright, we're 
getting bolted. Ooh, damn, that menacing boss music, though. Don't double attack me, alright? That's all I don't want. Love to be able to kill this guy before he heals himself. Okay. Not the best uh, experience distribution there, unfortunately, but it's okay, I guess. Um, what do we do? Do we wait for Mayfair? <laughs> do we risk getting bolted just to wait for Mayfair? I think the answer is yes. We are playing it stupid here, people. Don't do what I do, okay? Take take the win when it was right there. Now I'm freaking waiting to uh, level up Mayfair, basically. Can she do five damage? Yes, yeah, she can. Perfect. Got it done. Now we could promote her. And let's kill Bazoo. With Claude, why not? Suck it. Alright, sick. I think that's actually the end of chapter two. I will honor my promise. The truth is, Razor, we were looking for you. But you found me instead. Woldol, take me out of here. Razor, you and I will meet again in Cyprus. Razor, what was that all about? I'm free! I'm finally free! I'm Gisha, a mage. Bazoo had me sealed inside of a spell. I want to help you. May I come along? I owe you my life. Hmm. We have another mage in our midst. We kind of already uh, committed some stuff to Wendy, so... <laughs> Hopefully she's average. I feel like I didn't use her much. I don't remember her. Razor, what are you doing here, Razor? Excuse me, Yisha. Do you know Razor? Of course. He's the Prince of Cyprus. He was my master at the palace. The Shining Force was dumbfounded. Razor, the humble stranger, was Prince of Cyprus. But Razor wouldn't answer their questions and withdrew into silence. Their trust shaken, the adventurers set sail from the Cyprus mainland. It's the end of chapter two, baby. Oh, please don't delete my fucking save. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm just gonna keep saying that the entire time. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Chapter 3. At the Guardiana Shining... Or excuse me, as the Guardiana Shining Force approached Cyprus, a customs ship met them and towed the boat into the harbor. Everything and everybody on board was thoroughly inspected. It took some fast talking to get past the inspection. Oh shit. Is this... It's probably just a port, but it reminds me of the Balbazak fight from the first one. And so I escaped from a street with only my clothes. Those Guardiana warriors are awesome. Really? <sighs> oh, I had no idea. Okay, you can go. It's Razor's turn. He better come up with a good tale. Next! Suddenly, King Elmond appeared at the dock. Edmund, excuse me. Can't read. Look, it's Razor's uncle. What brings you to Cyprus, kid? Um, he's mute. Born that way. He's traveling with me. Alright, he could pass. Next. Wait, stop that man. Let me get a good look at him. 
Why? It's Razor. Guards, arrest him. Prince Razor is a danger to the crown. They're arresting Razor. We've got to stop them. Oh, shit. Our force is split? What? Yeah, if you heard a uh, hesitancy in my voice when I was reading that last dialogue, I thought that Apis's profile picture was Razor's, and I'm like, why the fuck is he speaking in the third person? <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's uh, save it up here and uh, tinker around a little bit at the, uh, the shop, maybe buy some more consumables and head on into the first battle of Chapter 3. Alright, guys. <clears throat> so... I ended up making a bunch of copies of my save because I was freaking scared. <laughs> so I made a copy on the inner backup and I also made a copy on the cartridge backup. So technically I have three versions of my save to this point. And I'm honestly probably gonna do that in between each session because I'm I'm just afraid that I'm gonna lose my freaking my data. But anyway. Um we need to do some Item management. Oh, so Wendy could use the protect staff. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I'll give it to her for now since Mayfair can't be promoted yet. Oh, no, Mayfair can be promoted. Same with Yisha. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, we'll do that for now. And didn't I get one more item from that last battle? Yes, the assault shell. I have to decide between stock and shade. I think I'm gonna give it to shade. Just to boost them a little bit. Oops, I gave it to Roost by accident. <laughs> My uh, wireless controller had a bit of a hiccup there. All right, and let's equip. Dupe, perfect. And Wendy, nice. And now we're going to promote. We're just going to go ahead and promote both Yisha uh, and Mayfair. I don't know how I'm feeling about Yisha. Take a look. Um, Yisha is a mage who is sealed by Bazoo. And when Nick, Nick is the main character's name, in this case it's Razor, defeat is Bazoo, uh, defeats Bazoo, excuse me. She is freed and joins the force, and she's the one that drops the knowledge bomb about him being the Prince of Cyprus. I don't know, I just feel like I'm probably not really going to use her much, but we'll roll with it. And then we'll go over to the weapon, uh... Well, all-around salesman. Sell off our old shit and um, see if there's anything new. We are in a new chapter, so... Let's sell first. Sell the power stick. And... The Robin's Arrow. We'll definitely buy a couple heals. Um, for the newbies down here. At least Mayfair and Yisha. Maybe we'll buy healing seeds at this point, right? <clears throat> That's good enough for now, I'm not really too concerned. And it looks like we're rocking the same bullshit there for the weapons, so let's save it up. Oopsies and head into battle. So, uh, this battle is interesting because our force is split up. Um, this kind of happens in the first game at Shade Abbey. A little different though, because I think Max is the only one who's split, but it can make things uh, a little difficult. We'll have to take a look at the battlefield here. And I actually think this is one of the first, might be the first battle where there's nothing to loot. All right, so we got some Pegasus Knights up there, a bunch of people up here. This looks like this is probably, well, it's a new character. I don't think it's the boss. Ooh, Freeze 2. Well, this person's actually pretty good. Um, all right, we have some monsters there, some monsters there. 
So I think we're going to try to meet around in this area. That's the goal. That is the goal. Um, hmm. Where are my healers? Uh, two over here and one over there, I guess. Oh, that's the new person, Yisha. Probably gonna put Apis up here to tank. I put Wendy here. Sig can go right there, and Cray could be slotted right here. I'm torn if I want to go all the way down right away. Oh, dude, he ran right by my tank. <laughs> You fucker, dude. You fucker. Oh, that didn't go according to plan. Yo, they are moving fast. Holy moly. I'm gonna leave Roost there, I think. Alright, well. Good news. Uh, Wendy is gonna be able to... Ooh, the lizard dude is fucking me up. Yeah, this battle is gonna be tough. Me thinks. Especially if these guys get ultra aggro, which I can't tell if they are or not. Very odd movements. Um, who should we kill here? Probably you. Lizard brat. Nice. Ooh! Claude though. Claude Zaddy. How many guys are down here? Three, and then there's this fucking asshole. Blaze three, oh boy. Oh, that could be rough. Um. Hmm. Have these guys really moved yet? I don't think they have. Shit, dude. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna put Razor here. I'm gonna pay you because Wendy should be able to kill. Lizard man. Actually, Wendy should be able to kill both of them with Blaze, too. Apis could... You know what? Apis is going to do this, because we gotta take care of this guy. This guy could do major damage to us. Put him in, uh... Death territory, if you will. Uh, I will leave you here. Alright, let's get a fat Blaze 2 here, shall we? Come on. Nice. And... Perfect. Perfecto. And now let's try to hurry up and get over there. We want to get everybody bunched together, because it looks like we're being approached pretty hardcore by those people up top. Um... Just out of range. Sucks. Those four people are probably going to stay... Put, uh, I was kind of hoping I wasn't. Oh, fuck, dude. Blaze 3. She might die. No? Hmm. Well, fuck me. Looks like Blaze 3 is not as powerful in this game as it is in the... Uh... Well, now she's dead. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to tell you right now. Yisha is probably going to be lagging behind considerably. I just don't anticipate myself uh, taking the time to grind her up. Because how many Force members do we have now at this point? Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think we're maxed out at 12, right? So... Yeah. I'm pretty sure the next few Force members that I get, I'm going to want my party more anyway. So I'm not going to worry about it. Obviously it sucks to lose somebody. Uh, somewhat quickly, but we'll manage. <clears throat> Well, we took care of the, the mage, so that's good. I don't want them moving anytime soon. They could move. That's okay. We're about to meet up. Again, I'm not really concerned with um, experience distribution at this point, considering this fight is not like one to be like dicking around on. You know what I mean? The main goal should really just be... Um... Coming out alive, really. Let 
Wait a minute. Oh, I can't cast hell. I can cast hell on this dude. Let's see how bad it is. <laughs> I mean, if it's anything like... Yeah, so it's basically, um... That spell from Shining Force 2. Nothing really has changed there. Okay, this is getting a little hairy. Alright. Blast, that's the spell. From Shining Force 2. Alright, we are a little bit behind here. Um... What should we do? Guess we'll attack him. Kill him! Fuck. Razor needs to fucking get leveled up, dude. So not so good damage. Let's just take the kill. Got a lesson. You know, the ability uh, for us to get fucking destroyed. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of a gamble here. But I'm gonna try to block in this sniper. Well. Eh, it didn't work. <laughs> eh, it didn't work. Alright, let's just hope uh, we get a good RNG roll. We don't get, like, outturned. Maybe we have one guy. Perfect. <clears throat> Forgot I have to heal Shade. I want to start killing people with Cray again soon. Cray is basically what you wish Gong was. Honestly. <clears throat> oh boy. Okay. Um. We're okay, we're okay. I gotta be careful. Still good. Perfect. Um... Hmm... Yeah, let's heal. Let us heal. Oh, I didn't even notice the new sprite for uh, Mayfair. I kinda like it. It's very, like, subtle. It's not like a huge change. Stay there. Thank you. Oh, it's taking so long for them to get over. Um, what to do here? What to do here? What to do here? Um, let me think. I'm gonna protect Razor from this side. Hack downward. We are gonna have to go through another wave of attacks here, clearly. Um... So, he just did 18 damage with 40 attack. Six less. Is it possible? Am I gonna do like 10? Nice, dude, nice. I will put him in harm's way if it means clearing an enemy off the board, you know? There's uh, nobody really to like heal at the moment. I'm gonna wait until somebody gets actually damaged before I start freaking out. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Cause stock doesn't have the best defense, so. Alright, we're about to get attacked. It's coming. <clears throat> but as long as Razor survives, we're good. Oh no! They're coming! We gotta hurry up. We gotta get through this wave here. Oh, man. Hopefully that other lizard man doesn't block me in and crit me or something. Let's do this, I guess. Nice. Hmm. I feel like I'm like really far from my microphone. 
I hope that the uh, audio is picking up okay. Good enough. Whatever. All right. Um, let's do something a little unconventional, just to ensure that Razor doesn't get randomly killed, which would be terrible. <clears throat> Stay there. Hey, good thing I did that. You never know what would happen here. God damn. Suck on that, baby. Quad, though, you feel me? Um. Hmm. What's up with Cray? I would like to get that kill to Cray. I don't know if Cray can get over there though. Cray could definitely get there. So I'm gonna stay here. And then I will attack you with Shade. Boop. Ooh. Ooh. That animation though, let's go. Um, hey, you know what? Possible? Maybe? Oh, one. One. Well, you know what? That's perfect for Sig. We got some Apis action. I think we're all clear down here, right? So let's start uh, walling off if we can. We'll put you here. Come on, Cray, get your turn, please. Ah, uh, you fucking jerk off! Ah, that pisses me off. That pisses me off. Cray got outturned by the fucking lizard. Yeah. Oh, and now guess what? He's out of fucking range. Ah. <sighs> Motherfucker. Well, I'll do what I can. And that's what you get, people. You work on essentially power leveling people too much, you get fucking screwed. So let's just take you out. Level up Roos again. There we go. All right, now we're gonna have to deal with the Pegasus wave. Thankfully, Razor is blocked off and Apis <coughs> is literally a wall. Keep attacking him. Please. I welcome it. Um. Yeah. Hell, aka Blast, is kind of shitty, so I'm not even gonna bother. I feel like your attack power is probably fucking better than that spell, honestly. The only thing you have going for it is, you know, it's not gonna miss. Ooh, forgot about the fact that they couldn't attack me over there. It's okay though. Because now, we go in. Hard. Oh! What? Only one experience point though. Lame. Yeah, not getting much. It would be ideal for people like Mayfair, Cray, Sig, and whatnot to uh, in stock actually to get these kills. Bam. Um, leave you here, man. Not worth it. Hopefully we can get the kill here. I don't know though. Oh my god, look at me. Hopefully we can get the kill. <laughs> Dude basically one shot at him. I will put you here. Oh, that was a mistake. Now Cray can't get in. Dude, I'm so fucking pissed.
I guess I'll heal stock. Well, there goes my strat, people. Now I'm gonna end up, uh... Eating another attack from these fucking... Wank holes. Or maybe not. Yeah, I will. Whatever, we're going in. Let's see how hard you hit. Oh! Come on, Mayfair. Oh, of course we get fucking countered. <sighs> it's okay, though. As long as the AI keeps attacking Apis for some reason, we're totally fine. The only bad part is... Can't attack with Cloud. Let's beat into you one more time here. Hey. Hey, I can't complain about that. That was a good level up, and now we are... One HP away. Whatever you do, don't fucking outturn me, jerk off. Alright. And also don't miss, please. Thank you. Woo! Okay. Okay. That was what we call a good level up. A 3-3 three, three attack defense, dude. Absolutely. Andy learned hell, which, you know. Eh, whatever. Um, yeah, this can get bad really quick. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, you fucker, dude. Thank you, RN Jesus, you fucking jerk off. That's no good. I don't like it. Sorry. Not a huge fan of that garbage. Not a huge fan of that. Um, I'm actually gonna focus on you. You don't heal anybody. I mean, you can heal yourself if you want. Just kidding. You dead. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna focus my attack on you. Oh shit! She's got like the sprite of, um, what's her face from Shining Force 1? Was it Michela? Or was it the marionette? I can't remember what it was. Something along those lines. That's pretty cool. Oh, let's go. It always uh, tickles my fancy when I get multiple people in the attack. Ah, oh, come on. That fucking magic resistance. Poop. That worked according to plan, though. And now Sig should be able to get the kill here on the Master Mage. Perfect. About to wipe these fools out. Yo, everybody knows hell now. It's too bad it's a doo-doo fucking spell. Yeah, whatever. Does anybody need healed? Um, I thought somebody got attacked. Uh, eh, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Let's make sure that uh, Razor doesn't get killed, right? Because ultimately, that's all that matters. Everybody else could die. I got plenty of money. Uh, oh, we're already down to the last person. I didn't even realize that. Okay, well. Go ahead, Claude. You should be able to level up. Should be able to level up again. There we go. Attack 2, Defense 2. Yo, Claude is a fucking unit right now. A absolute unit. Prince Razor, you've returned and brought warriors with you. You sure... Ugh, you sure scared Edmund. I can't fucking read, guys. Let's go back to school. What is it, Prince? Please talk to me. 
Razor hasn't spoken since we found out that he was a Cypress Prince. Why? Razor didn't tell us the truth about his origins. Frankly, we're not sure we can trust Razor. You must trust him. He went to Guardiana to save your country. He is a noble warrior and the rightful king of Cyprus. He wanted to stay and avenge his father, but he went to help you first. Razor, you should have told us. Though I'm not sure we would have believed you. But we're with you now, and we'll help you avenge your father. Now that's settled. We can stop in town and rest at the port town. Tomorrow, let's go to the palace and confront Edmund. Guyan the Beast has joined the Shining Force. Yeah, I like Guyan's, uh, the cut of his jib. I wonder how his movement is, though. You know what I'm saying? It's probably shit. Let's help and let's raise. Oh yeah, dude, multiple people are dead. And I think that Guyan is now the final force member before we start having to swap people out, but let's see. Okay. So Guyan is a beast, he has nothing. Oh, does he punch shit with his hands? Oh! He's a hand puncher? Yo, he's weak. The fuck? His movement's five, which is like, you know, obviously it's not good, but it's not bad. Um, hmm. Maybe I just liked, I remember liking Guyan. Did I just like the fact that he was like a fucking cat, basically? <laughs> you know what I mean? Is that what I liked? I don't know. Please give me some new weapons. Oops, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, people. We got some new weapons. Let's go. Let's go, Razor. Welcome to the party. <sighs> Battle Glove? Yeah, I guess he's unequipped, man. Hmm. Is it worth my time to level him up, though, is the question. Because he's pretty fucking weak right now. I like his character design, though, man. Ooh, flail. Uh, I think that's it for flail, right? Can Yisha use it? No. The great shot. I can give that to stock, which is awesome. Um. Oh, dude, the assault shell was like only for one battle. Like that's kind of whack, is it not? Maybe sometimes weapons have like um, hidden abilities, though. Like, does the assault shell randomly have crits or something? I don't really know. Hmm. Anyway. Let's sell... Power Stick. Uh, Robin's Arrow. Power Glove. Power Glove. Uh, middle Sword. Huh. Even though I found that in battle, he didn't consider that a uh, special item? Or do they not have that in this game? In the first two Shining Forces, if you sell like a special weapon or something that you find like that, they go like, oh my god, what a deal, or you know what I mean? They say some dumb shit. Alright, well. On to the next battle. Ooh, so this next battle... Uh, we're gonna find a character that is near and dear to my heart. I'm excited. Stop, everybody. It will be hard to hide from Woldol here. The pompous is so flat and barren. 
No rocks, no trees, we'd be easy to spot. Let's rest here until nightfall. I'll stand guard while the rest of you sleep. Oh shit. <laughs> When it's dark enough to cover us, we'll go. Oh shit! Is my prince resting comfortably? Sorry guys, I was maneuvering in my chair there. Woldol? Come out and face us. Guyan, what are you seeing? What you are seeing is just a projection. It can't harm you, but my soldiers can. Ah, here they come now. Attack! Razor, wake up! We're under attack! Yes, Razor. Come on out. I promised Wolo that you would die today. Alright, so... Um, I think Domingo is in these bushes. Oh, fuck, I just spoiled it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, so Domingo from the first Shining Forest, one of my favorite characters, uh, is a secret character in this game. Pretty cool, right? So we have a decent amount of majory, if you will. So I'm trying to keep in more of a uh, checkerboardy pattern. Also, I don't want to get too bunched up to the point where we can't really like move. You know what I mean? <clears throat> do, 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 do. Okay. <clears throat> I don't really like the idea of having these fucking... Ooh, okay. Hmm. Oh, look at that battlefield, dude. That's so cool. This could be one of the first fights that's actually, like, tough tough, honestly. We will see. Nice. Um, probably gonna heal, because we can't really fuck around with Razor being injured after, like, the first, uh, you know, first round. It's a little much. And we're just gonna kind of go in and attack as we need. Oh, of course we finished one short there. Give me a break, dude. At least they're attacking Apis. My tank. <clears throat> that upgrade, baby. Oh, I fucked up, guys. Not good. Alright, we're gonna have to go into hyperdrive here. Have to go into hyperdrive. Okay, that's good, that's good. Alright. Probably get an easy kill here at Guyane, right? Oh yeah, I remember liking this dude's... He looks like a fucking bear, but like his portrait looks like a cat or something? I don't know. He is a beast, so I guess he could sort of be whatever he wants to be. Please don't die. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I want to take you out, dude. You are threatening my people. Um, yeah. Let's just do this. 
Also, I do apologize, guys, if you hear a lot of uh, chair maneuvering tonight. I'm actually slightly injured <laughs> from the gym. Nothing crazy, but I'm like super sore, so I'm having trouble getting comfortable tonight. Which also reminds me, I need a better chair. This chair sucks. It is what it is. Uh, in a perfect world, I'd actually have uh, this set up like directly in front of like a couch or something, but I have my little computer desk that I work at and shit, so that's pretty much where I record. So I just gotta find a better computer chair. I gotta stop cheaping out and just get something good, you know? I feel like my healers haven't had a turn in like 10 years. I have people that are in desperate need of healing, so if you could go ahead and give me Sig and company, that would be greatly appreciated. Or, you know, I guess not, but whatever. Um, back you. Yisha is probably going to be leaving my party immediately for Domingo. So. Oh my god, a healer. Can you believe this? Alright, who needs healed here? Stock, for sure. I think Stock, Roos, and um, Apis need healed. Uh, boo! Boo, boo, boo. Oh shit, didn't realize Roos is that injured. Thank god he killed this guy. Oh, that was actually really clutch. <laughs> Wasn't even thinking about that. That was very clutch. Um, Stock's still injured, so we're gonna attack you from afar. Nice. When is it, like, Sig's turn in Mayfair? Like, what the fuck? Or Cray, I meant. Sorry. Um... Oh no, just out of range, huh? That's no good. Should... Ah... Uh, that sucks. Oh well, I'll do what I can. I'm afraid that I might lose, uh, Roos. Because Mayfair won't be able to get to him either. Ooh, can we get a kill here? We can. Let's go, Guyan. No! Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't get doubled, don't get critted. Come on. Um... Oh yeah, what's his face? Stock needed healed again. I forgot that Mayfair has a flail now. Um... I'm gonna attack you. Fuck you. I don't want you healing anybody. Suck it, baby. Oh, shit. Was that the dude with the... Nah, he's got the demon rod, although I can't really equip that, I don't think. <clears throat> Without being coist. Ooh, a critical hit. Maybe if I could just outturn you with, like... Eh, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's good enough for me. Good enough for me. Uh, who needed healed? Bruce, right? Yep. Yeah. 
So as you could probably expect, something's about to happen. If you have any familiarity with uh, previous Shining Force games on these types of battlefields, it is fairly obvious. <clears throat> Let's get another heal in. I just don't know where they're going to... Uh... We're going to have some friends popping into the battlefield, so I just don't know where they're going to pop up. I mean, I, I get the general idea of where they're going to pop up, but not exactly when. All right, let's try to get Domingo here, if we can. There he is. He's looking a little different, a little different. Ah, rescued at last. I owe you my life. What may I do in return? What may I do? Domingo the... What the fuck is MCRT? Anybody know? <laughs> the mage... Cru I don't know. All I know is that he'll be replacing uh, Yisha on my team soon. 100%. Six people left, uh, aside, of course, from whoever decides to pop out of the ground. Is it Muddle? Ooh, Dispel. Okay. Oh, nice move. Oh, here are the worms. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. I think they might be infinitely spawning too, which is kind of shitty. Let's do our best to take them out. Good experience though. I'm more worried about them than I am the uh, gargoyles, TBH. So let's hopefully take this one out. Boom. Awesome. Hit this guy with another blaze. He should be killed by somebody with a stronger attack, like maybe Roos. Oh. Okay, wasn't expecting Claude to be targeted, honestly, but okay. That hurt, fucker. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna heal Claude, because he's pretty important. He is my best moving, most powerful force member, basically, so. I'm gonna need him. Ooh, that guy didn't even heal! Wow, okay. Oh, that was kind of a mistake. I probably should have taken the kill on the gargoyle. We'll see. Eh. Maybe Guyane can get a level up here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh shit, the enemy's retreating. Perfect. We are overwhelming the enemy right now, okay? With our tactics. Does anybody need heal? Not really. Then I will save it. Are we getting blazed? Okay, I was gonna say, if we were getting dispelled, that'd be really weird. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, okay, good.
I'm not gonna lie, I'm liking the fact that I have so many healers. <laughs> Usually I don't carry this many healers, but I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Um, who to go after? Who to go after? Who to go after? Probably this guy. Boom. Give me somebody. Give me anybody before him, please. Anybody. Can Wendy do it? I think so. Yes. Alright, let's take out this gargoyle and then focus on the last few people. <sighs> good, good, good. A 2-2. Two, two. You like it? You like it? Um... This should kill the gargoyle and now we can focus our attention on the last few people. So I think the skeleton is the boss. So ideally I don't want to kill him, but he's also probably going to attack me, so... Kind of, uh... In a weird spot here. Boom. This guy's gonna drop the demon rod, so... Yes, let's get a heal here on Apis. Alright, we're good. Pending some weird fucking Garbo bullshit, we're totally fine. Maybe if uh, that mage attacks Razor and then I get critted or something, I might die, but otherwise I, I can't see us dying whatsoever. Okay. <clears throat> I like the fact that that skeleton's green. It's interesting. I think stock has an open uh, inventory. Yeah. I'm curious to see if I can use the Demon Rod without having it equipped. Hard to, uh, remember. Um, can't really do anything. Ooh, I was just gonna say, I put myself in major harm's way there, but... Alright, Shade, I'm sorry. Sorry that you were killed. Was that two casualties in this fight? So technically this was, uh, the toughest fight so far. Did I have two casualties? I did, right? I think so. Um... Whatever. Get that experience. Ah, uh, really? Oh well, I guess we could bang into the the Deadly Born. I didn't even see that that was its name. <laughs> That's odd. The Deadly Born. All right. Does Apis have? Oh, Apis already has the black ring. I thought this one had the black ring, but I guess not. No big deal. Alright, time to kill the deadly born. Who's it gonna be? Razor, maybe? There's somebody that I'd rather get the kill with. Not you. Honestly, like... Quad Apis or uh, Guyan seems to be the better maneuver. Not you either. Fuck you, dude. Or you. I don't want you either. Oh no! What I get for trying to to do Roos? I don't think so. I think I want Guyan Claude or uh, somebody else. <clears throat> I think I remember doing this last time. Guyan like sucks, but like I'm all about him for some reason. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be able to kill him, man. No, oh, well, we tried. Ooh, <clears throat> Mayfair though. 
Let's go, question mark? Let's go. Okay, I see you. Ooh, heal three, let's go. Master, I have failed. But no one has ever survived the magic mushrooms. <laughs> what the fuck? May the death tunnel be your tomb. No mere curse can stop us now. Come on, let's check out the death tunnel. Alright. Suffered some uh, casualties there. Shade. Was Shade the only one? Am I mixing up the last battle with that one? Yeah, that was it? Okay, that's not too bad, actually. Um, Guyane can't be promoted, right? Oh, Guyane can be? Uh, ooh, is that a Berserker? Okay. Well, there's no, um... Store, so I'm gonna put Domingo into my team. Member, change. Ooh, Blaze, three and four. Oh my god! Are you serious? Wow. My man Domingo. He's still killing it. He knows Blaze now. Good for him. Alright, let's pass uh, Yisha's healing seed. Look at my man. What a guy. Let's see if, um, oh no, not yet, not yet. Let's see if his defense is still, uh, eh. So his defense is not what it was in the first shiny <laughs> force, but the fact that he knows Blaze 3 and Freeze 3, that is nuts, dude. That is nuts. Alright, with that being said, before we get fucked up by the magic mushrooms, <laughs> um... You know, I bet you they could fucking poison me, so it kind of sucks that I don't... Do I even know Detox? Let's see. Oh shit, hold on. Member status. Does anybody know Detox? No. No. Okay, so Sig knows Detox. Alright, well, we're about to uh, head in for the magic mushrooms. Ooh, pretty cool, uh, atmosphere here. I like it. Ah, Razor, you finally arrived. Welcome to the Death Tunnel, the only way to Gundol Fort. Did you come to die like your friends before you? Oh, shit! Watch out for traps! The exploding mushrooms are deadly! Where did you come from, Guardian... Gu Wait, hold on. Guardi... Guardianin? Yeah, Guardianin fool! Shut up! Oh damn, he got slapped around. Caching! At least one of you survived. Razor, how will we get through the traps? We will beat the shit out of them. Alright, let's check to see what we got here. Bora, ooh. This is looking a little tough. Oh, we got a heat axe there though. And a chest. Okay. Another chest. Protect ring. We certainly have some stuff to loot here, huh? And a chest up there. Okay. Well, we gotta get the heat axe, uh, the chest, and the protect ring. We are bottlenecked here at the beginning. So I think uh, the chest in the upper left doesn't have anything, but <clears throat> I don't know. To my knowledge, there's two things to be looted from this battle as far as the chest goes, so we'll check the right side and the lower left. And if there's two things in there, we're not going to bother with the, uh, the upper left. Alright, gotta take out these mushrooms. 
So apparently these don't poison you. They put you to sleep. I guess they explode. Oh, nice. I guess they explode after like two turns or something like that. And they put you to sleep. Like a widespread sleep spell. So we definitely have to take them down. Um, hmm. I'm torn here. I think I'm gonna try to attack the evil pixies. Because they're probably gonna be more annoying than the worm, and of course we can't hit them. Luckily, they should target Apis, I'm assuming. just out of range. That sucks. That sucks. I could have killed the worm, but I ended up going for the evil pixie and we uh, paid for it. This might hurt a bit, actually. Yeah, seven. Um, oh, sh Guyan can't move. Alright. Let's... Oh, shit. I totally forgot. Um, hmm. You know what? I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna do freeze too. This should kill him. Yeah. Seems like Domingo is very similar to the first game where he's really good, you know, good movement, good spells, but he runs out of MP pretty quickly, it appears. And his defense is way behind where it is in the first Shining Force, so we hopefully are going to level that up quickly as he uh, continues to ascend. Uh, was anybody else attacked? I don't think so. So I'll leave Mayfair there. Alright, we're about to get Evil Pixie. Oh, man. They did not take the bait. That's actually bad. These guys are tough. Holy hell. Oh. Domingo is going to be on... Woo! I say he's going to be on Death's Door there. Blaze from the Heat Axe, right? Yeah. Ooh, if I can get Wendy over there somehow. Ah, uh, fuck, dude. Not good. Um, hmm. Might get put to sleep. I don't know if we're going to be able to get to those mushrooms in time. We'll see. Um, let me see here. What if I move? Hmm. Freeze 2. That's exactly what we needed for Wendy. I am happy about that. Um, what should we do here? Should we attack the mushroom or... I'm actually really torn. I'm gonna attack the pixie. gotta be kidding come on well it's 
sucks because we would have killed it, but... Does Sig have the wherewithal to hit six into that? I don't think he does. But he probably has the wherewithal to kill this dude. And that's a pretty good upgrade. I'm happy with that. Cray definitely has the ability to kill. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Thank you. It's turning out to be a pretty good battle here, huh? I think I will do this. Oh, thank goodness. I totally forgot about the heat axe. Good, good, good. Let's try to kill the mushroom first. Oh, you've got to be kidding with that garbage. I've been getting a lot of uh, 1 HP remaining type of kills or uh, attacks in this been quite frustrating. But we got some good experience for Mayfair. Oh, big blunder. Oh, don't, don't double attack. Oh, goodness. <laughs> well, there we go. The game repaid me, right? Repaid me on that one. Um... Yeah, whatever. I don't know how long it takes for these guys to uh, go kaboom, so. Just take them out now. And then we gotta do some healing. And we can loot that chest. I'm assuming the heat axe will probably be an upgrade for Roos, but we don't know for sure. All right, so we have to get to that chest, we have a gargoyle. A couple people up there. Approaching there, okay. Put you here, I guess. Albert, nice. Um, what should we do? What should we do? I think we're gonna... Which way should I go? The ghoul. I don't know if it really matters which way I go. I mean, you're gonna get a bigger enemy onslaught if you go that way. I think I will send Apis up here. Just because he's a tank. But we're gonna have to send somebody down here couple people actually so let's put where's Cray? Cray's over there yeah I'm gonna send Sig this way hold on forgot we have to heal stock <clears throat> yeah heal 2 is already turning into a kind of a meh spell tbh um, I'm actually gonna move Cray up here this Apis is about to get pounded. Oh! Not cool, dude. Not cool. Alright, probably send Roos there, I guess. Um... The ghoul, to my knowledge, is the boss of this fight. So ideally, I don't even want to come close to him for a little while if I don't have to, you know? Might as well do this. It'll level Domingo up. We're hoping for at least a two bump on MP. 
I only got a one. It's all good though. It is all good. Alright, so guy in, I'll move up here. Um, should we bring Mayfair down? I think. Yes. Alright, Claude's already starting to get meh experience from a lot of the enemies. Actually, I'm gonna keep him here. Freeze 2 didn't do too much. <clears throat> Yeah, I figured Blaze would be a little bit better. Because they are undead creatures. Right? So Domingo is essentially <laughs> useless at this point. Um, I figured he was just going to do one damage, and he might get one-shotted, actually, so... Probably a dumb move on my part. I probably should have started sending Domingo around just to loot the chest, right? Hopefully the AI attacks Apis, but we don't know. Well, this guy's going to die, so that's good. Oh my god. The Jinx! The Jinx was in, people. Alright, he attacked Apis at least. Oh, I forgot to heal him. Wow. That was a blunder on my part. Uh, we definitely don't need heal three. Not at this very moment. Ooh, no, 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 no. Okay. A little rough there, huh? Can we get the kill with Razy? Indeed we can. Deadly attack. Oh, we learned Bolt, people. We learned Bolt. In some way, shape, or form, typically the, the main character learns Bolt or has the ability to use Bolt at some point during the playthrough, so... Pretty freaking happy about that, I will say. Um, I don't know if I want to engage there yet. I don't think I do. I want to take care of the, uh... Whatchamacall? Take care of that gargoyle and kind of work my way up from uh, the other people. I want to get as much experience as possible, so... There's three other enemies still on the board here. Alright, perfect. Come on now. Uh, I might actually... Yeah, I'm gonna guarantee the kill here with Hell. I don't want to risk uh, missing and then having Mayfair get killed, so...
Good. All right, we're in business. Oh, shoot. Oh, dispel. Okay. Big deal. That, I mean, that guy's... Excuse me. That does kind of suck, but... It's not the end of the world. I am a little worried that the ghoul is going to start targeting me now, though. Yeah, the ghoul definitely is going to start targeting me. Um, whatever. Does he have an empty item spot? He does. We could just maybe play the whole run around and heal game. Until we loot that chest and kill those other people. Yo, Claude is a fucking G. Holy hell. Move Wendy out of there. Oh. Her magic's already available. <clears throat> Does anybody else need healed? Does anybody, like, actually hurt? Not really, right? Just Mayfair. All right, good. The ghoul retreated. That was a good experience gain for a fucking heal. Ooh, we're getting approached, people. We are getting approached. Oh, more mushrooms. Oh boy, wasn't expecting that. Who be honest? <clears throat> so, Shade is definitely in a little bit of harm's way right now, but... Uh, to my knowledge, that worm can't attack him though, right? So, not too bad. And if we don't miss, the sorcerer should be dead. Good. Really, really good fight as far as loot and leveling. And it's actually been kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie. I've been enjoying it. Magical mush. Ooh, the Critical Sword. Nice. That was a sword from Shining Force 2. I like it. Uh, keep Guyan up here, I guess. Okay. Gonna end up killing the worm with these guys. We're probably not gonna get many experience points though. Eh, 15, that's not too bad. Wait a minute. Oh, that sucks. I forgot she doesn't know, uh. Freeze 3, she just learned Freeze 2. Alright, so we have a mushroom, a chest, that I don't think has anything in it, but we'll check it anyway. And then the, uh, the boss. Oh, I got poisoned? Holy mackerel. Didn't realize that. Gonna have to, uh, heal in between battles. Not the best level up, but I guess not the worst. I'm 
I don't really care who kills this dude, to be honest with you. <laughs> it doesn't really matter to me. We'll just close in on him. It was empty, which is exactly what I thought. Just get some heals on the board here, get some experience points, why not, right? Alright, we're going in with Guyan, which is probably a dumb move, but... That crit for five... Guyan sucks, I'm not gonna lie. Not a huge fan. But, his design is so cool. Oh, what the fuck? More mushrooms. I'm not expecting that. Guyan's design is so sick that it like, I don't know. Gotta have him. Alright, the mushroom is one hit away. I will actually attack the ghoul. Mushroom is down. See if we could sneak another heal in before uh, taking down the ghoul. That would be ideal. Anybody need healed? Yeah, I guess. Sure, why not? Guy ain't killed, guys. That sucks. I got outturned. Yeah, why not? Yeah, fuck it, you know what? Let's go with Claude. Hell yeah, brother. And Claude is a uh, super high level right now. He's not getting any experience even from the boss of that fight. Impossible. You defeated the mushroom traps. Oh, ouch. Sorry about that. Cashing, are you all right? Y yes. We're so glad to see you. Where are the others? Some were killed. Some were taken prisoner. Only a few of us managed to escape. Let me help you free the captives in Gundal Fort. Alright, am I gonna bring Cashing into the team? I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some investigation. Razor, we found the Guardiana soldiers. Let's go save them. All right, we got some maneuvering to do here with some things that we found in the battle. So let's go to member as well. I want to check out Cashing's stats here. 40, 22, 7 though. Hmm. I also have to heal Apis, I forgot about that. Oh my god, this is tough. I like Cashing's movement, man. Are we saying goodbye to Sig? I don't know. Fuck, dude. 
I mean, the logical thing would be to get rid of Guyan. Uh, I love his sprite though, dude. I love his sprite. I don't know what to do. Do we get rid of Guyan? Honestly, we probably should, right? I'm not really grinding at this point, so. Yeah. Let's do that. Member change caching. And then we'll. Goodbye, Guyan. <laughs> don't take it personally. Alright, maybe we'll give the halberd to, uh, caching. We'll have to promote him. Heat axe. It is indeed an upgrade. Critical sword. Probably give that to Razor, or should I give it to Claude? That's tempting. Hmm. You know what? Let's give the quick ring. Who's slow? <sighs> I might give the quick ring to stock. Critical sword will give to Claude. Now we need to equip. Bam. Eat X. We'll equip the quick ring. Me to give these healing seeds one to Domingo. Oops. And then one to Caching. Um, let's also give. Oh, yeah, we need to equip the uh, Protectoring. Oh, can he not wear it? I didn't even think about that. The Demon Rod. We will give to. Mayfair, but she will not equip it. And the black ring we will give to Wendy. She will also not equip it. We'll see if I can use it in battle or not. Um, let's equip. There we go. Alright, we are all good on that front. Let's cure the poison save and then head into battle 14 all good to go <clears throat> all right let's see what this battle has to offer here outdoors see that fort rising over the mountain that's gundle they're in there somewhere gates let's wait for the changing of the guard It's Guardiana's Shining Force. Bazoo and Geppel aren't here. Guards, kill them! So we have a Minotaur. We got Worm, Bow Riders. Ooh, a Buster Shot. Two Ghouls, another one of those dudes. A Minotaur, another Ghoul. Skeletons. It's actually, uh, unless there's secret fucking people that pop up out of the blue. We'll, uh, we'll be good. Should I go, should I split up? Probably should. I'll have to send the high movement people over here, I think. So we'll put stock there. Shade can go this way. Claude can go that way. Wendy will go this way. Apis, which side should Apis go? 
thinking... Hmm. Apis will be better off this way. Razor can go this way. Sig can go that way. I think Sig and Cray should go this way, and Mayfair should go to the left. Oh, I think I just put Domingo in harm's way. That was a mistake. Uh, Roos can go this way. Ooh, I didn't see those evil pixies. Yikes. Alright, Mayfair is gonna have to go over here for sure. Uh, I want caching to go. Oh my god, guys, I forgot to fucking... God damn it. I forgot to promote caching. Son of a bitch, dude. That sucks. We're gonna aggress. I knew I forgot to do something. Oh, there's a weapon shop now? Alright, now I should be able to equip the halberd to him. And then I can also sell a few things. Item equip. Nice. Clear our inventory a little bit here. Oops. You won't be on my force anymore. Alright, that's good. Do they have anything to buy? Chrome Lance. Great shot. Yeah. Alright, now let's go save and hop into that battle. That was a big, a big oopsie. A big oopsie. Take two, people! Cashing will go over here. Hopefully this uh, split up strategy doesn't come back to bite me in the rear end, but we'll see. This is going to be another fight, especially because it's outdoors where I'm not really going to worry about who kills who. We're just going to like try to go in. Domingo is really good magic if people aren't, if they're checkerboarded, it's a waste. Hmm. Yeah, not great. Not great. Alright. Gotta take down these pixies. <clears throat> counter, counter, counter. Eh. Uh, oh, ooh. Okay, good. 
I thought it was going to be Dispel, which uh, would have been pretty bad. Pretty bad. Hmm. Bit of a bummer there. Um, Claude, Claude, Claude. Sure. <laughs> Let's go, Claude. Let's go. Let's go, Claude. Ooh. We're just shrekking people. Yeah, I don't want to waste Razor's uh, Bolt spell either on only one enemy, so that's why I held off, unfortunately. Um, I will, however, blaze you. Probably should have froze you, right? Yeah, I should have froze you. That was a mistake. Oh yeah, I forgot we have the, uh, the chrome. To be fair, the Power Spear is kind of, uh, sucking shit at this point, though, anyway. Let's heal. Ooh, I'm in a bad spot, guys. I just realized I put everybody in a fucking... a warpath for Blaze. Um, fuck, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, I'm gonna have to... Oh, fuck. I don't know what to do here. Because <sighs> he can... So I could attack with Kray and then attack with Domingo with a magic and kill this guy, but then this guy will come down and get a fucking blaze on four people. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna hope that the AI is stupid somehow. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe I could completely distract that enemy then with Domingo, we'll see. Possible. Oh shit, Domingo's about to die though. God damn it. Yeah. Well, that's what the healing seeds are for. Oh, I hope we don't get blazed. We're gonna get blazed, aren't we? You're totally gonna get blazed. Ooh, we got Hell Level 2. That's good. Yeah, I'm not regretting my leveling up of Mayfair, I'll say that much. Oh, I got Poison. But Sig's over there. And good thing I fucking healed Domingo. Alright, perfect guy for the Pixie to attack. I'm just waiting for the gargoyle's turn. That's the uh, the big hold your breath situation. I feel like the heat axe doesn't look as cool in this game. Hmm. Ooh, what? No double. Oh, hey, we got bailed out, people. We got bailed the fuck out. Bailed out big time. Okay. Just hopefully Domingo doesn't get outturned by any of these people up there so he could retreat. You know? Um, let's heal. We're still not out of the woods as far as this side of the battlefield goes. I probably should have put a bit of a more formidable uh, attacker on this side. 
That was a uh, kind of a mistake, I guess, on my part. Let's heal. Yeah, I should have put a better attacker over here. I mean, like, Cray and Razor and Stock are good, but I should have had, like, one more guy, because we're just not in great shape at the moment. Should be able to kill the worm, though. Ruse? Come on now. Come on now. Leave him alone. Alright, let's see Claude's protection ring. Oh, that's right. That's right. <clears throat> what does the demon rod do? Okay, so it absorbs magic. Eh. Couldn't remember. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Will Domingo survive? He should, unless he gets deadlied. Or heavy hitted. Alright. Alright, we gotta take care of this dude. Quick. Does this one have the buster shot? I don't remember. Nice. Wow. A crit of 43, goddamn. Does have the buster shot. Alright, we gotta get some healing action up in here. Big time healing action, actually. Alright, so Sig. We'll heal Domingo. Craig can heal. Razor and then himself. I got greedy. Luckily, for some reason he's targeting Claude. <clears throat> Why not? All right, sick. Sick, sick, sick. That was a good level up and we got the buster shot. I like it. Gotta get some heals on the board here at Mayfair. Should be able to get a solid 30 to 40 experience just out of healing from her for the rest of this fight. Maybe even more, depending, you know, depending on the uh, amount of damage that I receive. Oh, it's so tempting to pull Wendy up there, but like... Should I? I'm gonna fuck it. If she dies, she dies, you know? can't even detox the poor man. That sucks. Oh, 
Oh, that blows too. So either Domingo or um, Wendy's gonna get killed, but I wanted to get a uh, double attack in here. Would have been nice if Blaze 3 had better reach, but it does not. Okay, we're still in good shape. We're just gonna have to uh, withstand a little bit of an onslaught coming. Mm, miss. Oh, not good. Not good, people. Not good. We're fucked. Domingo's going down. Oh, give me a break. That blows. That blows. Dude's just healing each other, but you know what? That kept Domingo alive, so I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. We're coming, people. We're coming. Oh, nice. Get a little bolt action here. That's what you get for healing yourself, jerk off. Sucks they would have been dead if they didn't get double healed. No, nope, nothing I could do. Potentially serve as a uh, a tank marker if need be. So I figured I would heal him. Good, we got a retreat there. All right, Razor should be all right. Yeah, we're good. Keep attacking him. It's fine. The fight's nearing its conclusion, so I'm gonna just start healing. Just to heal. Nice. Totally fine. Deadly Borns will go down next turn. The guys over on the left should go down next turn, and then we can focus our attention um, on the. Hey, good thing I healed him. Focus our attention. Fucking poison. On the dudes uh, guarding where we need to go. Bam. Take that. Yo, I love Stock, man. I'm not gonna lie, like, he's probably one of my favorite characters in the game. And it's funny, because when he originally joined the Force, he was so weak that I was like, eh, I don't know if I want him. <laughs> that would have been a big mistake. Suck shit. Ooh, I didn't know that- oh, good thing I had an empty uh, item slot there. Shit, I didn't know the uh, healing rain. God damn. Good. Two more MP, you'll love to see it. Will this kill the ghoul? It did not. 
but that's okay. Nice. Also nice. He is poisoned though, we gotta heal him again. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just advance with you. I have just enough to detox? Is detox two or three? I don't know. Hey, let's go. Hey, we got detox level two now as well. Always good. Probably should have saved that kill for caching, but I don't know, dude. Not too concerned about it, honestly. Get some more experience. And let's uh, meet up at the center here. that poison doesn't come back to uh, F me. Sacrificing Domingo. <laughs> they're, they're probably going to go after him instead of Razor, and, and he likely will die, but... Yeah, that's fine. That was the reason I put him... Ooh, Domingo with them fast feet. Um, them fast tentacles. Look at him go. No double. Survive my mans. Oh, that guy moved, though. That was weird. Alright, let's see. Can we kill them before they kill Domingo? The bishop is down. Get some Blaze 1 action up in here. whack. That is whack. Ooh, I forgot the detox. Let's move you out of there. What after shade, huh? Well, at the end of the day, you just walked yourself into your doom. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, I didn't mean to stay. I meant to heal. And I'm fucking using the wrong everything here. Misclicks abound. Might have to charge my controller after this. Seems like it's getting a little jittery with its wireless connectivity. Okay. Going in with Claude? Why not? Be the MVP, baby. Claude! Let's go, Claude. Bazoo was right. You are no ordinary warriors. The Shining Force legend is true. Hey, hey! Gates, why are you in such a hurry? They are killing one Guardiana captive. For every one of Bazoo's soldiers you defeat. Oh, shit. We must free them. Razor, let's go. I noticed that the uh, the pacing of some of the dialogue in this game is a bit odd, and I'm wondering if it's because of the whole CD loading thing. 
I'll be reading something thinking it's meant to be in a certain tone when clearly it isn't. But anyways, it is that time. Did anybody die? Nobody died. It is that time, people. Time to take a break. We'll be back with battle, well, some preparation, and then battle 15. All right, let's do a quick little checkup before we head out into the next battle. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's right. I got to cure my poisons here. Forgot about that. So it looks like the... It's probably going to want to move the uh, antidote. And the healing rain. We got to give the uh, the buster shot to somebody. Got Gates here. I don't know if I want to bring him out of the party or not. We'll find out. Alright, so let's move the healing rain. To... Pray. And let's move the Buster Shot to Shade or probably Stock, right? And now let's equip the Buster Shot. Too bad there's not a, uh, whatchamacallit here. A shop so I could sell some shit maybe if I go into the next battle and then aggress uh, there will be a possible I guess be a shop um oh yeah I wanted to look at the new dude <clears throat> Gates. Uh, 43, 30, and 5. 43, 30, and 5. Who would be on the chopping block for him? I don't even know. 43, 30, and 5. I'm not even gonna bother with Gates, I don't think. Alright, so let's go into the next battle and then aggress. been a long time, Prince Razor. You may be strong enough to defeat Bazoo. But you will never defeat me. Back off, Dantum. They're mine. A few fizzle balls and they'll be toast. <laughs> fizzle balls, what the fuck? Oh shit! I forgot about those things. Prince, prepare to meet your doom. We'll turn the prince into mints! Well, interesting uh, battle setup here, huh? That's Freybell, a paladin, and Dantum, a beast. Nothing special, just more Wodol's goons. Hmm. Freybell seems to have soldiers, but no wizards. So be careful, Razor. You must have hidden some traps. Okay, okay. Here's some. Ooh, we got a treasure chest over there. <clears throat> Should I grab that right away, maybe? Fizzle ball. I wonder how that works. Hmm. I'm tempted to actually go grab that chest. I think I'm going to. Get that out of the way and then egress and see if we could uh, sell stuff at a store potentially. Oh, should I. F well, I guess first come, first serve, right? We'll see who gets there. It's gonna take a minute, so bear with me. So close yet so far, people. It's probably gonna take another two turns after this.
So apparently, the fizzle ball has something to do with blocking magic. I don't know if it does it when you're in a radius or if it does it in the entire fucking fight, but if so, I'm actually gonna be in for a bit of trouble here because I have a lot of magic users on my team. Oh boy. I guess we'll find out, right? Oh, they can't attack me through there, I don't think. All right, let's go get this goddamn ring and then get the actual battle started. If we can't use magic, man, we're just gonna have to fucking do our best uh, with melee until it's... Until it's time. Also, I just realized, did he... Oh, he's actually in my party. Really? Where is, uh... Did he... Wait, hold up. Hold up. He fucking swapped out. Why is he in my party? Where's the other centaur? I didn't move him. It's fucked up. Did it auto swap him or some shit? Well, I mean, fuck, dude. I guess I'll attack you if you're right here. <clears throat> Back off. Oh my god, it's taking so long to get this fucking ring, dude. Oh, I was so close. One more turn. I'm actually curious. I'm going to try to heal myself. We'll see what the deal is with the fizzle wall. Ah, magic was neutralized. Interesting. That is a bit rough, huh? Hmm. Alright, so now we got the running ring, which I'm probably going to end up giving to Claude anyway. And I'll probably give the quick ring to somebody else. So we're gonna have to figure this out. Oh, I could use a grass though? That's funny, it doesn't make any sense. All right, um, let's sell. I'm just gonna sell the antidote. Okay. They probably don't have any new weapons or anything, right? Oops, hold up. Nah, same old. You know, I might have some of these people on my party though for this fight, dude. You know? Probably buy another one, actually. Shit. Let's take caching. I don't know why he was off my fucking team to begin with. Um, Gates could stay for this fight. I think I'm gonna keep Domingo for his. I'm gonna buy another healing seat for him. Who's gonna take a seat for this fight? Who should take a seat? I'm actually thinking Mayfair should take a seat for this fight. And my reasoning is she's the weakest of all my magic users, and Wendy still could use like her ring or whatever, probably. Let's give another one to Domingo. Let's actually give another one. To Apis. All right. Okay. We just gotta remember to bring Mayfair back on our team after this battle. 
Hmm, I also gotta equip the, uh, the new ring. Oops. Clunky menuing here, people. I'm so sorry. We're gonna give... Oh, shit, that's right. He had the protect ring on. Hmm. We'll give the protect ring to somebody else who needs it. Maybe Razor. Yeah, I'll give it to Razor. I mean, if he dies, we lose, right? So. And now Claude. That eight movement. All right, now let's go do this fight. Take a quick look at how we should approach this. I'm assuming that's locked, obviously. Should we just go up to the left? Hmm, I'm actually kind of torn. I think I'm gonna keep my party all the way together because we don't have magic. You know what I mean? And we're gonna go up here. And if we miss some enemies, we miss some enemies. I kind of want to get in and out of this fight as quickly as possible. That's my goal. <laughs> Gotta take care of that fizzle ball. And then when we're done with the fight, uh, we're gonna remove gates from our party for Mayfair. I'm interested to see how the uh, enemies on the right side of the screen are going to take to everything. This, this fight's definitely going to take a little bit. It's not going to be quick. Oh, it sucks that I can't use magic, because Domingo's obviously like my freest moving character aside from Claude, but... I also gotta be careful with him, because his defense is not that high in this game. Definitely not the tank. And the first Shining Force that he was fucked. That's actually bad. I was one square away too, dude. That sucks, that's actually not good. Alright, we gotta be... Super duper careful here. Very, very careful as we get moved in upon. I do not want to lose stock. Too early in the fight to lose him. Probably have uh, one of my healers use a healing item on him, I guess. Looks like we're going to be approached by the uh, evil pixies or whatever the fuck they are. It's only a medical herb, but it's better than nothing. <clears throat> better than nothing. As long as he has one HP left after getting attacked, I mean, at the end of the day, that's all that matters, right? Do I, like, send Claude up on, like, a suicide mission? I don't know. I'm torn here. Because I could send him up to take care of that ball thing, but... I think I kind of want to wait for the evil pixies to move in. Because <clears throat> I'm sure they are. Apis up there. Then maybe as soon as I take them out, I'll work on the, uh, fizzle ball. <clears throat> yeah, Gates' movement's fucking terrible. He seems to be, like, another instance of, like, you just kind of get him a little bit too late. I'm sure if you peppered him with, like, uh, various items and shit, he'd be good, but not worth it, in my opinion. Oh, come on. 
completely unnecessary. Oh, you know what I just thought about? I'm pretty sure that uh, this fight doesn't even have a boss, right? So I have to kill everything. Unless the Fizzle Ball is the boss, which I doubt it is. I am gonna have to work my way around and kill everybody. Alright. We're getting one, one experience now. I just wanted to kill them though, because obviously... Don't want my crew getting hit here without any fucking MP. No magic. Alright, now it's time to send Claude up to the Fizzle Ball, I think. It's here, I guess. Um, I don't want Claw getting peppered by this thing, but <clears throat> I mean, I did have to move him up a little bit. Maybe I'll just put him here. If you got him, use him, right? Still can't get comfortable, guys. Sorry for any uh, noises you don't normally hear with me shuffling around on my chair and stuff, but. Um, yeah. I feel confident enough in Apis's uh, defense to be able to withstand some of this shit, right? Hopefully, <laughs> we'll find out, right? Yeah, he's alright, he's alright. Alright. Well, the. Ugh! Not good. Alright, so we're being flanked by these uh, regular skeletons. Well, actually, they're not regular skeletons, they're deadly borns. Which is a bit frustrating, actually. I cannot lie. <clears throat> ah. That'd have been nice to get a kill there, stocky. Not the waste shade attack, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. Just would have been nice to move up to defend Apis's honor. Here. I guess we'll attack the gunner again. I keep forgetting that these things can attack from, like, right next to you. That is dumb. They're supposed to be archers, dude. Come on now. Well, this is by far the toughest fight of the game. So far, at least. Just neutralizing uh, spell usage makes it really difficult because I have a lot of magic users man um you know what we'll focus on you guys we have to kill them anyway right so oh he's fucking guarding it son of a bitch um probably should heal 
Also gonna have to restock on our healing consumables after this fight, that's for sure. Okay. I'm a little concerned about having stock get hit by the Deadly Born, but we're hoping that it continues to uh, focus its attention on Apis. So the question begs, do I position Claude here, or do I kill the Deadlyborn? I think I kill the Deadlyborn. Poor Claude. Nothing... Nothing is worth his time anymore. Unfortunately. That's what makes these Shining Force games great, though, honestly, as, as annoying as this fight is. It's these gimmicks. You know, you can't just have the same battles over and over and over and over. Like, you gotta have some some kind of gimmick to keep it fresh. You know, the first game, you got um, the laser eye battle. Uh, I'm trying to make some more examples. Shining Force 2 has the prism flowers. This one, you have the... Uh, no magic. Shining Force 2 also has those cave, like the one cave battle where you can't see anything. Shining Force 1 has Shade Abbey. This one has the port where you're, half your party's up, half your party's down. Come on now. Gates' color scheme is uh, pretty fucking funny, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty funny. Well, I guess we will start beating into you. And by beating, I mean one fucking shotting you, right? Claude, though. The MVP. <laughs> Basically waiting for the uh, Brass Gunner to come over. Pretty much what we're doing. Ooh, let's go! Wasn't expecting that kill. I'll take it. Alright. I was waiting for the gunner to make its move. A move was made. Domingo over here. Start working up. Take this dude out. Caching's not great. If I can get another character soon that's better than him, he'll be getting swapped out. I don't really feel like leveling him up too much either, you know? Oh, fuck you, dude. That's some stupid bullshit, honestly. He might have died there, too. Well, he definitely would have died if Stock and Shade hit him. So that's very unfortunate. Can I use this? Oh, nice. So you can still use rings and weapons and shit. It's like a uh, workaround, I guess. We need to get Apis's attack up, dude. There you go. Alright, let's one-shot this fizzle ball. What do you say? Oh, he didn't one-shot it? That sucks.
My poor magic users, they can't get anything done. Oh, he's healing the fizzle ball. That's not enough though. Claude's gonna fucking kill it, so. Sorry. Keep blocking those stairways. Not gonna lie, I think Stock might be my favorite character from uh, Shining Force CD, at least from book one. I'm not a huge fan of his face portrait, but... I don't know. I like everything else. He's a great character. His in-battle sprite looks cool. Alright, we can use magic now. Yay! Funny how easy this fight is if you have magic. Basically, that fizzle ball completely controlled everything regarding this fight. Probably should have used Blaze 3. Yeah, that was my bad. Oh well, at least we leveled up. Alright, who needed healed? Where are they? Where's like Roos and shit? Oh my god, they're still down there? Wow. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. <sighs> no big deal. That protectoring. Hmm. Why not? We need to heal uh, Apis and Roos. Those are the main people that actually need healing. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Still don't know if he's gonna be on my team much longer, but... Well, if you keep going up the fucking three defense, he might be. Can always use a tank. Oh yeah, I gotta swap out Mayfair after this fight. I literally almost forgot. Almost forgot. Who's left? Oh, is it literally just that brat? It's just the brass gunner? Oh, I didn't realize that. Did not realize that. Well, are you coming up? Did not realize that the everything made its way around, huh? It's interesting. I guess there was only like three or four people on the right side of the battlefield when it started, but it, it seemed like it was more to me. I don't know. Okay. 
Yeah, we're just gonna go in reckless abandon. Probably send Claw down there, and maybe some melee guy could, uh, other melee guy could finish it up. We'll see. Well, there we go. Or maybe we'll have stock, and then Claude. Oh, maybe Stock will just take care of it himself. How about that? There we go. Another solid level. No one has ever survived my fizzle balls before. <laughs> no matter. I will kill you with my bare hands. Dantum, lend me your soldiers. Freybell, you disgust me. If Woldol could see you now... I see everything, Freybell, and I am quite disappointed. Let me explain, sir. Return to the palace, Freybell, now. Dansom, the honor and Prince Razor's head are yours. You may claim them when ready. Prince Razor, I await you in Gundol Fort. I warn you, don't keep me waiting. Okay. I don't think anybody died. We'll check. Nope! Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Member change. Thank you for your service. Um, what's his face? The new guy? Gates? Item. Give. With caching, I guess. Alright, well. Let's save. And I think I'm probably gonna aggress right away, because I want to restock on some healing items and probably get rid of my medical herbs, too. Now that I'm thinking about it. Let's go check out the battlefield, at least. Oh, this was the f battlefield I remembered. I thought it was the last fight. Guess not, though. I remember, like, a purple floor from my uh, first playthrough many years ago. It has been many years. It has been. My prince, you look well. I dread this battle. You are like your father. You'll never back down. And yet, I must kill you, even though my heart is with you. Dude's on his throne. Well. Oh, we got Cerebus. Hawkmen with boost. This fight's actually not that easy, huh? Demon Master. Yeah, this could be a toughie. Let's definitely, uh... Rest up here then. Alright, let's sell. Healing herbs are being sold. We do not need them anymore. some healing seeds I might actually uh <sighs> I might swap the halberd to uh, Apis, to be honest with you. We'll see, though. Same old weapons. Um, sell. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, I don't want the battle axe. Does Apis have the Chrome Lance right now? He does, right? Yeah. So we're gonna pop back over here. I'm gonna give the Chrome Lance to... Caching. 
equip. Now, what is Apis's attack now? Went up three. I think it's better. He's such a tank. I need his attack a little bit better than what it was. Alright. And now we'll save and we'll head into battle. Okay. Let's do this damn thing. So obviously, uh, our man's up here on the throne is the boss. Dance him. Look at that. I love all like the beast men and fucking cats and tigers and shit in this game. Knows the spell. Hmm. Only one magic user, right? Is it just him? I think so. Obviously, uh, well, Bly oh, Belial's, oh boy. And then they inherently know a, like, fire attack. Which will be a bit rough. Well, we have no choice, guys. We gotta go up this, uh, thing here, so. And it is what it is. Try to take out the gunners. If, uh, flying enemies and stuff come down, we'll take them out as we're down here. Heal up, and then head up the gut, basically. Yo, the archers in this game are fucking great, dude. Oh no, I was just talking. Come on now, now we get return fired. Give me a fucking break, dude. I was just talking so, so good about them too. Okay, I feel confident leaving Apis there, because he is a tank. <clears throat> Claude will just get the kill. I'm not concerned about Claude not getting experience, I'm concerned about just getting through the game, honestly, so... But, we got 49 experience there, so I'm happy with that. Freeze should come into play in this fight a little bit. Uh, I was gonna say, we're probably gonna have to take out the Minotaur no matter what. Claude one-shotted him, if I remember correctly. Alright, the Hawkman and the Belial. Okay, everybody's on the move, guys, so I am probably gonna stand pat down here. Should probably start checkerboarding myself, actually. Because I don't want to get hit by Bolt from the Belial. <clears throat> oh, I did not know that he had a power ring. I forgot to check that, guys. That was my mistake. Let's see, does anybody have anything? Oh, missing out on the power ring would have been fucking disastrous. Absolutely. Holy staff. Wait, where did the where'd the boss go? Oh, right there. Looks like we're gonna have to go over here to do the final fight. That's interesting. So who do I want to have the power ring? I'm fine with Razor having the defense, Claude with the movement, the speed ring. I mean, did I give it the stock? I did uh, the quick ring. Excuse me. I might actually equip the uh, the power ring to stock. To be honest with you. Maybe give the quick ring a shade. Item. Hmm. Gotta think that over a little bit. Let's go, Claude. 
Let's go, baby. Oh, -hoo! attack up by three, though. That's fine. Flex on him, Claude. That's right. That's right. Yeah, they are building up a uh, like a fortress over there, huh? Um, mm, got to be careful of that, actually. Shit. Definitely got to be careful. Domingo might get killed, but I knew if I sent him right up next to the gunner, he definitely would get killed. So we'll see what happens. Oh, uh, come on, Domingo. Oh, no. Domingo's going down. Domingo's coming down, people. No! Fuck. That actually blows. Ah, oh, man. That was my mistake. That was my mistake. Um, I'm actually going to start targeting these guys. Very disappointed in the passing of our good friend Domingo. Saw that coming a mile away. Probably should have just... I mean, knowing what I know now, I should have went in and just did the fucking magic, right? Sucks. Um, let's just take you out. I'm okay with that. Another good level up there for Apis. Yeah, they are uh, heavy retreating, aren't they? Goodness. Alright, this is actually... This might be bad. Let's see. Oh, we didn't get fire attacked. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I don't think he can kill a Cerebus, can he? Nah, of course not. Ooh, this might be bad. Yep. Ah, uh, fuck. That's annoying. These guys are the prototypical glass cannons, right? Well, let's put an end to your glass cannonry or whatever. Bit of a waste, because he only had 5 HP, but I don't want him attacking anybody else, you know? So... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whip. There we go. Also just realized that there was a Cerebus alive still. Fuck. I'm, un I'm very upset of the unfortunate circumstances of losing both Mayfair and Domingo. I had uh, big plans for them later on in this fight as we approach, you know, the actual boss, but it was not to be, I guess. Okay.
All right, gonna have to do some healing. Which isn't too big of a deal, but. Should kill him, hopefully it doesn't break the ax. Good, good, good. Okay. Oh, jeez. Came over like a fucking dog. Who'd have guessed? As fast as a pup. I guess we'll just start swinging in. Take this dude out. I mean, yeah, it sucks that we lost Mayfair and Domingo. Domingo probably could have been uh, pretty valuable here down the stretch, but all in all, it's not too bad. We're doing pretty good. We got one-shotted, you know? There's really, uh, Nothing we could have done to stop that, aside from either pixel-perfect placement or grinding, so. It is what it is. Let's see this new attack power. Not bad, not bad. All right, who needs healed? Razor. Just Razor. Okay. I'll have Cray do it, actually. Oh, wait a minute, Roost needs healed. Oops. clicked son of a bitch zero experience points coming up <sighs> oh wait I st what so you still get experience in this game even if you cast it on somebody who doesn't need to be healed that is not how it works in the first game I can't remember about the second though interesting stuff Alright, let's get the right heels off, shall we? There we are. Alright, now it's time to uh, move forward. Would have been real nice to have Domingo because of his movement, but here we are. Here we are. See what these guys do. They'll pull him back, huh? Hmm. I'll keep cashing here. Alright. We're probably gonna end up suffering a casualty or two, but it's okay. It is okay. Ooh, what is your defense, though, down here, Buster? 31, 38, 41. Alright, I'll just take the kill then. This should kill him, right? Yeah. Let's 
Still retreating. Let's use our halberd. It'll probably make the cleric heal somebody, right? <clears throat> All I hear upstairs is probably Belmont destroying our Christmas tree. It's fine. There will be no healing on my watch, Cleric, okay? Because I said so. And we're being attacked, not bolted. Thank you so much, Mr. Belial. This fight is shaping up very nicely. That's no good, but we're still okay. We do have to uh, attack that guy very soon. I'm gonna try to just kill the Belial first. I have to heal Claude because Claude's gonna have to do a lot of swang in here on the boss. On Dantum. Mm. I don't want to lose Claude, but also, like... I might be able to kill you. Okay, boss time. Move up, people. Let's go. Let's go, stock. Ooh, that is a cool sprite for Dantum. I like that. I like that one. I probably should have put Apis directly in front of Dantum now that I'm thinking about it. Nope, that's fine. Oh yeah, as long as we don't like miss or something, this will be very easy. Oh, we get fucking outturned though. That's no good. That's no good. I don't really want fucking caching attacking. But uh why not? Can't hurt. You never know. Nice. Alright, Claude is glass cannoning it. We're risking his life. Almost. Oh! Oh, shit. No, well, Claude's definitely gonna die if we get outturned here. Somebody get a turn before him. Not you. Stock for the win. Let's go. Take down Dantum. Suck my shit. I can't kill you. I can't. I served your family for too long. King Edmund has been brainwashed by Woldol, and Woldol worships Iam, an evil spirit. Please be careful. There is much darkness ahead. What do you mean you can't kill me? Dude, you were fucking dead. You couldn't kill me anyway. You know what I mean? <laughs> Think about it. Anyway. Yee! I'm free! Free! Thank you, Shining Force! Shriek! Where'd you come from? And where are the others? To honor your family, Dantum helped me survive. Most of the others were lost, but Lug may still be alive. He vanished during the uh, Gundol battle and headed for Cyprus. Lug was pretty tough. Maybe we'll find Lug in Cyprus. Come on, Razor and everyone. Cyprus is just over these mountains. Shriek has joined the Shining Force. We're gonna have to check uh, Shriek's stats here. You know how I enjoy my flying uh, compatriots. Razor and the Shining Force were cheered by the news of Lug, but it wasn't enough to lift the deepening gloom. They knew they would soon confront Woldol face to face. Chapter 3, End
Chapter 4. This is the final chapter, by the way, for this book. The Shining Force finally arrived in Cyprus, and King Edmund was waiting for them. Mm hmm. Outdoor battle, though? What's up? Why should I fight on the front lines? I'm the king, not a foot soldier. Maybe I've been taken by Woldol, but it's too late now. King Edmund, Prince Razor, and the Shining Force approached the castle. So soon? Curse Woldol, I never wanted to come to this. Sorry, bro. Let me eat grass, please. And as usual. Well, we'll raise everybody. F Wait, what? Oh, they get auto-raised in between chapters? Oh, that's interesting. So anyway. <clears throat> I'm gonna save up. Uh, reassess the, uh, the new weapons, if there are any at the shop. And then I'll see if Shriek is gonna be worthy of joining the force or not. Should be interesting. Alright, let's check our new force member here. Oh, wait. Uh, actually, no, that's fine. We can check on this screen. Shriek! Oh! 52 attack, isn't that still pretty good? That 19 defense is pretty horrible. Movement of 6 is good. Let's check out some, uh... Yeah, so the attack is good. Hmm, caching is actually a little bit better. Huh. I don't know if I can really find a good place for Shriek. Yeah, you know what? Shriek's not as good as I thought he was, people. The, it would come down to Shriek and Caching, but Caching actually has higher movement. Granted, he's not flying, and Caching's defense is like almost two times as much, so... I can't even consider Shriek a glass cannon at this point, because he's not that strong. <laughs> Alright. I think it's safe to say we're ready to move on to battle number 17. Are there going to be any shenanigans here? What do we got? We have a pathway to the left. These Belial's. Oh, we got Durahan. Dullahan's, excuse me. <laughs> and then a pathway to the right. Interesting. This actually would be a good battle for Shriek, but um, he's also pretty weak, so... Shriek is weak, right? <sighs> are there flying enemies on the rims? There are not, I don't think. So let's just go in the middle, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. It's gonna be a little tough just because of the, uh, the movement here, clearly, as you can see. It's a standard Shining Force outdoor battle here where you're all bunched up and can't fucking move anywhere. They're the bane of my existence. I mean, granted, you know, they, they give you some sort of strategy. I get it. But uh, I'm not a huge fan of them. Let's actually also check the peoples down at the bottom here. And maybe the, uh, the Dullahans. Broadsword. Rod sword. Nothing. Evil ring. Probably gonna drop that evil ring. Man, the movement's gonna be rough. Look at this shit. I, can't, I literally can't even move. Look how bad it is. mistake on my part we'll see <laughs> we'll see because I just realized that I put myself in harm's way of a uh, brass gunner as well I feel like my controller is going a little wonky on me which is a shame because I found that this is probably been my favorite controller well it's another 8-bit dough controller it's the Sega Genesis one obviously six button um, my favorite one currently to date is the new SNES one that I got that one's fucking awesome. I used that during uh, Mystic Quest. Perfect build, everything's perfect about it. 
And the same could be said for this uh, Genesis one, but lately I feel like I've been getting some weird random inputs. And I hope it's not, like, you know, starting to do a thing. I'm gonna have to start accepting the fact that Domingo is probably just gonna be a, uh, a glass cannon that gets, like, two uh, magic spells off per fucking battle before he gets killed. Because he's definitely about to get ganged up on here, but... I mean, at the end of the day, that was worth it, was it not? Because now... Should be able to kill this dude. Bam. Yo, Claude for life, though, honestly. Claude is everything that I wish Amon, Balbaroy, <clears throat> um, Luke, and what's the name of the fucking bird from... Isn't it similar to Shriek? What am, what am I thinking of? What the fuck is his name? The secret bird character from Shining Force 2. Oh, uh, what was his name? You know, it's actually really bothering me. I'm gonna look it up. Shining Force 2 characters. Um... Where is he? Screech, okay. I knew it was similar to Shriek. Screech. But, uh, yeah, he's butt cheeks, so... Screech is no good, people. <clears throat> the only Screech that is good is, uh, Screech from Saved by the Bell. Didn't he die, Dustin Diamond? Hope not. I feel like he died, though. Actually kind of fucking... that's sad. Yeah, he definitely died, didn't he? Anyway. <laughs> I don't want to uh, turn this into a which celebrities are alive and which ones are dead fucking playthrough. You know what? Domingo did his goddamn job. He did his job. One more spell and he'll level up, so hopefully his MP goes up a few. We don't care about anything for Domingo at this point, except his magic points going up. That's all we care about. Oh, give me a break. I had a feeling some bullshit was gonna happen. I had a feeling. Um, sure, whatever. Yo, having the ability to just move him around is so fucking good. My next playthrough of uh, regular Shining Force, I am 100% uh, using Amon and Balboroy, and I'm just gonna level them up. Just having this freedom, man. Like, look at this shitty battle. Look how long it's taking everybody to fucking move. But, you know. Hmm. With his range and his, uh, and his attack out here? Nuts. Oh shit, we learned Bolt, nice. That's actually pretty good. That is pretty, pretty, pretty good. They're never gonna catch up to me. Unless I, like, go, like, super slow or something. Yeah, eat this hell, bitch. Don't miss this time, please. Hell yeah! You know... I really wish that they uh, put Shining Force CD on like a compilation. You know, all those Sega compilations that came out in the, uh, what was it? Uh, late 2000s and then early 2010s. They pretty much all had Shining Force 1, 2, and Shining in the Darkness on it, you know what I mean? But no love for the, uh, Shining Force CD. You know, Shining Force Sort of Hagia, aka Gaiden 2, aka Book 2 in this, 
you know, was released on a uh, virtual console and shit for the 3DS. Can we get some love for the, the sh uh, Shining Force CD games? Come on now. Yo, like, real talk? The, I know, I'm sure there's not enough, like, oomph behind it. But how sick would it be <clears throat> if they released a straight-up, like, Shining compilation? You know, for, like, Steam or something? I, I don't know. Obviously, I realize, you know, it kind of had to be localized here and there, but... Give us Shining in the Darkness, Shining Force 1, Shining Force 2, Shining Force 3, okay? And they've been fan-translated, the other scenarios. Can we get a, an official release of Scenario 2, 3 in the uh, premium disc? And then, you know, not to be greedy, but Shining the Holy Ark, Shining Wisdom. Come on. It could be done. Shining Force CD, obviously. Sort of Hagia as well. Just, just fucking do it already. Because if I had all these games on the Switch, man, that'd be fucking wonderful. Especially these ones. You know, Shining Force CD, the Gaiden games. That don't have the town exploration. They're perfect for, like, the Switch. Perfect. Uh, who got injured? Was it you? No, it was... I think it was Shade, right? <clears throat> well, some... No, it wasn't? Was it Apis? Didn't somebody get hit? Oh, it was Claude, duh. Alright, we're getting bottlenecked here a little bit. I want to heal Claude and then have him fly down. Um... Am I, where's Cray at? Oh, Cray's all the way down there, damn. <clears throat> oh my goodness, I'm just out of range. That's some bullshit. Alright, whatever. I'll meet you down here. Alright, never mind. I mean, there's not many battles left at this point. I don't really need to focus so much on leveling up as I do just getting through the game. I think there's like uh, five or six battles left in this book. With this being one of them. Alright, so the Dullahan's gonna meet me down there. I don't know, are these other guys gonna meet me in time that are coming around the corner here? Possibly. <clears throat> comes a dull hand. All right, we're fast approaching here. Luckily, I oh golems, oh boy, oh boy. <clears throat> you know, I'm not gonna lie. I had a feeling something was gonna happen. It just seemed like there wasn't enough uh, enemies on the battlefield. Just a matter of how many of them are gonna fucking appear, right? Thank Glob for Claude. I uh, guess we'll just make sure we get the kill here, right? <clears throat> yeah, I had a feeling Razor wasn't going to be able to do 16 damage on those guys. I'm sure they have pretty good defense. for one or two damage, why not? There we go. Good job, Domingo. I 
I feel like some more of those guys are probably gonna pop up uh, down below. Oh, that's whack, dude. I couldn't get around the corner with caching. He probably wouldn't have killed him anyway, but whatever. Still sucks. <clears throat> I have to heal Domingo. I think Shade could do this. I feel like 14. Nah, just kidding. Zero, apparently. Oh, fuck you, dude. I don't want to waste Claude's attack here. Come on. Dull hand it is. Woo! Claude, my boy! Let's go. Let's go, Claude. Oh, I meant to use the halberd. Fuck. No, Domingo. God damn it. Yeah, I flubbed up there, guys. Also, can we comment on how quickly that dude got a turn? Was that not a little quick? Tell me that wasn't a little quick. I think that was a little quick. walking around in my eBay room, people. Give me a second. Gonna have to make a note of Battle 17 where Lily J. Schlonster decided to uh, fuck around in my eBay room. Which is a no-no. I got expensive stuff in there, guys. <clears throat> Fucking cats, man. I'm telling you. I was thinking about using Bolt, but it's not really worth it. Still sad about Domingo constantly dying in our battles here. <clears throat> Yo, this fight sucks. I can't wait to get out of here. <laughs> Half my team can't even fucking move, dude. Honestly. If it wasn't for Claude, we'd probably be here for like an hour in this fight. And it's not even that hard, either. I see what they were trying to go with. They went with a very interesting battlefield formation. Because it is very unique, I will say that. Oh, what is this, dude? Yo. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, then. Oh, gotta get Claude out of there. Hopefully that dude doesn't come over and attack me with the goddamn ring. He might. It's gonna be a little difficult if I don't get some healers down there quick. <clears throat> I don't know, I might be a little out of range for him at this point. We'll see. But it is a little concerning with the bottleneck. I will say that. Okay, he moved back. I just want to be able to get through there without getting too fucked up, I guess. Try to get Claude all healed up as well. We will see the actions <clears throat> as we continue to progress through that little uh, neck at the bottom here. Are they ever going to catch up to me? I don't know. I'm not too concerned with them at this point. They might catch up with me. Depends how quickly we can kill these guys. 
Mm. Let's see. Ah. I wanted to have Claude uh, swing into them a little bit over there, but it was not to be. We could potentially get fucked up if that dude... If that dude chose to come over and use that evil ring, we can get Major League bamboozled. Um... Hmm. Who's got weaker defense? 31, 30. He has more HP. Hmm. I feel like he'll be more inclined to heal, right? Oh, a crit from Claude for that one experience. <laughs> it's all good, though. All right, I feel uh, safe enough at this point with two archers coming up. Ooh, how much is... Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh no, guys. Oh no. I mean, I'm glad that he killed somebody, but there goes a big cog in our wheel, to say the least. And here comes some fucking evil ring bullshit. Now I gotta pull Razor back. Fuck, dude. That actually kind of swung the tide a little bit. I gotta pull Razy back in a big way. And Stock is nowhere near close enough to get an attack off. If he was, we would be able to kill that guy at least and make things a lot more manageable. I'm actually... Nah, I'll stay. I'm just worried about getting, like, a huge evil ring now at this point. It's very possible. <sighs> boy, oh boy. I'm not liking how bunched we are. Not liking that at all. Poor Claude got RNG'd. Ah, oh, he's healing himself. Which does suck. <clears throat> that does suck. Cannot tell a lie. I think I'm gonna pull some people back, actually, in case, uh, the brass gunners and shit catch up to me. I think some people are better served, you know, playing guard, so to speak, than actually going against Edmund. Uh, I'll leave you here. I want to get stock out there, dude. I think I'll leave Wendy here. I'll leave Sig here as well. Apis could definitely come out. Uh, Kray should come out. And Roos can go here. <clears throat> That's totally fine as long as you don't get critted, she should live, right? I'll leave you here, I guess. He's just gonna keep healing himself. Well. The only positive thing is, pretty soon we'll have a lot of people right next to him, so he'll be dead. And he'll run out of uh, magic points at some point, too, so... Alright, Wendy's gonna get the kill here. Leveled up, which is good. Alright, so we got two Brass Gunners closing in. Yeah, I didn't think we were gonna get- Oh! There we go. Fuck you, Cleric. Fuck you. Ooh, the Evil Ring's gonna be able to cast- What is it, Bolt 2 or Bolt 3? Looked like 2, but... 
All right, time to go in against Edmund. It would be certainly nice to have Claude. Things are gonna get a little bit uh, hairier here, actually. All right, well, well, we'll have a good gauge here. Apis is our tank. Dude, what the fuck, dude? Does he just get double attacks? Yo, you already know this dude is gonna outturn me. And I can't even heal. Yo, I'm gonna get outturned. Fuck. We're in a little bit of trouble here. Yeah, this fight's a little rough, dude, without Claude right now. I'm not gonna front. We are totally about to get outturned. Um. How do I, like, what do I do? You know? Do I, like, put him in harm's way right now? Because what if I get double attacked and then outturn and we lose the fucking fight? It's, that's possible. Yeah, I don't even know if I should have done that. Oh my goodness. And we just learned Bolt too. Ooh, he's attacking Apis again. Son of a bitch, dude. Two of my best force members are Dunzo. With the Brass Gunners quickly approaching. We're gonna need some DPS magic. Hmm. I don't know, guys. A little skeptical. Oh, God. Stop with the double attacks. Thank you. Fuck you. You're a jerk. Uh, I guess we're gonna boost... Stock. Oh, this is just no good. We might be down to like our... What the fuck is this? Oh my god. I was going to say, we might be down to like a few force members here. <clears throat> we are not doing a lot of damage to him without a uh, Claude, man. That was kind of a mistake on my part. Fuck me. Fuck. Shitting myself. I am shiting myself. Alright, this is actually bad. Because he moved out of the way, and now it's going to be harder to get... Oh my god. And I'm 1 MP short for Bolt 2, of course. Oh, fucking course I am. Alright, well, let's boost. I mean, at the end of the day, Razor can't die, right? Everybody else can, but Razor can't. <clears throat> oh my god, if they get down there... I'm done, dude. If these fucking slow molasses ass motherfuckers get down there, I am toast. Oh god. <clears throat> Stock is certainly liable to get killed on this next turn. Oh, please don't critter double attack me. Please don't critter double attack me. Please don't critter double attack me. Thank you. Don't outturn me now either, please. Oh, I don't have any magic points. <laughs> pull you back. Oh, well. I'm not going to pull you back. I am not going to pull you back. Yep, I got fucking outturned. God damn it. All right, Cray's going to probably have to get in there and swing away. And then Razor might have to finish this off, dude. We're... We're approaching danger territory right now. Like, big time. Oh my god, really? Oh, I don't know. Dude, I am totally gonna get outturned. What do I do? Fuck it. 
Cray is supposed to go before Edmund. Oh my god, that did nothing to Edmund. Oh, thank goodness I got two attacks in. Oh, he's attacking Cray. We are getting outturned up the arse. Can somebody please... <laughs> oh, he's still alive. Anybody? Oh, you gotta be shitting me, dude. This fucking RNG is ass. He wiped out my entire party. He keeps getting fucking du Don't you dare. Stay where you are. Don't you give him his turn. It's my turn. Yeah, watch this shit. Eat my ass, Edmund. Jerk off. He's got cool ass armor and he looks like a fucking dweeb. And he double turns you all the time. Laps your turns. Razor, you are a traitor to Cyprus. You killed me, your own uncle, to steal my throne. Nah, it's because you're whack. Fuck you. I'm pissed. <clears throat> that battle sucked. Don't listen to Edmund. He was just a puppet in Waldol's hands. Remember me, Prince Razor? I'm your knight, Randolph. And I'm at your service. I'm the only one left from my platoon, and I want to fight Waldol. Well, depending on your stats, Randy, you might be in my party over caching. Let's take a look. Let's rest here for a short while and then confront Waldol. Man, that was rough. <clears throat> Hui. Alright. Well, first thing we have to do is we have to raise people. I didn't use any consumables. Let's check out Randolph's stats, right? If he's good, I am going to replace caching. And then let's hope that we get some new weapons, too. Let's hope we can get some new weapons. Wow, lots of casualties there, man. Wow. It's a damn shame. Alright, we are good. So let's go to member and status, and let's check out Randolph. 56, 29, and 7. 6, 29, and 7. So, his attack is like way higher. His defense is lower, but... And his agility is way higher, too. I mean, his level's higher, but... Yeah, that's, that's an easy one. Oh, you can set people to auto. I just realized that. Not that I would, but... Interesting. Alright, let's take Randolph and swap out Caching. Caching, you did your job. Your movement of seven is fucking amazing. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. You need a little bit of TLC in some way, shape, or form before you're uh, super viable. <clears throat> so let's pass... Caching this healing seeds to Randolph. And then let's pass the evil ring, whoever got that. Let's give that to... Can Claude? So I remember there was some kind of fuckery in one of the Shining Force games. One of them, like, only certain classes or, like, even nobody could use... I don't know, there's something weird going on with some of the rings. I should be able to use this ring, right? Or does it need to be in the possession of somebody like Wendy? No, cause she, yeah, she used the black ring. So she could totally use the evil ring, but I kind of want to give it to Claude. And I just got to remember that, you know, I'm going to get rid of that healing seed. Because he kills a lot of people, so he might end up getting a drop. And we'll give it to Apis. <clears throat> and before we save... Let's see what kind of shit we got at the shop here. Oh, we got upgrades, people. We got upgrades. It's a downgrade for Claude, but an upgrade for Razor. Okay. 
great axe. Is that better than the heat axe? It is, wow. Iron claw. Oops. For Sig. Cray. <clears throat> Holy Staff, Mayfair. And Wendy already has the Protect Staff. You already have the Great Shot too, right? Yes. Oh wow, you could buy Healing Reigns, huh? Hmm. That's intriguing, but I'm not gonna do that yet. Definitely not gonna do it yet. Caching. Gates. Shrieks. Board. Uh, flail can go bye bye. Battle Glove. Battle Glove. I'm gonna keep the Heat Axe, obviously. So I could buy a Healing Rain. Um, I am still gonna hold off though. I wanna see what's going on, like. That might be the final weapon upgrades of the game, I'm not sure. We'll probably have a better idea after the next like two battles. And if nothing really pops up, I'll buy another healing rain. Oh, by the way, funny news. After this, I'll say after this. <laughs> Woldle is up there in that castle on the hill. <clears throat> the Shining Forest. Do what it takes, but delay them. Once we've completed the summoning, we will be invincible. Um, so the computer chair that I'm currently in right now... This is the second iteration of this chair. I used to have a uh, like a yellow green one, and this one's white. Same brand, whatever. Um, they kind of suck. They start out good, but they, they wear fast. You know, I work from home most of the time, and obviously play a lot of games, stream, record on YouTube, this, that, and the other. Um, it wears down quick for me, probably quicker than most people. Anyway, I was thinking about getting a new computer chair because this one's beat to shit. It's creaky, falling apart, makes noises. Um, my parents just returned from my great aunt. Uh, unfortunately, she passed away earlier in the year, so we were in charge of her estate. And, uh, she literally had the same fucking chair. It's, it's the old color that I used to have, the green one, and it's basically brand new, so... I get to throw this piece of crap one out and just swap it out for a, a new version, so I'm pretty happy about that. With all that being said... That's more luxury than it is anything to do with Shining Force CD, so let's get back to the task at hand. Looks like a fairly... I don't know, pretty cool battle. I kind of like the way this is, like we're going up a hill. Um, definitely gotta kill this dude when we get there. And it looked like somebody had a drop here, right? The Valkyrie. That should be pretty good for Apis. Got our boy Randolph here. I guess we'll see how aggressive all these people are. Don't really know. This is definitely one fight that I don't recall anything about from my playthrough a few years ago. I don't even remember this fight happening whatsoever. A couple of them I remembered. You know, like the port battle one I remembered. Uh, the one where we fought, can't remember his name, the beast dude that was like the boss at the end of chapter three. I remembered that one. I remembered the first ship one. This one though, not ringing a bell. Not ringing a bell. Alright, time to do work, people. Let's go. Stand at attention, eat damage if need be, get healed by one of my three healers. That's the name of the game. Alright, let's do... Let's see. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35... Yeah, perfect. I 
I don't know if this is gonna kill him. Yeah, I didn't think so. But anybody should be able to kill him now. So that's the uh, the positive. We'll have it be Razor, why not? With his new sword. <clears throat> so I don't want to get Claude killed. But also... I kind of want to get things popping over here. So maybe I'll put you here. Damn, Claude! I see you. Working out. Flexing. Flexing on him. Um... I feel like I'm going to the well one too many times with my, uh, my items in this game, but we'll see. If this shit breaks in battle, I'm fucked. A small wisp. Okay, okay, okay. So the one thing that I cannot remember, can I... Like, preemptively fix that, or does it need to break break? Also, I'm digging the purple here on Randolph. I can't lie. Pretty fresh. Alright, pretty good start to the fight. Not much damage taken. I guess the question now is... Um, do I go left or right? Know what I mean? I feel like... I feel like I don't know. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I want to go left because I want that weapon, so I guess I'll go left. I just don't want to go left all the way and then get fucked by those golem things coming over, like... As I'm attacking the main group, you know what I mean? Also, we got all these Belials. Just chilling. Hmm. Definitely got some thinking. I trust you, Claude. I trust you, baby. Let's go. I don't care about the one experience. Clear that board. That's all I care about. Alright, I gotta heal Apis. That is my mistake. <clears throat> hmm. I don't want Domingo getting killed again, but also, you know. Uh, really gotta figure out where I wanna put him. Alright. Uh, it's physical attack, right? It shouldn't. Well. I underestimated Claude's shitty defense, I guess. Oh, what is this? Freeze three, not good. Not good, people. Claude's gonna probably have to return fire on this Belial just to get it the fuck off the board. And then Claude, did I just 62 damage? Did I read that right? Holy fuck. The unfortunate thing is, um, that Claude is not going to outturn this Demon Master. Well, never say never, but probably not. So I'd like to. Alright, good. Randolph might get killed. I don't think I'm going to be able to get enough heals over. And he's also, like, one or two experience away from leveling up, which stinks. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Well. He survived. Sort of. 
Um, all right, bolt's definitely not gonna do anything against them. Man, I don't like this uh, board position for Domingo. I'm not gonna uh, waste one of my spells on that. Whew. All right, so the dull hand did not get to Randolph, but we are not gonna be able to heal him. So I'm gonna have to retreat with him. Unless I want him to die, of course. Which, uh, is always a possibility. Yeah. Can't get to him in time. Sucks. Oh! Can he survive a hit from him? Alright, good. Good, good, good. Hmm. Oh my god, dude. That's no good. Well, now I have to actually heal Claude. Okay, really random of you to target Shade like that, but it's okay. Alright, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I just have to pull Randolph back. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, at least he leveled up for his troubles. freeze probably could have got away with a low level blaze really but that's okay and here is the unfortunate have to play the long haul game here um wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute i'll just pull you right there um hmm put you here okay any any day now, people. If uh, I can have Randolph's turn, please, before he gets outturned. And if some of my healers can get their turn, I'd really fucking greatly appreciate that, please. Please, please, please. Alright, well, we got that at least. So he will survive. But now, stock, unfortunately is in harm's way, which is probably worse than losing Randolph. Ooh, that shitty movement. That shitty movement really helping me out there. As long as stock doesn't get killed. Don't you dare. Thank you. Dude. The fuck? Oh no. Oh my god. Why didn't Mayfair get her fucking turn? Where is Sig? Where is Cray? When are they moving? Hello? Still? Oh my god. Alright, well now I'm officially freaking out because... Uh, apparently my healers can't fucking move? Like, what is going on? When is it gonna be their turn? Well, I guess I'm gonna heal Stock first, and then I gotta heal Claude, and then I gotta heal Mayfair. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. That was horrible. That could have been disastrous. I gotta go over and fuck that dude up right away. I have to go fuck that dude up. So hopefully Claude can land like a, a one shot or something. I don't know. Mayfair is gonna. Well, hmm. Mayfair is gonna have to heal Claude as well. It should be her turn soon. I hope. Oh my god, Mayfair is dead. Oh, we're getting fucked up, guys. We are getting fucked up. Yep. Fuck! Ooh, this is getting a little tough. This is getting a little tough right now. Um. Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm not quite sure what to do, to be honest with you. I'm sort of shitting myself. 
Razor could kill the Demon Master and Claude can kill the Belial. But like, is it worth... Uh... <sighs> oh, I don't know what to do. I think I need to kill you. Okay. I'm still not in good shape here, guys. I gotta take care of that Belial. I need, like, one of my archers or something. Okay, good. Nope. We need to take you out. All right. <sighs> the scary magic users are off the board. Unfortunately, we lost Mayfair, which does suck. She is our best healer, obviously. Um, hmm. I am actually going to just start healing myself with my consumables because I, I don't know. I don't think I'm in a good board position here to uh, go in the offensive position with uh, Wendy at the moment. And I will position you here. You should kill him. Yeah. Okay. Alright, things are calming down, finally. <laughs> Sorry about freaking out, guys. <clears throat> when things go awry really quickly, it's, uh... Very... You know. Things get herky-jerky, I'll just say that. Got a lot of healing to do. And we still got quite a bit of the battlefield to uh, clear out here, so... Potentially a level up with Kray or Sig. It's on the horizon. And this is why I keep three healers, people. This is exactly why. One of them goes down, I still have two. And healing's pretty important, as you know. Oh, that's not good. Come on. Come on, Roos. <sighs> Alright, well. Uh, sure. Bruce is gonna get attacked. And I assume that's fine. Would have been nice because you would have been dead had you not fucking missed your first attack, jackass. Um, let's heal Randolph. Okay. Domingo! Hmm. Sure, we can get two. Uh, freeze two or freeze threes, or we can get seven, fourteen, twenty-one, and a bolt. So that's probably what we're gonna do. We're gonna do three freeze twos and a bolt, right? Did I do my math right? I think I did it wrong, actually. <laughs> 7, 14, 21, yeah. I did that wrong. Two freeze twos and a bolt. Um, we didn't heal you yet, Claude. Jesus. That was my mistake. I would like for him to be fully healed before we actually start swinging away. But, yeah, the golems aren't really going to be too big of a deal, especially if they all get bunched together and then I magic them. That'd be pretty sick. <clears throat> they seem to be coming down, so I'm probably still gonna approach the main people um, going to the left. TBH. I'd like this other dude to come down, but it's fine.
Huh. Freeze does relatively nothing to them, huh? That is interesting. I wonder if Blaze... Oh, we learned Blaze 3. That is actually very, very good. Um, let me think, let me think. I will attack you. And someone should be able to attack the other golem. The other one might come down, we'll be able to heal Claude. We're all good, we're all good. We are all good, people. Perfect. A very good <clears throat> level up there. Um, let's stick Randolph up there, why not? And you, Apis. You could tank for me. Do we even have any heals left? Regular heal. And that's why we put you there. You are a tank. Yeah, we definitely need to reflect on Randolph's drip. Dude is fucking styling. He might even get the kill. He might be flexing in his purple rain attire. <laughs> What's Shade's uh, attack compared to Randolph? 56, 57. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to get the kill. Nice. All right, let's start moving some people this way. Stock, you can come over here. Big C. Uh, we'll just move Apis. Randolph's got this covered. Bam. Look at that drip. Pretty good character. I mean, if you're gonna join the force in the endgame, dude, you gotta be like... You gotta be fucking good, man. I don't know what else to say. Oh, it'd be so nice to... Is it worth it, though, right now? Nah. I could land, like, a, uh, a really sick... You know, freeze three or something on them, but... That dude is just going to heal everybody by the time we get there. You know, it's not really worth it. Um, I, could we approach from over here? Yeah, we could. Why not? Leave Claude there. There'll be lots of walking and positioning coming up. Of Apis come that way too. Ooh, moving down, are we? Okay. I'm not too concerned. Um, obviously, I want to get Claude healed though, so I'm going to pull back with him for a minute. Hopefully Cray can get that heal off. That was a horrible fucking movement for, for Apis. What the fuck was that? He moved like one square north. Holy shit. That was awful. <clears throat> Alright. Protect Claude at all costs. It's the name of the game, people. Alright. We are not fully moving forward here until we are out of the bottleneck, which fairly soon. We are, oh God, terrible. And move you here, move you here. Um, okay. Let's use the heat axe. If it cracks, it cracks. You know what I'm saying? Let's get some damage on the board. Hey, we leveled up. <clears throat> okay, stick Wendy up in here. Can we reach with... Oh, oh, oh that would have been so nice to get all of them in there. You know... Eh, not worth it. I was gonna say, Claude might be able to kill them. 
but... And by them, I mean the main guy. But we're gonna focus our attack on you, since you have Aura 3 or some bullshit. But thank you. I'm not about that. I am about that 2 defense up, though. That's right, you retreat like the bitch that you are. Perfect, people. Perfect. Executioner is within one shot. Grass Gunner will probably get killed by a one hit somewhere. Domingo leveled up. Life is good. Life is good. Can you fucking fuck off? Leave him alone. Very rude. Okay. All that for 10 damage. Take a look in the mirror. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm getting greedy. I want as much experience as I can get, even if it's like one. <laughs> Which I think this is gonna yield like one for shade, right? Eh, 14. Okay. Hell yeah, I'll take the kill of Claude. I could probably get at least like 30 experience. Maybe even 49. This is a new dude, right? 30. I called it. First was right. First time was right. Your days of conquest are over. From now on, Wooldol is protected by the great spirit of Iam. Wrong! Our days of conquest are almost over. Let's go inside and end Wooldol's reign. Alright, we're approaching, um... The castle here, I think. I think that, yeah, much like like in the first game, uh, pretty much all the last battles occur inside of the same place. So this is like the last true, um, I guess, like map change. Because after this, it just it stays the same, I think, for the most part. Poor Mayfair. All in all, that wasn't too bad of a battle. Um, Let's give... we got this, right? Yep, the Valkyrie. Who are we gonna give the Valkyrie to is the question. Apis up to 61. Uh, or Randolph up to 63. Huh. You know, I like Randolph. I like the cut of his jib. He's gonna get the Valkyrie. How about that? And let's actually go into battle. And then restock up on stuff that we might need. Do the old egress. Ooh, that is cool. It was rude of you to keep me waiting, Razor. Still, I heard what you did to Dantum. You, so you must have some skill. Come on, show me what you've learned. And then I'll show you how it's done. Chip. All right. Let's get a quick save before we start loading up. For Battle 19, we got four battles left, guys. We're almost there. Alright, let's start gearing up here as we approach the end game. My controller turned off. <clears throat> so, same weapons, which is what I figured. We could buy a healing rain. Mm. I think I'm gonna. And we should probably give that to somebody with decent defense and or somebody that's, yeah, not in the fray too much. So I think Sig would be good. Uh, with that being said, I think we are probably ready for battle, to be honest with you. We just got to be careful. The main goal here is we gotta keep Claude alive, you know what I mean? Alright, let's go! Also, again... I apologize if you hear random noises. The cats are running around, they all just took shits. You know how it be. I have to do the disclaimer, because... I, I fucked with my microphone settings where things should be better, but I remember, like, a year ago... Uh, if people were stomping around upstairs, you heard everything. So, unfortunately, it looks like my cats are about to fight each other relentlessly, but hopefully we don't pick up uh, too much stuff here. Ooh, this is odd, but th this is exactly why I have Claude and Domingo. 
I can take these guys out so they don't fuck my life up. Demon Master right by the front gates is a little rough as well. The Wyverns are going to be a little tough. Dullahan all the way over there. Kind of odd. We have that. Oh yeah, this right. Yes, yes, yes. There's a, another secret here, people. Should be very interesting. I was not done yet, controller. Thank you. Ooh, the Axe of Atlas. Oh, that is fucking cool. And a white ring. Nice, this is going to be a good battle. Geppel. His uh, character design reminds me of a, a Chad version of of Zinc. That, that was his name, right? In Shining Force 2. Okay, well, let's get started. Plot here for now. Um... I have to... Who do I want to do that with? Probably not Razor. Ah, uh, we're... One away. That bush over there... has a secret. I know. I know. You're all very excited. Not to get bamboozled here by these snipers. I definitely have to take them out with my flyers. And luckily we're towards the beginning of the map, so we should be able to fall back and heal pretty quickly if need be. We also don't want to get bottlenecked because of the demon masters. Mayfair is definitely starting to lag behind a little bit, which is unfortunate, but uh Oh, that sucks. Oh no, Claude can't... Oh, that's dumb as fuck, dude. Claude cannot fly over that. That's stupid. Hmm, I do not like that. Oh boy. Well, that that's very unfortunate. Um... Hmm. Let me think. I think I'm actually going to cast Bolt 2. Uh, we have enough to aggress still, yes. And we could not even kill the one golem, so that's just absolutely fucking beautiful, isn't it? That is just fucking beautiful, ain't it? And I don't want to put Wendy in harm's way. Oh, look at that! It's Amigo! Wow, you found me out! I'm happy to have friends to play with. We're the world. No more fighting. I'll see you later. So, Amigo is basically another Domingo. I think Amigo actually might be better in this game, though, than Domingo. I will have to check. Um, I'm not going to leave this battle just to... get Amigo... in the force at the moment. Roos is being sacrificed here, at the gate, unfortunately. That is a big bummer, dude, that I cannot fly over that. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding? Of course I got double attacked, fuck you. This game pisses me off sometimes. Yeah, Bruce is probably going to be dead now because of that double attack. If I get critted or doubled, he's dead. Or if somebody else comes over. Which is uh, very possible. Yeah. Try to get this long range heal off. It's not going to do too much because he's like pretty much on danger danger. It should allow him to eat one hit from somebody at least, but... Nothing crazy. I 
Are there stairs over there? Oh, there are stairs, okay. I was curious, like, where's that guy going? Ah, shit. Of course this dude survived at 2 HP just to uh, put me within literally danger territory, which now he's dead, so. Well, shit. I gotta get through here fast. Claude's gonna have to come up. Uh, things are getting a little, uh, a little shitey at the moment, I will say. Uh, let's focus on this. Somebody can kill the golem. Somebody will be able to, you know, finish off the demon master. Let's just get through and away from the fucking archers. Hmm. Mm-hmm-hmm. Decisions. I am going to attack, and I will leave a healer back. In case Razor gets fucked here. Uh, the halberd was starting to crack, I think. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I didn't know that. So I can go up. Well, I guess I can't go through the front walls. That would make sense, right? The walls inside the grounds would be a little bit shorter, so that's good news. But I really needed to take out that Demon Master, unfortunately. Um, we will bang into you. Bod could definitely kill you now next turn. There's no way. Can we get a cheap kill here? Oh, that's... Oh, my goodness. We almost one-shot him. Okay, good, good, good. Good, good, good. Perhaps only one shot from this dude. Ooh, against Wendy, though. That ain't ideal. No, 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 no. Alright. Wait a minute, wasn't somebody... Huh. I thought somebody was more hurt than what they were, but I guess not. Oh yeah, never mind, it was Roos, he's dead. <laughs> uh... So the one thing that I will say is... Um, it is definitely easier, obviously, to lose, uh, force members as you go along here. Than it was earlier in the game. I have to get that chest. Oh, Wendy's definitely dead. There's no way. <gasps> she survived. What the fuck, dude? Ooh, alright. Things are getting sketchy here, people. Things are getting sketchy. We're gonna have to fucking attack, attack, attack. Uh, miss. Miss. Shit. Um, okay. I'm going to heal Shade. My instinct was to heal Claude, but Claude should be able to skirt around this disaster uh, before killing somebody. Ooh, good thing I healed Shade, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, people. Let's go. It's our turn. Our turn to attack. This should full heal Wendy, I'm assuming. Nice. We're gonna see through this, okay? The game's artificial difficulty with bottlenecking us in areas where we can't move. We are gonna tell it to go fuck itself. How do you like that? Um... Are any of these enemies... No, none of them are like... So I'm going to focus on you. I got to get rid of the guys that have the ability to attack multiple people first. 
Yes, Shade might die because I uh, separated him from the pack, but um, I do think it's pretty important. So let's try to finish off the Demon Master, question mark. Yep. So that's good, at least. A um, little disappointing that... that they weren't all together there. Not gonna lie. The freeze should hit the wyvern at least 10 because of fire, right? Yeah, 14. Better than nothing, right? Okay, now we have to figure out what we want to do here. Do we, I think we kill, we focus on this guy. Yep. Ooh, a crit. Let's go, Claude. Keep pumping those stats, baby. I need you. Okay, the golem is the least of my worries, um, and technically that bow rider is as well, to be honest with you, because as soon as I can move like Sig and somebody else out of the way, I don't know if he could attack anybody, ooh, damn, I was not expecting that, but stock is a certified G and a bona fide stud, and you can't teach that, so, okay. We have to clear this area out so I can go loot that fucking chest. I cannot forget to loot the chest. Ah. I was really hoping that I could move Cray. Don't double attack. That's some bull poopy. Um, let me see. 12, 20. Hmm. Oh, he's got 11 left. At least three should be able to kill him then, right? Yep. It was like Freeze that surprisingly didn't do well against them. I wouldn't have expected a rock to uh, be more effective than fi you know, by fire than a Freeze, but it is what it is, I suppose. Alright, we need to take care of this bow, dude. I think we have a couple of hands that might be coming down the stairs at us as well. Ooh, the chimeras, too. I forgot about that. Ooh, perfect. We are in business, people. So we're going to have to brave the chimeras in order to get the... Uh... Ooh, heal three. Nice. We're going to have to brave the chimeras to get that chest. Which uh, does kind of suck, because I'm pretty sure they are strong, obviously. <clears throat> Plus, I'm pretty sure if we go towards the middle, the Chimeras are probably going to uh, catch up with us anyway. Nice. That's a good level up, a 2-2. I guess I will leave you here. Alright. He might be able to one-shot it. Ah, so close, so close. That sucks. Um, yeah, whatever. Clear the board, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, game. Stay there, please. Alright. We have the two dudes in front, and I think we have uh, flanking to the left and the right chimeras, right? Oh no, so it's just those two. He's the boss. He has an item, right? Yeah, the white ring. I need to get that. These guys are a little tough, but I also want that fucking chest, so... I am gonna send Domingo... Cl 
Claude. And maybe Cray? Over here? Yes. Oh my goodness, what? <clears throat> Did not know that. Kinda sucks. Oh, I wish I healed. I forgot to heal. Razor could stay right here. He obviously knows, like, Aura 3 or some bullshit, so he's gonna... Ooh, should I send... Randolph up? No. I'm gonna play the long... The long game here. I'm gonna try to kill that dude with snipers. And hopefully not trigger the boss. Because I gotta get that treasure chest. And I am a little worried that Claude's gonna die. Um, is his inventory full? No. Okay. Okay. Who has the evil ring? I don't remember. Demon rod. Our ring. She's got the black ring. But who's got the evil ring? Oh my god, I forgot what fucking Claude does. That's right. <clears throat> yep. What is it going to be? Aura 3? Well, the good news is... That is a cool sprite, by the way. The good news is, is that he can uh, drain his... MP, so... And as long as the boss doesn't move, we are fine. Okay. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to double up on the evil bishop and keep our fingers crossed that the boss does not move down. Hopefully Shade didn't cross the threshold. I think he might have though. I mean, we'll obviously find out soon. Oh, okay, he crossed it. Uh, I don't know guys, are we gonna be able to get there in time? Are we gonna be able to get there in time? Claude might be on a uh, suicide mission. Claude might be on a suicide mission. We gotta go in. Oh, that... Thank you so much. Oh, that would've been horrible. Okay, Claude. Go get that fucking thing, buddy. Cause we are going in on Geppel. Oh shit, he's not fully healed. Okay, we're good. Don't double attack. We're okay. Actually, I'm going to... Checkerboard. Oh, I don't have enough magic points. Okay, so we're not gonna checkerboard. Out of necessity. Claude should be able to get there in two or three turns. And it will take... Probably two or three turns to... Let's see. It's gonna go in at Domingo here. Okay. Ooh, he retreated! Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Okay. Well, shit. Definitely wasn't expecting that. Hmm. I mean, that's fine by me. I'm still gonna shoot at him, though. <clears throat> I mean, at the end of the day, we gotta kill him. You know what I mean? So, and he has a, uh, above yellow life bar. As can clearly be seen. Oh, let's get it, boy! The Dark Sword! Let's go! 
Okay. We are free to kill this guy. Freely. Ah. Uh. So you're telling me he would have survived otherwise. That kind of blows. But we're fine. As long as we don't get absolutely bamboozled by, like, uh, skipping turns and shit constantly, you know. He'll be dead before you know it, even without Claude down here. So that's okay. Oh, I forgot he's got the fucking spear now. My bad. Oh, watch this shit. Oh, no, we are short. But we might be able to kill the one Chimera at the very least with him. Yep. Thought we were going to land a uh, fat freeze too, which would have been pretty sick. But we didn't. Um. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Sig going in. Uh. Why not, right? Does the uh, experience points on this in Shining Force CD work like Shining Force 2 where I should get around like 40? Just for that? Nope. <laughs> not at all. Domingo, will you die? You've been dying in every battle, buddy. Alright, Sig might be dead here. No. Oh, you know what? Eat shit. Get out of here. So predictable. Get a new routine, buddy. Okay? Get a new routine. Okay, so Randolph can attack from here. Alright. Stock should be able to kill him. Uh, Alright, I'm not going to mess around. We're just going for the kill. I was going to have Claude try to come down and kill the Chimera, but not worth it. Not worth it. Oh, that's right. We got the Atlas thing. My bad, dude. Almost forgot about that. Dantum and the others taught you well, but you won't find Bazoo and Freybell so easy to conquer. Woldal has enhanced your strength. Then there'll be more of an interesting challenge. Razor, come on, let's go get him. Are we going in right away? So, yeah. Oh, so this is blue as well. Interesting. Other place was kind of purple, I think, but this is blue. So I do remember this battlefield. You are too late, my friends. The summoning is done. I am's evil creature awaits in the next room. You can no longer stop me. Who we got? Who's this? Wait. Isn't that Bazoo? Is he blue now? So, Razor, we meet again. It'll be my pleasure to. Who the fuck is that? Not so fast, Bazoo. He is mine. That is Bazoo, okay. Okay, we are uh, gonna go ahead and retreat. We gotta buy some shite. Okay. First things first, we gotta raise everybody. Secondly, I gotta uh, pass around a few items. Thirdly, I wanna check out to see if there's any new weapons, because this is it. This is the last battlefield that we're on, so I'm pretty sure nothing would update past this point whatsoever. <clears throat> I need to give Domingo one of the rings. That's what I need to do. So let's go ahead and... We're passing around some shit here. White ring, probably only equipable by the main character, right? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna give the protect ring 
to who has shitty um, defense. I mean, Domingo does, right? But. Let me think this through here. You know what? I'll give it to... Give it to Apis. Yeah. And then... Give the Axe of Atlas... To Roos. And then we also got the... Dark Sword, right? I'm assuming that casts, um... Let's actually give the Evil Ring to, um... Domingo. And the Dark Sword... Yeah, I don't want to equip that because it'll curse me, obviously, but... Maybe I'll give it to Razor. I feel like there's one other thing that I wanted to move. I gotta sell a couple things just to clear some item space. Was I happy with my rings? Oh, I have to equip the Protect Ring. Yeah, I gotta equip all my new shit. So... Gotta equip that and the White Ring. Equip the Atlas. Equip the Protect Ring. Running Ring, Power Ring. Holy Staff. Alright. Alright, let's go over here and sell a couple things to kind of clean up the inventory. Chrome Lance can go. That's fine. Ah, that's fine. Uh, we don't need the Great Axe. We're gonna keep all that. I'm gonna see if I could repair... ...this, or if it's not broken. Oh, you can fix it, okay. Cool. And let's see what they have for sale. Anything special? Nope. Okay. Let's give one quick look at Amigo. Right. Let's see what we're working with. Low defense. Oh, no. Sorry, Amigo. Literally. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. We have a lot of money. Let's um, go buy another healing rain. We could buy two, but I'm going to hold on, just in case. Um, I would like to give one to Apis because he has such good defense, but... Gray, Mayfair, I'm a little hesitant, I might give it to Randolph. Alright, now let's save and head into battle here. This might be tough. There's two, like, boss people. So. But we'll see how it goes, right? <clears throat> oh, interesting. I guess, uh, depending on which boss we kill first, we get different scenarios. That's pretty cool. I like that, right? Ooh, the evil axe. I wonder what that does. Probably bolt, uh, Blaze 3 or some shit. Okay, so Bolt 2 and Muddle. And Freybell. Freybell seems like the easier kill, huh? 42, 41, yeah. Well. I don't... Are we gonna get some enemies spawning out of the battlefield here? How's that gonna work? I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want this group to come down to me. Perfect. 
But if they kill me, I'm going to uh, be retreating immediately. Yeah, not the guys that I want to be getting hit so early, but I mean, it is what it is sort of thing, right? Okay, so... Oh, wait. Shit, that's the wrong ring, huh? That has no effect. Well, let's give that to you. I need the other one. How about that? Alright, let's go in for the attack. Boom. I always confuse my rings in these games, guys. Alright, we can attack from distance. Oh, fuck you, dude. Wiggity wiggity whack. Come on now. Skull Knight. I wonder, are we going to be allowed to retreat after the battle is the question. Because sometimes these games get a little fucky with the, uh, the end game battles. You know? Shining Force 1, you have to do the last two battles back to back. Shining Force 2, you don't, thankfully, because... The King Gollum fight is a little rough. TBH. Bam. Got a crit, nice. Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. Yeah, let's just heal. Gonna heal you, because you have much weaker defense than Cloud. I was thinking about going in for the attack with Kray, but I don't want to get banged up so early. And I would desperately like to kill these guys uh, before... Hmm. Well, I guess... Yeah, I could just do this, right? Top clawed off. And hopefully we get some good turnages here to kill these guys before the others uh, surround me. Because if they get a bunch of cheap shots in, um, you know, before I can kill them, I will be upset. 28. Gotta kill you. Please. Thank you. Come on, Claude. Alright, what is up with you? You know Dispel. It's a little sketchy. I really don't like the fact that I have to be up here. When do you might get killed? That is a cool sprite, by the way. That is a very cool sprite. Yeah, shit. We survived for now. I'm going to 23, 28, 36, 39, 23, 28. Sorry, I think I tech. Oh my god. Uh, I didn't attack anybody. <laughs> that was a misclick, people. Oh, thank goodness for shade. Or, excuse me, stock. Oh, that misclick, though. That was great, huh? The dreams are made of. His dude would have been dead, and now he's not. Oh, thank you, game. The game knew that I misclicked and felt bad for me, so... It's all good. <clears throat> By the way, I'm dying. Um... The there's like a recommended guide. They recommend like that everybody's like fucking almost ten levels higher than what they are right now. Oopsies, that wasn't happening for me. All right, so I think it's probably in our best interest to move this way, and let's hope that uh, some of these people don't respawn, like the Dullahans are respawning in the last battle. We're just gonna have to outlast and stand our ground down here. It's actually decent. 
Not bad. If Claude can get a turn, he could probably uh, kill the evil bishop before he has a chance to heal anything. <laughs> D soul. Is it any better in this game? Probably not, right? Probably not. Come on, Claude, please get your turn before the fucking healer. Please, please, please. Thank you. You the man, Claude. Dark Sword's gotta be D-Soul, right? Like, I don't, I don't think it could be anything else. Are we, get, are we risking it here? Uh, oh, shit, the fucking sword broke already? That's kind of ridiculous. So was that. Wow, thank you, game. Appreciate it. Just never want Domingo to live, huh? It's just how it's gonna be. Well, I guess in a way he did his job. He is the literal epitome of a glass cannon at this point. <clears throat> Alright, so we have assassins, wyverns, and what is over here? Chimeras. Yo, somebody needed healed, right? Like, badly around here, I think. Yeah, Wendy. I'm bummed that Domingo dies so much in this game, man. In the first game, he's such a defensive powerhouse. In this game, he's a fucking weakling. Alright, let's take care of the wyverns first, I guess. <clears throat> Please don't kill Roos. Oh my goodness, was not expecting an ice attack? Thank God for heal three. You feel me? Yeah, was not expecting that. <clears throat> Ooh, we learned aura as well. Why did we recover one HP? Is it because we have the Holy Staff, I guess? Hmm. Shade, with a pretty good level up there, actually. You love to see it. Um, this does put Claude in harm's way of an attack, but let's just clear off as quickly as we can. Plus defense went up by two, so that's good. Okay. Well, we're about to see if we're gonna get fucked in this fight or not. Meaning, you know, does anybody else uh, come to play, so to speak? It is so frustrating when enemies are left with like 1 or 2 HP, you know what I mean? I need to send some people up this way. Ooh, this is actually bad news bears. Uh, if I get uh, freeze attacked by the wyvern here, I am dead with a capital D. Going after Wendy, who also might be dead. fucking asshole with your 2 HP. Fuck you. Fuck you, dude. You're a jerk off. Wow. That sucks. And I'm like out of range somehow. Like literally I'm right fucking next to this dude. Eat shit.
Man, so many of my fucking mages, they just keep getting, like, I don't know. Bad luck. I don't know what else to say. It is just bad luck, isn't it? We should probably... Yeah. I need to kill all these guys before I go up on the platform. Oh, here we go again. Two fucking HP. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. No. You can relax. Alright, once we kill the Chimeras, we are uh, set to go. <laughs> you like how I basically just consider that dude dead already? Oh, are they not... Are they really not, like, coming down at this point? That's kind of odd. Hmm. Kind of weird. Fucking tricky ass. Woldol over there just fucking double turning. I just realized that I don't think I got the evil axe, unless I was not paying attention. Which is also very, very possible <laughs> that I wasn't paying attention. Is there still another dude up there on the... Yeah, no, I missed out on the evil axe. That sucks. Um... Hmm. What do we do here? What do we do here, people? Do we start going in? I mean... I guess we probably could, right? I don't know how I feel about it, but... get killed here. Alright. Uh, yeah, Randolph's gonna die, right? Well, I guess he drew first blood, right? So that was, uh, okay-ish. And Bazoo is falling behind, which is odd. What? Really? Ooh, this was a mistake, was it not? Me going up here like this? <laughs> uh, we're gonna need some, um, some backup. Claude, if you're there. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Claude. I also want to uh, extend my sincerest apologies again. Uh, my kitten is fucking freaking out upstairs, so. Nothing I could do! Um. Do we, like, try to kill a Chimera? Nah. I think at this point we just kind of go in on Freybell. Also, I'm hoping that killing Freybell actually ends the fight, because I don't know if it does or not, because Bazoo is there, obviously. So we'll see. Randolph died as expected. Chimeras for some reason are targeting my healers, I don't know why. With literally the hero of the party. Oh sh fuck! That sucks. I'm pissed. We couldn't get one more turn before the fucking bishop, dude. We couldn't get one turn before the bishop. Okay, for some reason the chimeras are attacking Kray. That's fine. 
Because now it's like a DPS race still, you know what I mean? Hopefully this doesn't break the Atlas. Yeah, I gotta repair that shit already. Come on now. Kinda whack. Alright, what are you here? Old, old double turning people, of course. <clears throat> okay, any day now that you want, uh, you know, Claude and Stock and Razor to go before. Uh, what's your face? Oh, that's. Yeah, great. You know what? It's a fucking game sometimes, man. Watch the double attack. Call, I called it a fucking mile away, dude. Called it a mile away. You are a whack as fuck game. Honestly. Eat my ass. If you give the evil bishop a fucking turn before Claude and company, I'm gonna fucking beat your shit, alright? I promise you. What happens? Nothing happens. So basically we've been very, very sloppy here. <laughs> For some reason, I thought that the fight ended if you killed one of them. Uh, but maybe it just uh, switches the course of the story ahead, which is, um, yeah. I don't know what to say about that. I got really sloppy there, guys, and now I might pay for it. So, we'll see. We will see. Let's heal up and go in. I'm gonna have to kill that dude uh, before I start attacking Waldol, which does suck because the aura will be very fucking annoying otherwise. So let's get a crit here or a double attack, please. Oh, 35 is okay. Double? No? No? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and not do that. But I will do this. All right, now we need to focus on Woldol, who I think knows Bolt 3 or 4, which is a bit devastating. Only Bolt 2. Do I believe this? No, well, we have no other choice but to. So yes, we did uh, suffer some shitty losses due to the fact that I, um, I guess in a sense, made a mistake in my judgment of this battle, as far as winning conditions go. I thought, again, that if I killed one of them, it would just alter the story and the fight would be over, but that obviously wasn't exactly the case. But we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Leave Mayfair kind of out. Okay, that's actually not good. You're an asshole. Because <clears throat> you're probably going to end up fucking, like, somehow quadruple turning me here and keep doing this, right? Un- Ooh, he didn't attack me? He fucking- What did I just say? That he was going to fucking get another turn. He got one immediately, but he didn't attack me for some reason, so. Alright, enough with your counters, dude. Chill. Please. Would be nice to have shade right now. In addition to the old stock. Bam. We leveling. Let's go. Um. Don't have enough for that. Heal Roos. Roos is going to be pretty important getting up in uh, Bazoo's grill. But I'm fully expecting Bazoo to get a turn before Roos. Wow, he didn't. Okay. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna have to back off. 
So this sucks, but we should survive. And again, as long as Bazoo doesn't fucking get some quadruple turn bullshit, Claude should survive. And of course he gets a turn right after. But he chose to physically attack, which bailed me out, and that'll probably seal his doom. Unless we miss... Or he gets another <laughs> turn immediately after. There we go. Fuck you, asshole. Screw your double turns. Easy. Freybell, remember. Once that monster starts to move, he will never be stopped. Cypress, Guardiana, and the world will be ours. Don't quit now, Razor. We've got to stop that monster before it moves. Well, I got news for you. I gotta heal a bunch of people. <laughs> so that's what we'll be doing. What is that thing? The summoning is complete. You're too late. Woldol. Why do you hide your monster back there? Is something wrong with it? Let me go back there and see. No, not yet. Guards, protect the monster until he's strong enough to move. Okay. Razor, we don't have much time. Let's go. Alright, guys. Let's egress. Let's revive everybody. Because we did take a beating. But I do want to point out that that beating was self-inflicted because I was going for the prize, so to speak, and it just turned out to not be the correct battle condition. I definitely suffered at least two more casualties that I would not normally have uh, suffered otherwise, so. Domingo and Wendy were definitely uh, bound to get killed no matter what, unfortunately. But somebody like Randolph, for example, I, I threw him into the fray thinking if I just killed Frey Belf, shit would be over. Um, alright, let's go check here. Oops. No, 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 no. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, it looks like that is about it. So, yeah, let's buy another healing rain. And let's give it to... Um... Yeah, let's give it to Claude. Okay. And let's save up, and... We got the final two battles ahead of us, babe. I am I fucking... I'm ready to go, baby. I'm ready, people. Let's do this shit. Alright. Time for the final two battles, and I did... Um, verify that much like Shining Force 1 you can aggress so we gotta try to keep as many people alive as possible here which to be honest I might I might remove Domingo from my team simply because he dies so easily um, I might be better off with somebody just like Shriek at this point and a broadsword but we'll give it a go and, uh, much like, you know, with Shining Force 1, if I end up, uh, suffering too many casualties and I have to restart the battle or whatever, um, I will just, you know, edit myself back to where I am, right? Woldle is actually pretty easy to kill. What about this thing, though? Holy shit, evil monster. Okay, that's a little, a little fucky. Hmm. Huh. Damn, dude. That's rough. Okay, let's uh, fall back, I guess, and maybe... Maybe they'll approach me? I know the monster can't move, so that's good, right? Oh, they're falling back, huh? Um... Oh, evil bishop, though. Hmm... Evil Bishop, though. I'm gonna guess that those guys are gonna move. But I'm gonna play a little bit of a... Cold War action with them at the moment. Again, I... I'm trying to make sure that people survive, you know what I mean? I also don't know how long this bolt range is. 
which is a little sketchy. Let's see what these people do before I really go in. Do they actually come down? Oh my god, that would have been so nice. Dude, they could have started swinging there if I had stock. Hmm. Mm-hmm-hmm. Oh, Jesus, fuck it. What's-her-face still has the, uh, the ring? Right? Yeah. Son of a bitch. Yeah, she's gotta give that ring up to somebody. Um... Oh yeah, the Dark Sword's fucking broken. Hmm. I'm just trying to wait and see here, people. Just trying to wait and see. They're probably gonna fall back and get Aurid. But. Who knows? We don't know until we know, you know? Alright. Well, if we survive, Woldol is dead, basically. Uh, so, that's good. But our issue here is, are we going to be able to survive? Because are the other guys going to come down? Are we going to have a chance to heal first? Again, Woldol is definitely dead, but... um. These executioners might come down and finish off Shade and Roos. To which, if they die, I am going to be aggressing. So let's see what happens. Um. Okay. Or, uh. Fuck, it would have been really nice to have that, huh? Who's gonna get their turn first? Sig or Cray is the question. And technically, Roos is probably more likely to survive, even though he probably is going to die no matter what, so. Alright, come on, Roos. Get healed. And Woldol is dead. What a weakling. But he is not the boss, that demon thing is. You... You're all so young. But as long as the monster lives, I will not die. You will be his first meal. Okay, this is very dramatic. <laughs> very dramatic, huh? Um... Okay... Not a huge fan of the board position. Not a huge fan of the board position. You know? One, two, three... I think I'm out of the bolt range. Hmm, a crit would have been wonderful. Would have been wonderful. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and not uh, put you there. Same with you, Wendy. Uh, come on, healer! Oh, this whole thing is sketchy as fuck right now. Claude is indeed in harm's way, but... I have faith that he'll survive. <laughs> uh, if Roos dies, I might reset. Mm, oh, of course. Of course, I got heavied. Just the, the fucking perfect amount that was needed to kill me. Just the perfect amount, right? I might try to beat it without Roos, but I don't know, dude. I do not know. I do not know. Oh, 
We'll have to see what happens. If I can get through this fight with no more casualties or maybe one more, um, then I think I will, you know, try to make this quote unquote the run. Very disappointed though that I was not able to get a turn with Sig or Cray before that dude. Yeah, a little too late, my man. A little too fucking late. Does anybody need healed at the moment? I don't think so. No, everybody's full. Yeah, losing Roos is not good. Um, I'm gonna leave you here. Apis can go here. Oh, fucking eat my ass. I almost punched you with Sig. I almost did, dude. Nope, I'm not putting you there. Yeah, I'm actually going to pull back. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh. Really? Okay, so semi-sketchy, but also not, because I can kill you. I was going to go after the, uh, the priest, but this is definitely the better move. Um, I'm still going to stand pad, I think. And just wait and see. Yep, I'm just gonna wait and see. I'll let all these enemies come to me. I will let them all come to me. Forgot about those guys. I forgot about the wyverns. All right, we are all staggered and waiting. I could easily kill you. I still think it's in my best interest to not get ahead of myself here. What is your movement? Five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I feel like you could reach me if I'm here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe not? I don't really remember how that works. I wish I can go over here. Um, 34, 31. I think Claude can one-shot you. Fingers crossed. Okay. <clears throat> Defense went up by two, so that might... Might, might, might keep me alive. Yeah, shit. Miss me, miss me, miss me, miss me, miss me. I'm just worried about the wyvern's fucking bullshit attack. Oh no. He'll survive, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Alright, gonna have to go in on this fool. Oh, he's in a bad spot. Yeah, that puts me in bolt range, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, how about that? About that. <clears throat> I'm going to hope that the enemy decides to take another step or two forward, because that'll leave me outside of the bolt range. Do not ice me. He iced me. Fuck. Oh, that was like worst case scenario right there, dude. That was terrible. And if I get outturned by the wyvern, I will be dead. So there is that. So fingers crossed that I'll be able to retreat and maybe heal. 
Oh, fuck off. Fucking game. Thank you. That's called karma. Okay. <sighs> okay, so I can retreat. And I have a healing rain. I'm gonna stay. Movement is seven. Movement is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He should not be able to get to me. Okay. Um, any day now, Cray or Mayfair, please. Any day now. Okay. So we're going to be able to clear the board, um, for the most part, before the evil monster starts attacking me. I am a little concerned, though, that I don't have, like, the massively good healing spells. His defense kind of blows, but how big is his health bar? And Bolt 3 is, like, you know, nothing to, like, scoff at, so... As long as he doesn't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Oh my fucking god, he missed. Oh my god, he missed. Mm. <laughs> I might have to redo the fight, guys. If I get double attacked and icy breath, or I get like a crit icy breath and an attack, I might die. Oh my god, dude. Fucking bullshit. Well, that's not the one that I want to avoid. I want to avoid the fucking wyvern. Not good. Not good. Not good game. I'm tempted to use a healing rain. I don't know. What do you think? I sh I mean, I really shouldn't. Um, I really shouldn't. <laughs> this is bullshit. This is fucking horseshit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He shouldn't be able to get there. I'm starting right next to him and I have one more movement than he does. So, yeah. Fuck you. <clears throat> okay. I will admit that that's some fucking that's some shit though. That is some shit. He should have been dead by now. I'm pissed. I'm pissed! This also might have been the wrong move. We'll see. Okay.
Alright, I mean, I saw that coming, but it's okay. He's gonna run out of, uh, MP soonish, probably. Alright, let's get a full heal on Claude. I'm still mad about missing the fucking Wyvern, dude. Ah, uh, Claude should have cleaned up that side of the board by now. But we are where we are because he wasn't able to. I'm also really hesitant to put him up there. Alright, Claude. That was actually a bad move on my part, wasn't it? I think that was. He could be able to kill the Wyvern in one shot. Yeah, perfect. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Not cool. Stop it. Okay. We must <clears throat> take care of the priest fellow. Who clearly is not in any uh, hurry to actually do anything to us. Should be dead here. Perfect. All right. <laughs> now we could pretty much do as we please. Um, move everybody up and around. Keep Claude here, I guess. Yeah, I don't think this dude could attack me in my current position, so. We'll just keep everybody, you know, where they are at the moment. Stock needs to sneak around, which is fine. We're playing this very careful, people, because we already lost Roos, which is... Very unfortunate. Um, does he have a, an item? Yeah, I might be better off just doing this. And then as soon as it's, uh, yeah. That was the right move. I'm going to wait out the demon's turn. And then we're going in. Oh, well, maybe not. That sucks. So basically Domingo's useless. Okay then. In that case, I am going to wait for the demon's turn again. <laughs> okay. Apis has 61 attack, 74, you could attack from distance, 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 okay. Alright, we're going in, people. <sighs> okay, here we go. Okay, why? Don't start. Seriously, not in the mood. Not in the mood for some fucking garbage. <clears throat> 
I gotta remember that I do have healing reins. And I might have to use them. Boom. Actually, not as much as I had hoped, if we're being honest. Uh, I'm not ready to move him up yet. Don't get countered, Apis. Please. Thank you. How hard is the attack? Alright, that's good. Just don't don't double turn me or some bullshit, okay? Um Fuck. That actually sucks. Yeah, I am not gonna put you there yet. Now might be the time to go in balls to the fucking wall here. You know? I think now's the time. Let's give him everything we got. As long as we don't get lapped here, if we get a stock and a clod, he's dead, so. I find it hard to believe that he'd be able to, you know, actually fucking move at this point. <clears throat> Alright, one attack from either stock or clod will kill him. Come on, stock. Do it. Nice. Alright, on to the last battle. We lost one guy. Unfortunately, he was one of my better characters, but... Rest in peace, Roos. Goooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo
goodness. That sucks. Okay, so here's the scoop. We have to attack Wooldol with the Sword of Hagia. Um, we have to stop these guys from spawning. Those are our goals. So the, the good news and the bad news is... I think we'll be okay. But, unfortunately... Um, we... Don't have fucking full inventory right now. Or we, we have a full inventory, excuse me. Those guys are weird looking. They must have really strong uh, defense too. For not dying and only having... How do I, uh... Fuck do I do? <laughs> oh, do I control Luke? Oh, shit! I think I do control Luke. Well, in that case, um... I'm gonna give... Item, give... Wait, does Claude have an empty spot? He does. Item, give... You could have this. Item... Give the Sword of Hagia. Okay, cool. Let's do this shit. I feel like this fight might be easier than the last one. The key here is I have to fucking stop these stupid assholes from respawning, basically. <clears throat> I'll be able to kill all these green dudes easy and probably the Sentinel. But I gotta worry about... Oh my god. See, that's disappointing. I gotta worry about the priest. Does he know a spell? He has to. He has to know a spell. It's been a while since I attacked a Kray. I forgot that he is a, you know, a formidable attacker. Oof. Attack just went up by three. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's just worry about things, you know, one at a time, I guess. You know, these guys aren't gonna respawn. I don't want the board to fill with fucking, you know, jerk-offs, but at the same time... I can't, you know, go too fucking crazy. I have a battle to win here. <clears throat> Perfect. Alright, Domingo is gonna have to be the one that stays by that, uh... Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. I misclicked. Oh my fucking god. So guess what? I cannot remove a cursed item. That means that I can't win this fight. That means that I have to do the fucking other fight over. Oh my god, I'm so fucking pissed right now. I'm so fucking pissed right now. Oh, I should have just dropped it. I should have dropped the Dark Sword. You could see where my confusion was. Look how similar they are. Oh no. Yep, I can't, um... I can't win the fight now. Because I'm cursed. Oh my god. I can't fucking believe I did that. It's like a story thing. I need to get the first blow with the Sword of Hagia. Oh my god. Well, that was short lived. Oh, I'm so fucking mad right now. I am so fucking mad. 
So mad. I'm gonna see if I can somehow get around it, maybe, by, like, using the Sword of Hagia instead of attacking, but I think I have to actually attack with it. Which... Oh my god, I'm just so salty right now, dude. I am so salty right now. Mm, words can't even describe. I'm just trying to get as much experience as I can. Of course. And if uh, using the Sword of Hagia doesn't work, then... I will catch you guys back at this fight later. <laughs> oh my god. What is it with me? I, I just make these huge blunders in like the last battles. I need to just drop the Sword of Darkness or whatever the fuck it's called in this game. Because it's just... It's fucking me up, man. Alright. I'm just doing this right now. Equippy? Is that like... What the fuck? Huh? How come earlier it said it would do something? Yep. Alright, well... Oh, goodness gracious, guys. Oh, I'm so pissed. That sucks so bad. Oh, that last fight took quite a while. <sighs> Alright. I need to heal, right? And, of course, it costs a lot of money. I'm gonna go sell some stuff and try to get another healing rain, I guess. I mean, fuck me, dude. I'm so mad. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's sell some shit. Whatever we don't need, we're getting rid of. I don't have the sort of Hajia right now. Which fucking blows. I need to re-equip the broadsword as well. Alright, what don't I need? Hmm. Your boy is currently salty. Very salty. Okay, we have to make sure he's got an empty slot, which he does. I'm gonna give him this. And we will save. And, as promised, I will join you guys back at the final battle. Oh my. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, we are back at the final battle. It only took one more attempt uh, to get through the fight before this one. Um, I got rid of the, uh, the sort of darkness, so there will be no, <laughs> there will be no accidental uh, cursedness. Um, and I also did not suffer any casualties. It was actually even easier than the first try, probably because I knew what to expect as far as you know how the um, the enemies would be and whatnot. So basically, our goal here. In this fight, ugh, come on, I'm sick of that. Our goal here is to clear the uh, board of enemies. I want to ultimately get Domingo um, over where the priest is going to come out. Item, give, sort of Hagia. <clears throat> but we will control what we can control and then hopefully be able to just focus on what's his face? Woldol without any bullshits. So we can kill all the Taros and the Sentinels. They don't respawn, but the uh, the dudes that know Aura unfortunately respawn, so we have to put somebody there. Obviously, I don't want to put fucking, um... 
Claude there, because he's like my best fucking character. So, Domingo is going to be the sacrificial lamb. Let's just hope he can get there. I want to try to kill as many of these dudes as I can. Alright, I think it might be worthwhile to take a look at the board here. Do it after this right here. Okay. So we got these guys all around. He know he does know a magic spell, so you have to be careful. <clears throat> we should be able to one-shot all of these guys with Claude, which is good. <clears throat> and they get 49 experience. This is actually a really good fight. Like, if you, you know, have the patience of a of a saint and you want to keep refighting the other fight, you can grind this one. The 30 HP makes those guys a uh, very um, feastable target, so to speak. Ooh, they are going all in, guarding their boy. I don't think we're going to have enough juice to kill him in one hit, unfortunately, with Shade. Yeah, very close with a crit, but... That just means that anybody can kill him now. We also don't want Woldol uh, getting involved. I'm gonna focus my attack here on the Sentinel and hopefully kill him. Yeah, figured his defense was probably a little bit uh, a little bit tougher. Um, can I use the? Uh, I can't. That was weird. When I was, uh, I'm fairly certain, I'm gonna go look back at the, uh, the video. I'm fairly certain that when I tried to use the Sword of Hagia after I was, uh, cursed, that it actually, like, was letting me. And I'm wondering if it was a glitch because I was cursed. Or I might have been seeing things. I don't know the answer. Either way, we are wiping out the Taros, which is great. Uh, I'm going to... Move Domingo over here so he doesn't get killed by accident. Um, I'm gonna sacrifice Randolph if need be. It's okay if he dies. He did his job. He killed the uh, Sentinel. Okay. Try to kill you. I don't know how quickly they're going to respawn, which may or may not be... Okay, so I have a healing rain. <laughs> oh my god. I am going to have to use a healing rain. This is, uh... Oh, this is bad news bears over here. That is some serious shit. Somehow Randolph, the one who's literally right next to him, is going to survive. Uh, and this dude is auraing himself, which is an interesting move. <sighs> who has a healing rain? Apparently not you. I have like five of them, so I'm going to hope that somebody can get a healing rain before... Woldol gets his turn again, because if he gets his turn again, we're dead. Oh my god, she doesn't have it either. Alright, well. I have to heal Razor. Okay, anybody with the healing rain want to make an appearance? Feel free. I am here for you. You also don't have a fucking healing rain. Are you kidding? Oh my goodness. <sighs> so that did a lot of damage to him. That did 33 damage, so this fucking healing seed isn't even going to work. Please, somebody with a healing rain. Anybody. You're giving me every fucking character that doesn't have the healing rain. Please. Give me a healing rain before Woldol. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> this RNG though. This fucking RNG though. Who has the healing reins? Razor does. Cray does. Sig does. 
Stock the- oh my god, the guys that are all, like, literally about to die have the fucking healing rain. Oh my goodness. I have so many healing rains and nobody's able to go! Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking flip. Oh, please don't. If he gets a demon breath off, he kills like half my fucking team. Alright, well, I, I guess... fuck. I'm gonna put you here for now, and we're gonna use the healing rain. Until Domingo can get up there. And then hopefully, Woldle doesn't get another attack, and we can start spreading out. At least we guaranteed that we're not gonna fucking get killed, basically. Oh, I almost shit myself there, dude. I probably shouldn't have given the healing reins to my healers, because they're so fucking slow. They just get, like, lapped all the time, which fucking sucks. Boom. One more Taros. And then we gotta work on... the Domingo swap and killing the fucking healer. Alright, unfortunately Razor is in harm's way again. Fuck me, dude. Oh, this sucks. I'm gonna have to use another healing rain. Gonna have to use another healing rain. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. <clears throat> and then I gotta remember that Razor needs to attack Woldol. Because if he doesn't. We can't do anything to him, so I, I should probably... I don't know. I'm trying to think, like, what to do here. Do I just, like, spread out and let Claude and Domingo do their thing separately? You know, with, like, one archer coming in, shooting, you know what I mean? Try to have Woldol just stay where he is? Or will he be super aggro and come at us anyway? I don't know. I don't really know how it works, so... All right, well, we killed the last Taros, so now we have to kill... We have to attack Woldo with Razor. We gotta kill the Bishop dude. And we gotta do a swap. Somebody has to go stand where Claude is, basically. So I would like it to be Domingo. Okay, that is actually perfect. My plan seemed to have worked, at least for a turn. Woldol retreated, which is exactly what we wanted. I try to kill the bishop and do a Domingo swap. It's gonna be tough. Another bishop might spawn, unfortunately. But, um, maybe I'll keep him up here. We're in a little bit of trouble if Woldol decides to come over and cast. He's gonna hit like four or five people. <laughs> but we've cleared the board. It is now up to Razor. Okay, well, I moved one person out of there at least. So Razor needs to attack Woldol. We do have another healing rain, so. Alright, gonna keep you there. Um, oh, he's got a healing rain. About that. Okay, well, I'm gonna move you over here. I think we only have one or two left. I think Sig and Cray might have one. So we're gonna have to go attack with Razor, like, immediately. Because we have to start doing damage to Woldle. This is a tough fight, dude. This is a tough fucking fight. Because he has, like, infinite usage of that, man. And... Me attempting to clear the board, I had to use three fucking healing reins already. The thing's got mad range. Oh my god, I'm not close enough. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Oh. 
Oh. Okay. Do we still have two more healing reins? We do. So I'm actually going to pull Sig like all the way back. And Lug is going to stay here. Cray can move over here. Mayfair can stay here. He's going to have to like come at me. Alright, he came after Randolph. Uh, so Razor has to get to him still. And we're gonna have to hope that Domingo doesn't get outturned. Right? Because I don't want Apis there. Yes, perfect. Okay, uh, we gotta fucking go in with Razor. Okay. Um, just trying to see. Probably here. Wait, hold on. Let's make sure we have the right fucking sword equipped. No, we didn't have the sword of Haji equipped. Wow. Wouldn't that have been a blunder? Item equip. There we go. Okay. Wolf spit a stream of venom. Razor's right arm was poisoned. What does that mean? Well, anyway. It's time to start beating him. Hopefully Razor doesn't get critted or some fucking whack shit. That's my major concern. And our two healers have the healing reins, so... Okay, perfect. That's actually really good. Attack Randolph all you want, buddy. Totally fine. Would have been perfect. What if Randolph survived to 1 HP, huh? And Domingo has to stay. Luke. Alright, Sig. Yes, I realize this is bad positioning, but... I gotta do DPS here. You gotta do DPS. Um, Apis, Apis, Apis. I mean, I should be able to move Razor in, uh, what's-his-face at least, before it's Woldol's turn again. <laughs> uh, I got outturned. I got outturned and everybody got hurt. Okay, we're gonna need to get the fuck out of there. And we're gonna need to use a healing rain. Perfect. Healing rain. Razor needs to uh, Vemus. Because, um, doesn't really have the highest HP. I'm pretty sure if I get critted with that demon breath, he would die, so. We still have one more healing rain. And we gotta just start peppering him with shit. The fucking archers and stuff have to start coming in. Like we gotta, we gotta get moving here. So. Okay. Gotta get Razor out of there. Gotta start repositioning a little bit. Please don't fucking like quadruple or uh, triple lap me here. Like, it has to be Claude and Razor's turn before his next turn. It has to be. Are you fucking. Sh what? He attacked Wendy? First of all, thank you. Secondly, how is it your turn again? Honestly, dude. Should I just back off? Honestly, I think I should back off with Razor. I don't know. I'm like just scared at this point. Yeah, I'm gonna back off. 
The other people could handle you, dude. My archers and roos and shit. Apis. Yeah, we got you. You're going down, Woldle. Eat shit. Yo, is Lug about to get an attack in here? Hell yeah, he is. Let's go, Lug. Let's go, Lug. Roos. Oh, so close. Oh, Roos with a double. How about that? Father and son. Roos and Lug. Oh, off. I'm getting a fucking seizure right now. Holy crap. That was really weird. Did we win? Yes, Apis. We won. We have the sword. And Woldle has gone. Wow. He turned into a giant scorpion. Roos, don't worry. At least Lug is safe. Father, I'm so glad to see you. My friends and I couldn't let you disappear. We joined forces to come after you. Roos, we had heard that brave warriors were on the way, but I had no idea that my own son would be among them. Whoa. Oh, that's right, he was poisoned. What's wrong with you? Razor, your right arm has turned to stone. You fought bravely and well for one so young. But this was just the beginning of a much larger invasion. Razor, to heal your arm, you will have to face me another time. Thus, Razor and the Shining Force restored peace to Cyprus and Guardiana. Thank you all. Guardiana is grateful for your bravery. And Razor has sacrificed his right arm for victory. Your Majesty... Cyprus plans to send soldiers into the depths of the continent. Then I will send Guardiana's best warriors to help them. It would be an honor to go, your majesty. We could help King Razor restore his arm. We owe him at least that much. To Cyprus! Oh shit, that's cool. I don't remember this. With the alliance of Guardiana and Cyprus, they succeeded in waking Queen Amri. With her waking, peace was once again restored to Guardiana and Cyprus. But as long as the right arm of the prince remains as stone, no one can escape from the shadow of the evil Eom Empire. Eom, huh? I was calling it Iom, but then again, I still think it's Anri and not Anri. But whatever. Also, he said Prince. They just called him King, though, in the last scene. Confusion. <laughs> Wait, what? The Another Story of Shining Force? So, as I mentioned earlier, um, this was originally Shining Force Gaiden on the Game Gear, so I'm sure that's what GG stands for. <clears throat> I'm wondering, did they leave off the Game Gear on a cliffhanger like that? It was never fully translated to English before this, and it still hasn't been translated. So I'm wondering how they ended that game. Did they know that they were making a sequel? I'm sure, you know, potentially they had a, um, had like a contract in place, so it's potentially, you know, possible that they knew that, but I just thought that was interesting. They left on like a cliffhanger. <clears throat> and obviously in America, the next game was called Sword of Hagia. Uh, not Shining Force Gaiden 2. Yeah, pretty cool. I mean, fun game. I mean, if the bread and butter of Shining Force is the battling. Um, so the Game Gear games and obviously Shining Force CD are a lot of fun. You know, it does suck. You do feel like you're a little bit cheaped out that the, you can't control anything on the overworld. You know what I mean? The story just leads you along. But it's also pretty quick. I would say that this was definitely quicker than Shining Force 2 um, and I think it was probably quicker than Shining Force 1 which would make sense it was a Game Gear game right but um, 
Yeah. I played on the highest difficulty. Uh, did I lose any... I don't think I lost any battles. And I actually only had a handful of casualties. My biggest blunder was me being an idiot and fucking cursing myself in the last fight. Oh man, what a fucking blunder that was. I mentioned it, but... You need to land the first blow with your main character with the Sword of Hajia, or you can't win that fight. So me accidentally equipping uh, the Dark Sword prevented me from winning that fight. <laughs> there was nothing I could have done. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of fun. I actually find myself enjoying it. I, I think casually you could probably argue that uh, the Gaiden games or Shining Force CD are better to pick up and play. You know, they're rather mindless in a sense. You just have to worry about the battles, that's it. Um, obviously, you have to pay attention to the story. You know, if you don't play for a week or two or whatever, you might forget what's going on in the game. But if you just care about the battles, it's literally pick up and play. That's why I think that uh, all these games should be on the Switch or something at this point. But it is what it is. Very excited to start book two, which is Sword of Hagia. I have never beaten the Sword of Hagia or the version that's in uh, Shining Force CD, so it'll be a completely fresh playthrough for me. And I have to remember to get a secret item that unlocks secret scenarios beyond book two. So, as you can see, should be continued.